What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Australian Open final. The men's final. The last match of the entire tournament. And it's been a long two weeks. It's actually felt a lot longer because we've had, you know, we've had the Djokovic whole situation. We've had the ATP Cup start of the year. We've pretty much been live every day since the start of the year. I think maybe one day we didn't go live, but um, yeah, it's been... It's been crazy. And now it all ends with one match. One final match. And that's a very important match because we've got two things on the line tonight. It's either going to be a 21st Grand Slam for one of the GOATs or a new world number one ranking for a new generation player. So there's a lot on the line for both these guys. History for both. History for both. So we'll see. We'll see if Medvedev can stop the 21 Grand Slams with the second tournament in a row, or if Rafa can keep Nole's record. Who's Nole going for? Who's Djokovic going for? I don't. I got no idea. It's a lose-lose for him. Now, if Rafa does win, we have something special. If he doesn't win, we'll hold on until he wins the next one. <laughs> but something special if Rafa does win at the end of this uh, at the end of this match. So. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else. That's all I'm saying. Now, I noticed the Reddit is popping off. Uh, jump in the Reddit if you haven't already. There's a lot of memes. We'll go through all of those at the end of the tournament. Uh, at the end of the night, I should say. Uh, like, a lot of memes. You guys have been real... Like, Let me just say, the memes has been one of my favorite segments of the show. We've done... We added this in... Uh, you know, I mean, look, it's not new. Doing memes is not new. Channels... All around the internet do memes, but no one does tennis memes on YouTube. So that's what we do, and that's what we've been doing, and you guys have shown up. Very funny memes for the entire tournament. We've had a good laugh, uh, that's for sure. So uh, that's going to be a regular thing. We're going to be doing memes throughout the whole year. Uh, they can be tennis talk related. They could be just tennis in general. Whatever, whatever. Chuck them in, the, uh, chuck them in there. And we've got 260 people in there, so you guys are definitely showing up. Uh, hopefully, you continue to produce hilarious memes. Now, before we get to the preview, let's answer some questions. Answer my question! The question, jerk! What is up? Um, I know why you're wearing this shirt. Good guy. It's, fi it's finals day. We wear the shirt on the finals day. Why do I look so pale? Why do I look like I'm sick? I'm, I feel great. I, don't look, I look like a ghost. Um... Finals. We wear the final shirt on the finals day. Uh, will Rafa play Wimbledon this year? Yes, unless he's injured. But, yeah. Uh, history is on the line. I support that. Do you? I Yes. I want history to be made. You know, I'm not... I, would I wouldn't mind if Medvedev wins. But... I want... The historic event to happen. Because I think eventually Medvedev is going to win an Australian Open. I think eventually he's going to be world number one. But I want history to be made. Because it's not very often that somebody wins 21 slams. In fact, on the men's side, no one's done it. So that's something that... Uh, and then Djokovic getting it, I want him to get that too. So then we can see that again. So I want history to be made. Um, oops, wrong one. Is that better? No. I'm, is that better? Uh, I want history to be made. That's what I want. I want to see history tonight. Uh, what's your prediction as a neutral fan? My prediction is Nadal in five. Uh, even if I didn't want history on the line. Even if I did, wasn't like uh, going for history. Uh, I want. Uh, I think Nadal's going to win in five. I think Medvedev can do a good job, but I think Rafa's just got too, too much for him. Rafa maintained himself 100% for for the French Open. Uh, look, the French Open's like a million years away so uh, in tennis life, so he's got plenty of time to get ready for that. <laughs> we'll wait until that. <laughs> plenty of time. Um, being pale is sexy where I come from. All right. We'll keep it. Uh, Med is making history too. Yeah, he is. But what Medvedev's doing... Becoming number one in the world, getting a second slam. A lot of people have done that. 21 slams is like, on the men's side, we've never had that. We will have that 
one day, maybe not today, but one day we will. But I would like it to be today. <laughs> and then we can watch it again happen maybe when Djokovic comes back. As a tennis fan, history like that is, is great. Medvedev's going to be number one in the world eventually. I, I, I have no doubt. This year, I believe he's going to be number one this year. But 21 slams, this might be the Rafa's, you know, he might get a chance at the French again, but this might be one of Rafa's only chances to get to 21 and ahead of Djokovic because I think Djokovic comes back, he will tear through the competition and, uh, and, and probably win more than 21. So that's why I want, I just want to see... 21 slams, and I want to see Djokovic break that, and I think all of that history, that's what I want. That's what I want to see. Medvedev will get his, but 20, this is a, if you're a neutral fan, I mean, history is big. That's why yesterday, you know, or well, yesterday with Barty, I was maybe not neutral, but still, Barty win the, winning that slam yesterday was, was a big deal for the tennis world, or tennis landscape. Will there be a giveaway? Um, maybe. Maybe at the end of this match, maybe. Uh, Nadal is the play the one player Medvedev really struggles against. Uh, no, not really. A little bit. I mean, the head to head shows that uh, head to head shows that he's, uh, he's he's got Medvedev's number, even if it's close. Uh, where, who does Federer and Djokovic want to win? Uh, look, I don't think Federer cares. I, I think Federer, Federer, I mean, Federer is probably going for Rafa. I don't think Federer is really bothered by what happens. I think Djokovic won't be bothered either, but Djokovic is, I mean, look, the whole shit with Djokovic that happened before the tournament, we, we, think, we, all, we all have thought that this would have been the final. Nadal would have been replaced by Djokovic. I think most people would have said that. If you're honest with yourself, Djokovic plays, probably beats Rafa in the semis and gets to the final and plays Medvedev in the final. But again, I don't think Djokovic is going to be going for anyone. I think he's going to be just like, whatever, like, you, you know, whoever wins, I will beat you when I come back. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just don't think either, I don't think the goats are going for anybody. I think they're just going to, I don't even know if they'll watch it. You know, who knows? Does Djokovic, does Djokovic care? I think Djokovic is just ready to come back and, and win. Ayo just went live. Ah, oh, you know what's up. You know what's up. Let's go to our preview first, and then we'll get... Uh, I'll send I'll send you all off to uh, to raid their chat. Anyways, let's go to the preview. So here is the semifinals and quarterfinals from here on. You can see there that uh, Rafa, a couple of close matches, but also Medvedev, a couple of close matches. But also, the time on court is half an hour extra for Medvedev, but that's that's nothing. That's not much. 30 minutes extra, that's like a half a set. That's nothing much. So the, it's almost identical in the amount of time on court, plus, you know, the five setters in the last, uh, in the quarterfinals, plus the four setter in the semis. They both had uh, pretty, I want to say pretty straightforward semifinals. I know that the, even though the Sidney Pass match was a little bit more intriguing in the third set than maybe the Rafa match, but Medvedev didn't look like he was in trouble, uh, even in the, you know, Maybe the first set, if Steph had got that, it would have been weird, but um, Medvedev didn't look stressed, and, and neither did Rafa in their semifinals. Let's talk about Daniel Medvedev. He's number two in the world currently, 25 years old from Russia, six foot six right-handed, three wins, one loss on the season. No titles this year yet. 13 to his name, including the US Open, and his best wins are against Berrettini and Auger Aliassime. Rafa Nadal, he's number six in the world. He'll be number five by the end of the day. Uh, no matter what happens, whereas Medvedev's playing for that number one record of, uh, ranking, of course. 35 years old from Spain, six foot one left-handed, three wins, no losses on the year. Got a title to his name as well. Uh, won a boomerang at the start of the year from winning in Melbourne. And uh, of course, 89 titles. He's actually, Rafa this year could break Ivan Lendl's record of 94 career titles. So there's history on the line for Rafa this year and also Nole as well, who's not far behind Rafa in the ranking in the uh, title race. Um, of course, got, got 20 slams, and his best wins are against Rusevori and Cressy. 3-1 in favor of Rafa, and the last three times they've played have been on hard courts, and they've all been epics. In fact, all four meetings they've had have been on hard courts, 
And besides their first meeting, everything's been close. Of course, the US Open, Rafa got to a two set to love lead. We watched that match. I think we've watched every time they've played, actually. I feel like we've, we watched the match in Cincy, right? When they when Nadal wiped him off the court. Maybe, I think we did. And we also watched that, definitely watched that US Open final. I remember that one. Uh, and then the ATP finals, we would have watched that. So yeah, we've watched every time these guys have played, we've watched. So uh, we definitely know what is going to happen because we've seen it many times. Of course, who can forget that 2019 ATP finals where Medvedev was up 5-1 in the final set. Rafa came back to win. And then Medi turned the tables on him in 2020, was down a set, won the tiebreak, flipped the script. So Medvedev, look, Medvedev 2019 US Open and Medvedev 2022 Australian Open final, completely different player. Way better this time around. Much, much uh, more advanced in the way he plays. He knows how to, he knows how to play these guys now. Uh, obviously, has a Grand Slam as well, so he's one of the champions. But, uh, yeah, interesting to see how he plays against Rafa, having not played him for a couple of years. But every time they play, it's close. It's close. So we're in for a treat. No matter what happens, we are in for a treat. A lot of people are probably looking at the US Open last year and when Medvedev beat Djokovic in that final and just destroyed him. I think a lot of people are looking at that and going, well, this guy... Well, if he can do that to Djokovic, he can probably do that to Rafa. Hard courts, obviously, it would be probably favoring uh, Medi as well because Medvedev's favorite surface is hard court, whereas Rafa sometimes struggles on a hard court. But uh, I, I don't know. We haven't seen these guys play in a couple of years or over a year. Last time they played, it was an epic. Every time they play, it's an epic. I, I don't know. Does it come down to uh, going in the betting? Rafa is the underdog. Is that good? Maybe that's good for Rafa. The crowd's going to be on Rafa's side because I know, I know, first of all, Rafa's popular in Australia, but also history being made, I think are going to get a lot of people that are like, oh, I don't really care who wins. And it's like, but do you want to see this 21 Grand Slams? I think a lot of people in the crowd will want to see history. So yeah, I think Rafa's going to have the crowd, but Medvedev doesn't care about that um, at all. So uh, there's a lot of things where it's just like, who knows? There's no advantage physically because both players have had the same amount of time on court they both have the same kind of road to the final five setter four setter and then got to the final yeah i i i don't know i, I think the medvedev being the favorite is obvious because he's higher ranked and he's the u.s open champion and rafa's still kind of coming back from six months off but yeah i don't, I don't know i i i, I don't know it's, it's it, we'll find out in the first set We'll find out in the first set. Uh, what other tournaments we're going to be covering? That's a great question. So, next week, we are going to be covering um, maybe, I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, uh, depends on how I, I guess it depends how we, how I feel next week if, uh, if we're feeling all right. Um, we've got a tournament in uh, Argentina where, what's his name? Uh, Dominic Team's playing. So we might watch Dominic Team one or two matches next week. Zverev's playing next week as well in uh, Montepellier, which maybe we'll watch that as well. But we're more likely to start fresh on the 7th of Feb because that's where we get, um, that's where we've got, you know, Medvedev's playing uh, in Rotterdam and City Pass and those guys. So we'll probably watch Rotterdam. Uh, we're definitely, definitely, definitely watching Dubai and Acapulco in February, which is happening about the end of the month. So we might have a week off next week. But then come back strong for Rotterdam, uh, ladies tennis as well. They've got Dubai, uh, Doha as well. So yeah, so we might uh, we might have a week. We, look, we, it's been a big. I mean, we won't have a week. I won't have a week off of like not doing anything. But we'll do something during the week. But no, maybe not doing streams next week, just so I can recover from the month of January, which has been a crazy month. So uh, yeah. But yeah, we've got a plenty of uh, we've got plenty of tournaments coming up in February, so we'll be covering them nonstop. Now, let me have a look. Someone said the Australian Open. Are oh, they are. Okay, you know what to do. They're not live yet. I mean, oh no, they are live. I want you to go in. Some of you are already doing it. Thank you, Sinat. Go into the chat, and this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna change things up a bit here. I can't play the music, but fly, my pretties, fly. Get in the chat and spam their chat with Tennis Talk joining 
join here. Join the Tennis Talk channel because that's what we've been doing. We've been spamming the Australian Open because we know that they're going to stop their stream. They're not going to stream the entire time. So we go in there and we tell them that, hey, look, when, that, when they've stopped streaming, come see us because we're going to be watching the whole match from start to finish. Oh, I see it. We've got Sinet. We've got BK. There you go. That's what I want to see. There we go. Who else is in there? We've got uh, Yelena. Yeah, shout out to Yelena. We've got Charging Bolt. Oh, you guys are spare. That's what I want to see. Go in there. Completely spam their chat. Try and out-spam the bots, the, the bots that are spamming illegal links. <laughs> That's what I want to see. There we go. Yeah, good work. You guys, uh, you guys are too much. You guys are too much. People are out uh, Hey, and yesterday... People actually ask, what the hell is Tennis Talk? And I'm sure they found us eventually. So that's what I want to see. Go in there and spam their ch chat. I'm the Wicked Witch of the West, and I'm sending my flying monkeys into there. Why is my camera weird? Because I'm a witch. I'm not Shrek. I'm not Shrek. Shrek doesn't have minions. All right? What else we got? We got Zah, uh, Sashan. There we go. That's what I want to see. We've got uh, BK going crazy. That's it. That's it. Spread the word, my pretties. Spread the word. Kuros is in there. Sanjay. Ah, uh, Green Goblin. There we go. Jeeva in there as well. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Spam that chat. Wayne in there as well. There we go. That's what I want to see. You tell them where we're at. You tell them where to go after that. Because they're going to cut that stream off and give everyone blue balls. I reckon it'd be Taylor Fritz. He's the guy, I think, he's the guy that's sort of in the front running of that for that. But yeah, he, it's probably, uh, probably going to be Fritz. Ah, uh, you guys are too much. Ah, uh, Simon in there. Ah, uh, you guys. You guys. Makes me, it gives me a big smile on my face when I see people writing tennis talk. Spread the word. Spread the word. That's what we want to do. Mark in there as well. I see you all. I see you all in there, by the way. I don't know who's singing. I don't recognize this lady. Um, that's what I want to see. <laughs> we'll do it until they ban us. Hopefully never. Tennis, uh, Australian Open, we love you. <laughs> um, all right, let's answer more questions. Answer my question! The question, jerk! I'm a green pumpkin. What? Excuse me? People are asking why I'm green. I'll show you why. Where are we? Where is the meme? There it is. This is why I'm green. If you weren't here yesterday for the memes, you uh, you missed out. There it is. Fly, my pretties. Fly. <laughs> Fly, my pretties. Spam their chat. That's what we're doing. Get people into this one. Tennis Talk is taking over the Australian Open. That's what I want to see. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I see all you. I see you all. People are dancing. I don't know what they're doing on the thing. Anyways, that's why I'm green. Um, let's ask a question. More questions. My question. The question, jerk. But yeah, I think Taylor Fritz could be in the top 10. He's an American and he's probably the best choice. Yeah. Witch. Yeah, I'm a witch. <laughs> green Hornet. What? Oh, you're a Kiwi. I'm Australian. Uh, they're too busy spamming the chat. That's all right. You, you, you go in there, you tell them. You tell them where to show, where we, where we at. Uh, five set game is all I want, Cam. I, that's all I want every time. That's all I want. Oh, one of the spammers, one of the, one of the bots found us. Uh-oh, who brought the bot? Who brought the bot? Man, the chat's too quick. Who bought the bot? <laughs> We're attracted to the... I'm not a gr the Grinch. How dare you? Stop calling me the... I'm not the Grinch. I'm not the Grinch. People are spamming join tennis talk. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we do. Spread the word. Spread the word. That's it. That's it. You copy that and you say spam. You, go, you spam that chat. You tell them. Come over here. Now, where the hell was that bot? Where's that bot at? Where you at? Where you at, you sneaky, sneaky thing? Oh, I see us. I'll find you. I'll find you, bot.
Uh, you don't, don't don't spam this chat with join tennis talk. We are tennis talk. <laughs> no, don't spam the chat. Our talk. We're here. We're already here. Spam the chat to get them to here. Come here. We don't need to. We're already in. The, we're already here. Don't spam here. The Aussies really know how to put on a show. Ah, they do. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Let me have a listen. I got no idea what that cringy shit is. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What are they singing? I don't. I don't get it. It's cringe. I'm not. Don't you put me in that category. I'm not with. I'm not with them. I'm not with them. You're too green. You probably just got here. We, it was a joke. We're doing a joke. This is a bit. We're doing a bit. Uh, will you stream the Monty Pallier Open? Uh, yes, maybe. Zverev's playing, so we might, yeah. What's this live concert they're doing? Why is it so cringe? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's obviously got something to do with nothing. Must be some local theater act who are doing a rendition of Hairspray or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah, go, you go spam that chat. You go spam that chat. Hey, stand that Pat in the house. What's going on, Pat? And Ange. What's, An oh, Pat, what's up, Ange? Um, Kansas tennis ball. No, it's not what I'm, it's not the, it's not the, they were singing Purple Rain, were they? Oh, that's a good song. Why are they going to ruin it? Wait, are they? They're seriously singing Purple Rain. No, they stopped. Stop singing. Ah, oh, it's Jim Curry. He's coming. Oh, Rod Laver! Coming out to sing Purple Rain. Is that what happened? Uh, <laughs> Cam Yoda. Jesus Christ. Guys. This has been a mistake. Just for the... Don't clip this. And don't, don't meme this. I'm not Shrek. I'm not Yoda. I'm not Tom Brady retiring. I'm not... Uh, I'm the Wicked Witch of the West, sending you to go and attack the chat or a tennis ball. Yes, uh, Bryce, thank you for reminding me. By the way, we have some merch, some new merch. Uh, if you haven't got one, um, why? You asked for it and I made it. I'm not the Hulk. Um, check out the new merch. But in, in, I mean, look, it's, it's there. You guys wanted this, so I made it. Do that. Yes, I can. Uh, by the way, are they singing the national anthem or? In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In drive for strengths and let us sing. Advance Australia yeah, Fair! <clears throat> Thank you. Anyways, King Cock merch. It's in the store. There's a link down below. Um, look, we've got to get all patriotic and shit, all right? <laughs> um... Okay, now. I want you to fly. Okay, now the roof is opening and the sun is shining. It's not going to rain tonight, so the roof will stay in. But now, I want you to do as I change the scoreboard to black. Spam their chat. Let's go get it. Jump in the AO live warm up chat or whatever the hell. 10. Appreciate that. All right, I want you to go to the Australian Open YouTube page and I want you to spam. Tennis talk, or come to tennis talk, join tennis talk, tennis talk, uh, Cam Williams, whatever you want to, whatever. Just go in there and tell the people where it's at. Because we know the entire tournament, they've been just teasing everybody with showing one point. And as soon as that cuts off, people are like, what am I, where do I go now? Yeah, they come here. So we've got to tell them to come here. By the way, Raf is behind the scenes. So we'll keep an eye on that. But jump in there, chat. We've got to jump in there and say, we're watching the final from start to finish, baby. Go jumbo. He's, you know, he's good on hard court. Uh, very good on hard court. Maybe better than Rafa. I think that's where they're putting bets on. Uh, also, he's a high-ranked player. Also, just won the U.S. Open. So I think uh, I can see he's definitely the um, 
He's definitely the favorite uh, for the bookies, and I can totally understand that. Uh, I missed the last live stream. Why, again, are you Shrek? I'm not. On Tennis Channel, they're referring to King Cock as double, double K, not special K. Why don't you just make it triple K and get in trouble? I mean, what that? Why? What's wrong with King Cock? I don't understand. They're too. Look, this is the why. This is why YouTube is so much better. This is why doing this is so much better than. Like, if I worked. Imagine. Can you imagine if they let me on Tennis Channel? And I'm out there going, go King Cock. They'd be like, go King Beep. It's like, this guy keeps swearing. We can't have him on. They'd never let me on Tennis Channel because of King Cock. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having a look at the... Um, I got you. you guys are over there. I can see you. Regents, Kuros, I see you all over there. What's going on? There, Regents over there. That's it. That's it. Go over to their channel and spam. Tell them to come over here. Come over here. Get them over here. We've got Yelena. We've got uh, people asking if this is the full match. That's where we go. No, but this, we're over here is. Uh, Michael's over there spreading the word. That's what I want to see. Spread the word. There we go. That's what I, I there's a lot of tennis talk. Is it, that is not as tennis talk in there. I love it. I love it. Cam streaming the whole match. You're damn right he is. What else we got? Tennis talk. Ah, Simon. Love it, mate. Keep going in there. What else we got? Someone says stop chatting. Uh, uh, mate, that's the problem. Why don't you just get out of the, just cancel the chat if you don't like it. That's weird. What a weird comment. Um, keep going in there. Spam, spam, alien. Don't spam the alien. Just say tennis talk. All right, whatever, who else we got? Charging Bolt doing it dry. Princess in there. We've got uh, Jiva doing a good job in there. Go over there. Max doing a great job. Hot Potato, Yelena, Sanjay. That's what I like to see. That's it. We've got to go over there. We've got to spread the word before the match starts because we know that all the poor people that are in this chat are watching this going, oh, I can't wait. I didn't realize the match was free. And then they're going to get absolutely destroyed. But then we're going to pick up the pieces. You know, we're going to pick up the pieces and we're going to, we're going to, we are the place for the people that get left behind uh, because of the Australian Open. Oh, you guys are spamming the chat. It's like the everything's in tennis talk and then one comment says Nadal. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too much. Join Tennis Talk for the poll, man. That's what I want to see. Search Tennis Talk on YouTube. That's what I want to see. Oh, you guys are too. This is, I love this community. This is why I love this community. We all get around it. We all get around it. And we all spread the word. I love it. Best tennis community, hands down. Someone wrote your mum. No, his mum. It's too early to make mum jokes. Uh... Oh, you guys, you guys are too. Is Fiona in there as well? I see you all. I see you all in there. What's up? I'm in there too, so I'll message. Even though my message just disappeared after I wrote it. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised the Australian Open haven't just been like, ban the word tennis talk. <laughs> Anyways, let's answer some more questions. Question. Players coming out on court. The question, you guys are legends. You guys are all legends. I love this community. Why am I green? I'll tell you why I'm green. This is why I'm green. Because this is me. <laughs> I am. I am the Wicked Witch and I'm sending you off to fly. <laughs> Players are coming out of court and going to that tennis chat and you spam that chat. You spam that chat, my pretties. Spam that chat. <laughs> I just don't have a hat. I didn't buy one. Tennis talk fan fans are spreading faster than Corona. <laughs> okay. All right, what happened to my face? Uh, nothing. This is what I usually look like. Uh, you guys are too much. That's it. Uh, it's not easy being green. That's it. Uh, green Goblin. No, uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. Or whatever, the East. Whatever. I don't, know what I, I don't know what their name is. I don't watch the Wiz French. And then they play at, the, at Wimbledon. Like the biggest tournament in the world. Going for 22. That would be epic, I think. 
People are spamming Djokovic in this chat too. What's going on? That's it. Keep spamming. We know that they're going to cut that off. Um, let's keep answering questions. Uh, will you change the scoreboard color? Um, I already did. I changed it because somebody asked. Already. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind. They're booing Medvedev already? Liam? Jesus. Savage. Why are they booing Medvedev? I don't know. But I told you they'd be going for Rafa. They'd be going for Rafa. Uh, why wouldn't you consider going red for this match? Um, I'm only going green because I was sending people off to go uh, attack the AO chat. <laughs> no, the roof is open. The roof is open. Uh, no rain today. Um, I didn't even set up sunset camera. Should we set up the... Do you want me to set up ca sunset cam? Or should we just like ditch the camera? We don't need it for now. Do you want the camera set up? I don't know. It's not really... It's just a boring blue sky. I, I don't think it's worth watching. Just a few people booing? Okay. Okay. Just ordered... Ah, oh, Deb! <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I'm so glad. I, look, a lot of you asked for the King Cock t-shirt. And I put it together late, like at 2 in the morning. I put it together... Uh, so I'm so glad that somebody bought it. <laughs> I was worried that nobody was going to get it. But thank you so much, Deb. Appreciate that. If you do want the uh, Kokonakis Kyrgios t-shirt, um, I'll, I'll put a link in the chat for you. And you can go buy it. If you want. Don't have to. But if you want. There's the link. Um, let's keep answering questions. Uh, you like the new shirt? Appreciate it. Uh, do you get the same announcers at ESPN? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who the announcers will be. Uh, the trophy is on Medvedev's side of the net. Is that a sign or something? Uh, no, it's always just on that side. The green's painful to watch. Don't worry, we'll get back to it when the match starts. I'm just green right now for a specific reason. Why not? If he gets to 21, why not? Um, what's my prediction? Uh, Nadal in five. Nadal in five. When is the match going to start? The match is going to start in about five minutes because they're warming up as we speak. Nadal do what corporate master says. What? Cam looks nervous. I'm excited. I'm fired up for this one. I am fired up for this one. Thank you for following us over on Twitch. Who's the favorite? Medvedev's the favorite. Uh, let me know in the chat. Does anyone have any uh, any bets on this match? Does anyone have any bets on in this match? Uh, I can still see you guys spamming tennis talk. That's what I love to see. Keep spamming the tennis talk in that chat. Go spam the tennis. Go spam tennis talk. Tell the people where to go after the uh, after they cut the stream. Before the match even starts, and give everyone blue balls. Tell them where to go. You show you. They they get him over here. Get him over here. Uh, Nadal in four. Nadal plus one forty-five. Yeah, I reckon a few people have money line Nadal because he's paying out pretty well. I have over three and a half sets. I think that's a given. I don't think this match is going to be a straight setter. Um, I'd be very shocked if it was straight sets. Thank you, everybody who's following us on Twitch as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up? 3.45 in the morning in Canada. Ah, oh, you are a savage. Alex and anybody else from Canada or America, you are a real one. You're a real one. And I'll be feeling your pain in about a week. Because <laughs> I'll, be I'll be going live at 4 in the morning or 3 in the morning or stupid o'clock in Australia time. So uh, I, know you, I know how you feel. Australian news, no mention freedom convoy. Boy, what? So I got to do with anything. Um, da -da -da -da. I had 50 bucks on Nadal. Okay. A few people on Rafa. What are, I, uh, what are you asking us to spam? All right, this is the final time. Go over to the Australian Open. So the Australian Open YouTube channel are live right now showing the warm-up of the players. I want you guys to go over there, as a lot of you have already done. Go over there and spam... In their chat, join Tennis Talk because what happens, if you don't know, the Australian Open been doing these warm-up streams, right? Where they show half an hour before the match. But then when the match starts, they cut the stream. And everybody in the stream just gets angry because they're like, oh, this is bullshit. I thought this was the match. What a lie. 
that's where we come in and we take over from the Australian Open. So they show the preview, we do the match. So we want, I want you guys to go over there and I want you to spam their chat with either Tennis Talk or Join Tennis Talk or whatever. Just Join Tennis Talk is probably the best because then people, when they finish, will go, what, what's Tennis Talk? What's this Tennis Talk that everyone's talking about? And they'll come find us. That's the, we're going to spread the word. Because look, it's, it's cruel. And I'm not Shrek. I am the Wicked Witch of the West, or whatever her name is. And she, she sends off her, uh, her minions to go and, and... I don't know what they... I haven't seen the movie for a while. But, you know, when she like... Sent, um, that's, anyways, whatever. It was a joke. Um, oh, you guys are too much. Jocelyn's in there. We've got... Uh, you Raj, sorry, I pronounced that totally wrong. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Just tennis talk all through that chat. Almost every second thing is a tennis. It says tennis talk. <laughs> spread the word, my minions. Go and do it. That's what I want to see. We got to spread the word. Let's get this to be the biggest stream we've ever done. That's what I want to see. A lot of people in there saying tennis talk. That's what I want to see. Join Tennis Talks. That's it. Spread the word. Tell the people where it's at. Players are warming up their serve, by the way. Oh, Yelena, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. You've been a, you're just continually spamming the chat. Oh, I love it. Whenever you see the whole chat just say Tennis Talk, that's what we're all about. We want to keep on. We want to do that until the Australian Open go, no, and they ban us. Or they ban, at least ban the chat. Why am I green? Because. Because why not? Because the tennis ball's green. Oh, you guys. That's what I want to see. <laughs> the Smiths. I oh, love it. Thank you. Appreciate that. We've got uh, plenty of people in there. Saket. We've got Adi. We've got Maduro. We've got uh, Alvira. Hot Potatoes in there. Spamming the chat. Random MG. I see you all in there. I see you all. Wayne's still spamming the chat. That's what we want to see. They're going to cut that stream soon, and people have to find out where to go next, and we're the next best thing. If you can't watch the match, we're the next best thing. That's why we've got to spam the chat. Tell the people where we're at. Get the people into the chat so no one misses out on this final. By the way, during this final, I will be doing every single point. So just so you guys know in the chat, uh, if, I do, if you do feel like I'm not reading the chat, it's because... Uh, a small percentage of people actually type in the chat. A large percentage of people listen. So for the people listening out there, I will be covering every point, and I won't uh, unless the match is really, really one-sided and we have time to talk. I will be covering every single point, starting with the first point where Raf is going to serve, and that's happening right now. Go over there, spam the chat, my my pretties. Go do it. Thank you, everyone who did spam the chat over there. Uh, let me turn myself back into a real boy. Okay. Rafa to serve. It's the first point of the Australian Open. And history is on the line. Let me know in the chat who's going to win. You tell me. As Medvedev hits a return on the Rafa serve. 4-0 from Rafa to the back end of Medvedev. 4-0 Rafa again to the slice there of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand now into the open court winner. Unbelievable. Rafa starts with a winner. That's what we want to see. Fireworks from the start. Thank you, everybody, who spammed the chat. I know they're just about to cut it off, and then everyone will jump over here. So thank you, everybody, who went over there and spammed the chat. You guys uh, you guys know what's up. That's it. They've stopped it. That's what I want to see. All right. Rafa. 15, love. Won the first point. Let me just fix everything up here so it's all working again. There we go. Thank you so much, everybody, who spammed the chat. <laughs> You guys did a great job. Hopefully a lot of people join us now as we get a point here. Just refreshing everything. 15 love. Raf with the first point. Medvedev with the second. 15 all. 15 all. But you tell me in the chat who's going to win this match. How many sets is it going to be? Because I'm going with Rafa in five. I think history will be made. And I think Rafa will do it. Thank you for following us over on Twitch as well. Appreciate that. Let me get the stats up too. What, what are we doing here? Anyways, 15 all. As Medvedev hits that long. And it's 30-15. Also, as a courtesy to people that are listening, I'm not going to... I'm going to have all donations uh, play during the change of ends, alright? So, if you do donate, and you're wondering, hey, my donation didn't pop up straight away, I will play all donations at the change of ends. Just so people listening don't uh, can listen to the full match. 
Like to share who just donated. You're, I'll, I'll play that in a sec. 30-15, Rafa serves a fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. 30-15. It's going to be a long match, I feel, either way. I just feel like this is going to be a long match. As Medvedev hits a return there. Forehander from Rafa to the backhand of Medvedev. Sliced into the forehand of Rafa. That goes down to the forehand of Medi as we get a forehand from Medvedev wide. And it's 40-15. 40-15. Rafa, first game of this history-making night. They, every time they've played in, in the last couple of meetings, it's been close. Last two three-set matches, gone the distance. Last five-set match, US Open 2019. You're all, if you were there for that one, you, you remember that one. We watched that one all the way through. Actually, that might have been our longest stream up until this tournament. So if you're back from 2019, I mean, you remember that. It was under 10,000 subs back then. We're only... a a baby channel. As we got a backhand now from Medi into the backhand of Rafa. Now goes in the net from Rafa. 40-30. But uh, yeah, that match. You can go watch that stream. It's still on the channel. We actually might have watched the, all their meetings. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Forty thirty. By the way, welcome if you're coming over from the Australian Open uh, blue ball stream. We're going to not blue ball you and we're going to go through the entire match. Every shot of this match. And we're going to be loud and we're going to get excited about it. And we're going to have a hell of a lot of fun. And then we might even do a giveaway at the end. Don't tell anybody that. We'll just keep that between us. 40-30. Serve down the tee to the forehand of Medi. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medi. Into the slice there of Rafa. Medvedev in control of this point as he hits a forehand. Into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev down the line. Rafa on the stretch gets it. Backhand now. Medi. Into the backhand of Rafa who hits it in the net again. That's two backhands in a row in the net from Nadal. And it's Deuce. Medvedev. First game. Trying to get a break here. Five minutes already played. <laughs> And the crowd are definitely Rafa, Rafa focused. I think they want to see history, as in Grand Slam history. I know Medvedev's going to create history if he wins, but they want to see the the history of twenty one slams. I think Ra didn't Roger win twenty slams here, and he was the first. So we saw history a couple of years ago, but we want we're, we're greedy. We want to see more history. Backhand now from Medi into the forehand of Rafa. Good shot. Medvedev gets it. Into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev now with a forehand to the forehand of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand now from Rafa. Goes again into the forehand of Medi. Into the forehand of Rafa. Just goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand now from Rafa again to the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand now Medvedev again. Hits the tape and ooh! Doesn't go over. Just. Just. Doesn't go over. Thought about it. 19 shot rally. Get used to that. Advantage Rafa. By the way, 80% crowd capacity. It looks like 100%, but I think it's only 80. Unless they upped it for the final and they went, hey, YOLO, whatever. Let me check. They might have been like, well, it's the last day of the tournament, so we might as well just go all out. Nah, I think it's 80%. Looks more. Looks way more. Maybe some people snuck in. <laughs> Second serve, Rafa. Rafa to get the first game on the board in this final. As he serves down the tier of the four and Medi, and Medi hits it wide. Rafa with a little fist bump. Come on! And he gets the first game in this epic final. And it was an epic game. Seven minutes to start us off. One love, Rafa. All right, big shout out to everybody who's, uh, everybody out there who has uh, subscribed. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, who subscribed for the last uh, couple of months. Well, last month, you know. It's been uh, it's been a very big response. So I appreciate all that. While we have a chance now, let's play the dono that uh, Tashir has. Let's play this. 
Okay, Medvedev serving now. First game was a long game, but Rafa usually takes a long time anyway. No break points in that first game against the Rafa serve. A couple of errors, though. We're going to keep an eye on that. Seems like maybe both guys are a little nervous. I feel like the first set, and this is weird to say, I feel like the first set, Rafa has to win the first set. <laughs> if he loses the first set, I feel like Medvedev's going to just, like he did at the US Open, gain in confidence. So this first set is crucial. Maybe more so for Rafa, which is weird. As that hits a slice, uh, Rafa hits a slice down the line again to the backhand side. Medvedev with a forehand now into the backhand of Rafa to the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa on the stretch gets it with a forehand. Medvedev down the line. Rafa with a backhand slice into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand out from Rafa. Cross court is wide. And Medvedev gets the first point. 15 love. 15 love. And it is absolutely packed. I'll tell you what, if you've got a ticket to this match and history is made with, through Rafa, it's one of those things you'll tell everyone. You'll be like, hey, I was there when he won 21. As that goes out, good serve from Medi. 30 love. Just like those thousand people that were at the French Open when Rafa won that. And that was the... Uh, that was the biggest match on this channel's history, to be honest. That was the biggest thing we've ever done on this channel was that Rafa match. As that goes long from Medi, it's 30-15. By the way, if Rafa does win today, he will be number five in the world. If he loses, he will also be number five. So no matter what happens, he's five. Medi does have a world number one ranking on the cards if he can get this. As Rafa hits a forehand wide. And it's 40-15. So far, it seems like both players are a little bit nervous. Rafa's footwork's a little bit off. A lot of errors from Rafa's racket early. As Medvedev serves an ace. Bang! 1-1. On! It does seem like Rafa's a little nervous. You can see there are five unforced errors already. And that's very un rafa like Three from Medvedev. So... It's definitely uh, nerves in the air. Definitely nerves in the air. 1-1. One, one. Rafa serving now. By the way, big shout out to anyone who's donating. Uh, Pranav will get to your donation at the next change of ends. If anyone donates, I will get to their donations. I will play their donations during the changeovers. Here we go. Rafa serving as he serves a fault. Second serve. By the way, Djokovic fans in the chat, who are you going for? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Who are the Djokovic fans going for? Serve Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. That goes to the backhand of Medi, who hits it down into the backhand of Rafa. Again to the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand now Rafa sliced. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the backhand of Rafa. And Rafa hits it too deep. Love 15. Rafa's backhand's a problem. Few backhand errors so far. That's definitely the problem side. Love 15. Full stadium. Rod Laver, I think, is giving the trophy out. Or is it Jim Courier because it's like 30 years since he won? Either or one of the... Maybe they're both given the trophy. I guess if Rafa wins, maybe Rod Laver gives the trophy. And if Medvedev wins, Jim will get the trophy. I don't know. Second serve now, Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Again to the backhand of Medi, who goes down the line to the slice of Rafa. Backhand now from Medvedev, cross court. Rafa gets with a forehand. Now backhand again, Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa, who goes down the line. Medvedev's starting to run now as Rafa makes his move. Backhand to backhand now as Medvedev runs for the slice backhand and hits it. Into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand now from Medvedev, down the line. Rafa in trouble. Hits a slice again. Medvedev forehand. Rafa with a backhand on the stretch. Gets it. Medvedev with a backhand. Into the forehand of Rafa. What a rally as we get a backhand to forehand exchange. Medvedev's backhand goes down the line for a winner! This is oh, not Medvedev! Here, not afraid of the down the line backhand. 26 shots! Woo! Love 30. Damn.
He had enough of that rally, but you can tell the tactics early from Medvedev are go to the Rafa's backhand. He's keeping away from that forehand at all costs. Not giving Rafa a chance to hit those banana forehand winners that we're all used to seeing. Ma uh, Medvedev with his spaghetti arms, his noodle arms. Love 30. Serb now is a fault again. Rafa in trouble. Rafa in trouble. Definitely hasn't got things on his own on his terms yet. Second serve. Love 30. Serve now to the backhand of Medvedev. Four now from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand now down the line again. Rafa with a slice. Medvedev in control as he hits a forehand. Open court. Rafa gets it. Oh, no way! Rafa gets it! Unbelievable. Medvedev played that way too safe. And Rafa with a flick. The crowd light up. Man, Medvedev went straight down the middle. That's not a bad idea, but Rafa, like a goalkeeper who just stayed in the one spot, saved it. And Medvedev was not ready for a volley. He was not prepared. Man, Rafa, that's the best shot he's hit all day. The, cr the crowd love it. The crowd love it. 15-30. But again, Medvedev's down the line backhand is a weapon. Serve out wide of the backhand of Medvedev. Four now from Rafa. Down the line. Medvedev on the stretch. Rafa comes in with a volley. Medvedev with a pass. Rafa gets it. Medvedev passes again. Rafa gets it and puts it away. And Rafa's fired up here. We got the Vamos flying. The crowd are on fire at 30 all. Rafa's arrived. Rafa's arrived. The last two points. That's got to give him a shot in the arm. Not a vaccine. Adrenaline. Medvedev's not playing a bad game, but he just keeps going to the wrong place. He keeps going to the... He keeps going to Rafa. And that's the first time we've seen Rafa flex that bicep. And scream. I feel like the beast has been awoken. 30 all. Big point here. Rafa serves into the backhand of Medvedev. Slice there from Rafa. Down the line. Medvedev with a backhand again. Goes into the forehand of Rafa this time. Forehand from Medvedev. Into the slice of Rafa. Again to the forehand of Medvedev. Goes back to the slice of Rafa. Backhand from Medi again to the backhand of Rafa. They just keep hitting backhands, these guys. Who's going to hit a forehand first? And Medvedev's playing it smart because Rafa's backhand goes long again. 30-40. Again, Medvedev just keeps going to the Rafa backhand. And it's working. Until Rafa starts hitting backhand winners, Medvedev's going to keep doing that. Break point. Medvedev taking some deep breaths here. He's really breathing heavy already. Anyone else notice that Rafa's got like a puffy eye? Looks like he's got punched in the face. You know what I mean? Like he's got like a uh, one of those like like a black eye. Anyone else see that? Anyway, served out of the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Open court. Medvedev with a pass. Rafa with a volley. Is a drop volley. And that is too good. Unbelievable. Maybe coming to the net's not a bad idea for Rafa. He can volley. He can volley. Anyone else notice that? Like, one of Rafa's eyes. Under his eye is a little bit puffy. Like he's been... Like someone's like knocked him in the eye. You know when you get... when You you know when you get punched in the head? You know. I'm sure we've all been there. You know when you get punched in the face? You get a black eye. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Looks like that. We've all been there. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. There's a lady coming out on the court to do some uh, clean up. Because Rafa's sweat all over the court. And this lady's doing some, uh, doing some maintenance. So she gets, I guess, a pay, pay rise for that. Rafa's sweating up a storm. Deuce. Third game of the match. And we've already seen some epics. Raf is sweating bullets. Second serve. Can't buy a first serve. 17 minutes played for two and a bit games. Thanks everyone following us over on Twitch. You guys are uh, blowing up over there. Serve down the tee. The backhand of Medvedev. Four from Rafa into the backhand of Medi. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. And Rafa dumps that in the net. Medvedev's got a second break point. Rafa just... I mean, he fell off that shot. That's his go-to. Seven minutes this game. 
couple of long service games for Rafa. And I think that's where Medvedev's got an advantage here is he's got the weapon. You know, he's got the big serve that he can hit big first serves, Medvedev. Rafa doesn't have a, have a, a, a blistering serve like Medvedev does. So it's going to be a lot longer. Well, it's going to take Rafa a lot longer, right, to win games. Good serve. Medvedev hits the return, but it's a let. And plus, even if Rafa did have a big serve, Medvedev doesn't let players ace him very often. I mean, we saw Nick Kyrgios, right? One of the biggest serves on tour could barely get it past Medvedev in their match. I think he only hit about nine aces or something. So Rafa's going to have a tough time. He's not going to get too many free points. As Medvedev hits a return, and as I say that, Medvedev shanks the ball off the return and hits it out. <laughs> Back to Deuce. Good serve, Rafa. Gets a free point. <laughs> Eight-minute game. First game went for about seven. So this is a long couple of service games for Rafa. Back at Deuce. Served down the tee to the back end of Medvedev. Goes into the slice of Rafa. Down the line to the slice of Medvedev. And Medvedev slices in the net. And I think that's what Rafa's trying to do with that slice backhand. He's trying to get Medvedev to slice back. Because we know Medvedev slice backhands... And not the greatest shot. It's not his best shot. He'd rather be hitting two-handers. So Medvedev's trying to keep the ball low. So Medvedev, you know, does that slice. Advantage, Rafa. And look, you know, if you're a tall player, hit, getting sliced backhands is tough because you've got to bend down to the ball. If you ever play someone, there's anyone out there who plays tennis, if you ever play someone who's like, you know, 6'4", or 6'6", six, six, or whatever, tall player, you, uh, you're best to keep the ball low because most tall players don't bend down to hit balls. Well, they, they struggle to hit slice backhands and the like. So feel free to take that to your next match. As we get a forehand out from Rafa into the backhand of Medi, going to the forehand of Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand again to the forehand of Rafa who goes down the line. Medvedev in trouble as he sprints. Now backhand from Rafa. Medvedev in big trouble here. Rafa, forehand, winner! That's the banana forehand. Rafa doing Rafa things. Unbelievable. And he gets the game, stays in front 2-1, but he is putting in a lot of effort to get these games. You wonder if this is going to worry Rafa down the track because he's putting in lots of work early on. All right, let's answer questions first. I think it's because he's, he's, he's very unique because he moves like a small player. He gets everything back like, like a six-foot-tall player, like Diminor, for example. But he also hits a big, big serve. So it, he's a great returner and a great server. You know, it's, it's, he's a rare combo. But I think that's going to become the norm. You know, tall, big hitting, great returning. But he just gets everything back. You know, he gets everything back and he makes you hit five, six more shots. And that's what the short players, that's their advantage. You know, Schwartzman, Diminor. Uh, Goffan, Nishikori, you know, Leighton Hewitt back in the day. That was their game plan, to get everything back until their opponent missed. When a guy six foot six is doing that, and then also serving like a six foot six guy, that makes it very difficult to figure out how to beat him. It's a tough, it's, he's, he doesn't have, <laughs> he's a brick wall with a big serve. It's, it's tough. He's like a six foot six Djokovic at times. And Medvedev's got good ground strokes. You know, he's got a good forehand, good backhand, even though his technique's a little bit weird. It's effective. You know, he's super, uh, super flexible in the arms. Med's an anomaly. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a strange one. He's a, he's a unicorn. You know, he's an octopus. He's a bear. He's a unicorn. He's a tough one. Good question, though. All right, Medvedev serving. Down to the forehand of Rafa. Backhand out from Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa, again to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand out from Rafa, again going to the backhand of Medi. Down the line to the backhand of Rafa. Good shot from Rafa. Medvedev gets it though with a forehand. Rafa with a forehand again. Medvedev just going side to side like a windscreen wiper. As Medvedev runs again and hits it wide. Rafa's starting to get on top of this rally now. Love 15. Now if you're just joining us, Rafa just had to save two break points in the last game. He's played two service games with a lot of... Uh, for, uh, I think, what, 23 minutes played? His first service games have gone for about, probably about maybe 18 of those minutes. Maybe longer. Medvedev had a pretty quick game. 
Whereas Rafa's had to fight hard for his. Second serve now. Medi. I'd love 15. Rafa with the backhand shanks that to the moon. 15 all. And apparently, according to the stats, Medvedev's done a lot more running in the first part of this match, but Rafa's had to work a lot harder on the serve. So I don't think either player is really getting an advantage fitness wise. Serve out wide of the backhand slice of Rafa goes out. Good serve from Medi. 30 15. Also, we're almost at 1,000 likes. Can we get to 1,000 likes by the end of this set? That would be insane if we could do that. As we're going to serve from the Medi in the net. Second serve. Into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. To the backhand of Medi. Backhand slice now from Rafa goes into the forehand of Medvedev. And Medvedev hits it out. The low ball from Rafa. The slice backhand, keeping the ball low. It's going to produce the errors from that, that, uh, those shots from Medvedev. 30 all. So that's the tactic. Rafa's tactic, slicing it, keeping it low. And that is a smart tactic. Serve out wide. Great serve from Medvedev. Rafa gets it back. Backhand now. Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand now. Down the line. Rafa with the passing. No, with a lob. Medvedev lets it bounce. It goes out. Great stuff from Medvedev. That, is, that serve is brutal. The serve out wide from Medvedev. He gets such an angle because he's so tall. He can just angle the ball off so much. 40-30. By the way, I'm going to tell you guys an interesting stat. Or maybe a historical fact. And what history Medvedev's playing for tonight as he wins the game with an ace. Bang! Unbelievable. 2 old. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but if Medvedev wins tonight, he becomes the only, he becomes the tallest player to win multiple slams in the singles. Is that correct? Because right now he's six foot six and he's equal height with Chilich and with Del Potro. But they don't have two slams. So if Medvedev wins tonight, he becomes the tallest player to win multiple slams. Is that right? Is that the history? Right? Am I, am I right or wrong? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Safin was like 6'4". He wasn't as tall as Medi. Medvedev 6'6". Six, six. Safin was 6'4". Safin was, six, four. Safin was not 6'6". Six, six. He was tall in a generation of 6'1 players. When it, the average was 6'1". Six, 6'4 six, was tall. That's why, <laughs> you know... Anderson never won a slam, so it can't be Kevin Anderson. I said winning multiple slams. He's the tallest player to win multiple slams if he wins tonight. As we had a backhand now from Medvedev to the slice of Rafa. 2 all here. As we had a backhand, a backhand rally. Medvedev with a forehand now. Rafa with another slice backhand drop shot. Medvedev's going to get it with a backhand down the line. Winner. Unbelievable. And he's quick. We know that. He's quick. He is quick. Rod Laver watching. Hashtag legend. Love to see it. Do I, do I mean multiple or consecutive? Both. I mean, even if he wins it like another slam in five years, he'll still be the tallest player to win two slams. Even if he wins it, like he doesn't, even if he doesn't win tonight, if he wins one more slam, he'll be the only player, he'll be the tallest player to win two slams. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that, is that true though? Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, serve volley from Rafa. Maybe with a passing shot and that's going to be in. Oh man, Medvedev! This is gonna be on tennis TV. Bro. Rafa didn't shouldn't have let that drop. He should have hit the volley. Love 30. Rafa in trouble again. Brutal from Rafa. How tall was Hewitt? Uh like 5'11. Six foot on a good day. I don't have the data on that. Well yeah, we can all you I mean just name names, right? Who do you think is a tall player that's got two slams? Someone said, like, Safin, but Safin's 6'4". So Medvedev's taller than that. Um, Roddick was, like, 6'1". Uh, yeah. Del Potro got one slam. Chilich got one. You know, Anderson got zero, so he doesn't count. 
as we had a forehand to forehand rally. This one goes into the back end of Rafa. Rafa needs this point. Good forehand from Medvedev. Rafa with a slice. Down the line. Medvedev digs it out with the backhand. What a rally. As we had a backhand now from Medvedev. Down the line to the backhand of Rafa. And that goes out. Medvedev gets three more break points. Unbelievable. The angles of this match feel like a clay court match. Does anyone else get that feel? The angles are so sharp from both guys. It's brutal. Sampras was like 6-1, 6-2. I mean, Sampras was not 6-6. <laughs> There's no way Sampras was 6-6. Murray, yeah, Murray 6-3. John Isner never won a slam. Ivan, Ivan Izovic only won one. How are you 5-11 and 6-foot on a good day? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Depends who you ask. Love 40. Medvedev looking to get the break. Rafa serves a fault. Second serve coming up. Rafa in trouble. He's been in trouble a fair few times in this first part of the set. Medvedev looking to get that break. Rafa serves to the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand from Rafa. Goes out. Backhand from Rafa goes out. That is what I've been saying so much today already. And Medvedev gets the break. And the Serbian flags are flying. I think the Serbian fans are Russian today. They're Russian. Um, thank you, Michael, for the donation. Appreciate that. Thank you for the uh, for the for the three. Yes. And look, anybody out there that has to work tomorrow and it's like stupid o'clock right now, use this uh, this stream as a message to your boss. That your boss should be letting you take the day off work because tennis is on and tennis is more important and history is on the line. And if they don't understand, well, maybe they're just a shitty boss. So, I mean, I told my boss, which is me, that I'm sleeping tomorrow. So, you can do the same. Vodka, 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 okay. Chilich, maybe 6-6. Six, six. But the thing is, Chilich only won one slam. So that's what I'm saying, is like, if Medvedev wins a slam tonight, the second slam, he's the only guy his height with two slams. There's no one taller. Not that that's like any, anything like, you know, it's not like 21 slams, but still, it's like a milestone, right? It's, it's a history, it's a history thing. Stan's not 6'6", Becker was like 6'3", I don't know, like 6'2", you know? Sampras was not that tall. Stan Smith was 6'4". Well, there you go. So that's pretty tall for back in the 70s. But not it's not 6'6". How tall is Del Potro? Del Potro... So, as, as far as I know, from the... What we've done this... We've, done, we've had this conversation before. We had um, Del Potro, Chilich, and Medvedev, the three tallest players to win a slam. All at 6'6". As we had a serve now to the back end of Rafa, forehand from Medi, into the back end of Rafa, again to the uh, back end of Medi. Rafa just got broken as he hits a backhand down the line. Medvedev with the back end of his own, forehand of Rafa, again to the back end of Medvedev, into the slice of Rafa. Back end now down the line again to the slice of Rafa, into the forehand of Medvedev, who goes to the forehand of Rafa. Rafa's standing too far behind the baseline. He needs to be more aggressive, and he does, as Rafa gets the point. Love 15. Medvedev hits it in the net. That was better. Rafa's got to be aggressive. He has to be more aggressive. So yeah, I think, I think, yeah. That is the history that Medvedev's going for. Tallest player to win multiple slams. Serve down and see the back end of Rafa. Goes into the back end of Medvedev. Four now Rafa. Again to the back end of Medvedev. Rafa starting to take over as he hits a forehand down the line. Medvedev gets it with a forehand of his own. Backhand now Rafa is in the net again. Oh man, Rafa's backhand is a problem. It is a problem. 12 unforced errors for Rafa. Tough start, that uh, backhand. It's been a problem. And Rafa hits himself in the head because he knows. He knows. And then Medvedev serves an ace. Bang. That is the difference. Medvedev can hit aces out of nowhere. And he's already hit a couple. It's a weapon that, Medvedev, that Nadal does not have. Already got three aces here, Medi. 30-15. Uh, Looking to consolidate the break. As he serves down the tee, the back end of Rafa. Rafa hits it wide. 40-15. 
Nice serving here from Medi. 40-15. This is only the first set, everybody. Remember, we could have five of these. So uh, don't stress. We could have five of these sets. One set doesn't mean a win. But it does mean a tough road back for Rafa if Medi does get it. Because we saw what happened at the US Open. As soon as Medvedev got that first set against Djokovic, it was just like... The dude just opened up. 40-15. He's got a backhand now. Rafa from the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Into the backhand now. Medi. Forehand from Rafa in the open court. is a winner! That's better! Unbelievable. As soon as he steps in and hits that forehand, that's when it becomes Rafa's match. If he starts attacking, that's what Rafa needs to do. If he goes defensive against, uh, against Medvedev, Medvedev's just going to work him down and wear him down. But if Rafa steps inside the baseline and starts hitting winners, that's where it's at. Medvedev, good serve. Rafa gets it. Swinging volley from Medvedev. Rafa's going to get it. Put up the lob. Medvedev with a smash. Let's it bounce. Puts it down. Rafa gets it with a forehand, but it goes out. Medvedev, 4-2. Come on! 4-2 Medvedev. The serving of Medvedev is really good, by the way. Holy crap. Look at that. 81% of first serves in, and he's winning 80% of those. The second serve's a problem, but it's, it's fine if you're not hitting too many. <laughs> it's all right if you're not hitting too many second serves. Cam, what is the temperature do they set in the stadium when they close the roof? I don't know, Raymond, but it doesn't matter because the, the roof's open. It's like, tw like mid-20s at the moment, the weather. The mid-20s. The mid so it's not that. It's like, it's a nice night to play tennis. No rain around. The roof is open. So that's what's, uh, that's what's up. 4-2. Needs this game here, Rafa. He can't afford to go down a second break. It's only one break a serve. As Rafa double faults. His serving needs improvement. His serve definitely needs improvement. 36 minutes into this one. And how are we feeling in the chat? What I want you to tell me, I want you to give me your emotions in one emoji. How are you feeling in the chat? With one emoji. Just one emoji. It can be happy, it can be sad, it can be nervous, it can be... I don't know. What, any other emotions? How are you feeling? With an emoji in the chat. A lot of people nervous. Okay. A lot of nervous emojis in the chat. As Rafa double faults again. Back to back double faults there from Rafa. It's love 30. A lot of people crying. A lot of people happy. Some people nervous. Laughing. There we go. Look at the emoji. Money. Someone must have bet on Medvedev. <laughs> people are chill. Some people are chill. Okay. Some people with a thumbs up, nice. Some people uh, can't believe what's happening. Some people have good vibes, nice. Some people with octopus, that's <laughs> There we go, Someone, some people got beer. Cheers. Th uh, love 30. Medvedev down the line to the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. And that goes into the back end of Medi. Rafa with a forehand again to the back end of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. That's a better shot. Medvedev gets it. Back in our Rafa down the line. Medvedev gets that too. Rafa with the forehand again down the line is in. Medvedev just gets that. Rafa with a slice drop shot. Medvedev's going to get it and put it away. Come on! And it's love 40. Medvedev again with the break points. Rafa is hitting the ball too short in the court. That point, every single shot he hit was in like service line. He is hitting the ball too short, Rafa. And it's getting, giving Medvedev all the time in the world. He needs to hit the ball deeper. Love 40. And he's playing real conservative, Rafa. He's not going for the lines either. He's playing real safe. And if you play safe against Medi, he will eat you up as he's serve volleys. And that goes out. Medvedev double break, 5-2. Five 5-2. Two. Five two. Medvedev, first set. Rafa's playing too safe. He is playing too safe. All right.
Answer my question! The question, jerk! Got a couple of donations, let's play them again. Play for the eight. Um, you know what? I think Medvedev's going to surprise a few people come the clay court season. The, only, the biggest problem with Medvedev on clay is his movement. He's got the shots. He can hit the drop shots. He can hit the forehands. He can grind it out. 2019 Medvedev on clay was actually pretty good. If you go look at his records, we actually watched, watched him on the clay in 2019. Actually pretty good. But the thing is, he needs to be able to figure out how to move on clay and slide. He just looks like he's, he's like Bambi on ice. You know, he's just like, Bleh. he just can't stand still. His feet are slipping and sliding all over the place. Medvedev might surprise if he can learn how to play on clay or learn how to move on clay. I think Medvedev will surprise a few people. He made the quarterfinals of Roland Garros last year, so he's not totally useless on clay. But still. But still, Medvedev... Medvedev could surprise some people. He might not... He has a lot of points that he can make up because he has no points on the clay. So, hey. He's a good mover on hard court, but on clay... You gotta be, is it, and that's why Naomi Osaka struggles too. It's a different type of movement on clay. You have to have a balance. You need to be balanced because you can't rely on the hard court sticking. Like your feet can't stick to the ground on clay. Your feet are always moving and always slipping around. It's a different, you know, it's completely different uh, balance. You need to be able to have good balances. Rafa hits a four and winner. Unbelievable. Best shot Rafa's hit so far, love 15. Finally starting to be aggressive. But yeah, good question though. Very good question. And Rafa just slapped that ball for a winner. Medvedev serving with a set. And then Medvedev serves an ace. Bang. 15 all. 15 all. Medvedev serves again. Down the tee. Rafa hits it wide. 30 15. Very good serving here from Medvedev. I mean, he, look, he can't serve any better. 80% first serves in, 80% points won. I mean, Rafa, as much as Rafa's been, you know, making making silly errors, Medvedev's serving has been untouchable. As Rafa hits a forehand down the line to the forehand of Medvedev at 30-15, Rafa with a slice. Medvedev with the backhand now into the forehand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev, Rafa with a drop volley in the net. And it's two set points for Daniil Medvedev. To take the first set, 6-2. Man. I think Nadal's a little bit lost at the moment. He doesn't have a tactic. As he serves out wide at the back end of Rafa, and that's in the net. Medvedev first set, 6-3. 6-3. 6-3, three. Three, Medi, first set. One down, two to go. All right, let's keep answering questions. We'll go through the stats first, and then we'll answer some questions. And we'll talk about how Rafa can come back in the second. And I think a couple of things have to happen for Rafa to come back. But let's go through the stats, because they're very impressive uh, for Medvedev, especially on serve. So Rafa, seven winners, no aces in that. Uh, what was it, 14 unforced errors? I know why it was eight winners. He only hit seven. Um, two double faults in those 16 unforced errors. Uh, Medvedev with, a, with the eight winners, including four aces and five unforced errors. Uh, the serving of Medvedev, that was the big difference. Um, Rafa was under pressure in pretty much every game he played on serve. Uh, those first two games that Rafa won on serve, he was very, very, uh, I guess, lucky to win those games because Medvedev just made some errors at the wrong time. But Medvedev's serving was brutal. I mean, like, as I said, 82%, winning 83% of those points. It's untouchable if he keeps that up. And that means Rafa's going to have to win his serve. His serve was not good. But also Rafa making a lot of backhand errors. So a couple of things have to change. Rafa has to get a lot better on his serve. He has to get a lot better in the ground strokes. Be more aggressive. But also rely on Medvedev dropping his, his level on serve a little bit too. Because Medvedev right now is serving ridiculous. It's... Uh, you bet against Rafa at your own risk because Rafa doesn't go away. That's the thing. He might... Medvedev winning the first set is very, very good and he played a hell of a first set. But Rafa will never go away. I would be very shocked if Rafa just disappeared. 
Let's find out in the first couple of games here. He's got to turn things around, Rafa. First by making first serves. He's not going to win by hitting second serves. Boy, first serve. He can't at the moment. Kyrgios knows what's up. Second serve now, Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. And Medvedev hits it long. 15 love. Free point there for Rafa. Haven't seen that. Have not seen that. So 15 love. But yeah, like I said, I think that a couple of things have to change for Rafa. And one of them, the hardest one is getting Medvedev to serve worse. He can't really do anything about that. Just has to wait until Medvedev maybe, maybe drop serve. But he does, he needs more first serves, Rafa. And he also needs to be a little bit more aggressive. And, uh, you know, the backhand needs to start working too. Because he's hit a lot of errors on that side. Backhand now from Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev on the stretch. Rafa gets in the forehand side. Gets that one. Backhand Medvedev goes wide. That was better from Rafa. Use that forehand. Use that weapon that we love watching. I want to have a look at what Medvedev did against Djokovic in, on the serving. I want to see what that looked like. Because if he served at this level against Djokovic in that US Open... then Rafa's going to be in real deep shit. Oh, Medvedev actually didn't serve too, bad, too good in that final. Nine double faults in that final. And he still won in straight sets. He only served at 58%, so he's actually serving better in this match than he was in the US Open final. That's concerning for Rafa fans. Djokovic, on the other hand, he didn't serve great. As we're at a backhand now from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa, into the backhand of Medi. Forehand now from Rafa again to the backhand of Medvedev into the forehand of of Rafa. Medvedev with a backhand of his own. Into the backhand again of Rafa. Forehand to backhand now as Rafa goes down the line. Medvedev gets it with another backhand. Backhand from Rafa goes in the forehand of Medvedev. Into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev on the stretch gets it. Backhand Rafa cross court. Medvedev on the stretch gets that one too. Rafa with a slice that goes wide. And that's what Medvedev does. He just gets everything back. He's not doing anything too fancy in the rallies. You know, he's hit some really good winners here and there, but... He's just serving very well and just being a backboard when he gets in a rally. I mean, super simple from Medvedev. Nothing, he's not reinventing any wheels. Thirty fifteen. He serves out wide a fault, Rafa. His first serve is a Big problem. I think maybe he's trying a little bit too hard to hit aces, Rafa, because Medvedev is so good on the return. He's trying a little too hard as we get a backhand now from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Going into the forehand of Medvedev. Another backhand slice there from Rafa goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Another slice from Rafa going into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the back end of Rafa, who goes down the line. That's a better shot. Maybe over the slice. Rafa, forehand, winner. That was better. And he hit it much deeper in the court, Rafa. Got to hit it deeper in the court. Keep Medvedev pushed back and keep him moving. 40 15. All right, Rafa serving again. To get the lead in the first... We'll get the first game in the second set. Second serve again from Rafa. 40-15. Serve down is a double fault. Oh, man. Another free point. 40-30. I'm just going to have a look at the unforced error count for what Djokovic did against Medi last year. Just kind of get a bit of a feel of how Medvedev is looking today compared to the US Open because so far he's serving better than he was at the US Open. As Rafa gets the first game of the second with a good serve. And guess what? It was a first serve. That'll go a long way. Now, 
looking here. So Medvedev stats at the US Open, the key stats that are on this board, right? Let's compare. 16 aces, nine double faults. So far, no double faults, four aces, serving very well. 58% of first serves in, smashing that right now. Uh, he's winning 81, he won 81% of first serve points. He's basically on par with that. Uh, and he won about 60% of second serve points in the US Open final. He's way below that, but he's so high on this that he's barely getting any second serves anyway. Uh, unforced errors and winners, 38 winners. 31 unforced errors, so he's about 50-50 today as well. Uh, Djokovic on that day, six aces, three double faults. He only served at 54% of first serves, but he was winning 80% of those points, so more than Rafa. Uh, also winning only 40% of second serve points, about the same as what Rafa's doing now. Uh, Djokovic hit 27 winners and 28 unforced errors, so more errors than winners, which is what Rafa's doing. So there's a, a little bit of comparison between how Rafa's playing in this Australian Open final so far and what Djokovic did at the US Open last year, and the way Medvedev's playing, he's playing serving better than the US Open, but he's playing about the same on the ground strokes, which is concerning if you're a Rafa fan, because Medvedev demolished Djokovic in straight sets that day. He might do the same today if he continues this form, as we had a backhand now slice there from Rafa. Unless Rafa can completely change something up here. Medvedev making Rafa move, and Rafa hits it out. And it's 15 love. So yeah, just a little bit of a comparison there to last year. Fifteen love. But the serving of Medvedev is the real difference right now. As he gets the free points. Four and out of the backhand of Rafa. Four and out from Medvedev again to the backhand slice of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medi. Slice there from Rafa again to the forehand of Medvedev. Going into the backhand slice again of Rafa. Four and out Medvedev goes again to the backhand of Rafa. Now Medvedev with the backhand on the stretch. Four and out Rafa. Down the line, Medvedev gets it. Rafa with a slice. Again, going into the forehand of Medvedev. Another long rally here as Medvedev starts to make his move. Rafa on the stretch, hits it in the net. Backhand side. 30 love. And Rafa's looking a fraction slow. Uh, if you're watching this, do you notice that Rafa's kind of... I don't know, he's not really anticipating the ball. He's kind of like, Medvedev hits the shot and then he moves. We're used to seeing Rafa kind of anticipate what's happening, which means he kind of like takes two steps before his opponent hits the ball. But because Medvedev's so weird at the way he plays, Rafa can't afford to kind of take two steps to one side because Medvedev's very quick at changing direction. So you can notice that Rafa's feet are kind of flat-footed until Medvedev hits the shot, which is why he's getting to the ball late. Medvedev comes to the net and hits a terrible forehand approach, and that goes out, 30-15. But just notice, Rafa... As soon as Medvedev's about to hit the ball, Rafa just stands there until the ball is hit. Whereas most times, Rafa's already going to one side. His anticipation's thrown off because of Medvedev's awkward shots. That's going to be a problem. 30-15. And then Medvedev serves an ace. And that is the X factor. The ace. And the big serving of Medi. 40-15. All right, five aces already. As he serves again, out wide, Rafa gets it. Medvedev with a serve volley, puts it away. And it's 1-1 in this second set. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're seeing what's happening. You can call them awkward, but they're impeccable uh, disguise. Yeah. Look, I'm not, when I call them awkward, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It's awkward, unorthodox. But he also, like, it's kind of like Federer's serve, right? So the, the thing about Federer's serve, which makes it so good, he's got great placement. He can hit the ball hard too. But it's the disguise. He hits a flat serve the same as a slice serve, the same as a kick serve. The ball tosses in the same spot every time. So you never know what's going to come off the Federer racket off his serve. Medvedev's very similar on the ground strokes. He hits a forehand that could go down the line or cross court, but it's the exact same technique, which makes it very hard to predict. Same with the backhand. So that's where, uh, that's where Rafa's getting caught flat-footed because he can't predict what Medvedev's going to do. And that's Medvedev's strength, something that probably it hasn't been really spoken about. As Medvedev hits a backhand in the net, Rafa starts making his move, 15 love. But I think that's something that that kind of goes unnoticed because most people aren't used to looking for that, I guess. People just kind of go, oh, well, mo most people watching are just going to be like, oh, he just gets the ball back every time. But 
If you really watch Rafa, he is not moving until Medvedev hits the ball. And that's because Medvedev's got such good disguise. And he can't afford to be a little... He can't be, afford to cheat by moving to one side or the other. That's it's a big thing. Just keep an eye on Rafa's feet and, it, and it'll show you. Anyway, it's 15.30. Let's, uh, 15 love, sorry. Let's get back to it. Second serve again, Rafa. As he serves now to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand again. Into the forehand of Rafa. Rafa's starting to attack now. Doesn't want to come to the net, though. Medvedev, oh, nearly hits a winner, but it just goes wide. Come on! 30 love. Medvedev nearly made Rafa pay. I think maybe Medvedev thought Rafa came to the net. And he just smacked the passing shot, but there was no one at the net, and it went wide. 55 minutes played. Thirty love two. Sorry, uh, not two. Second set, one all. Rafa serving now as he serves down the tee to the back end of Medvedev. Better serve from Rafa, but Medvedev's going to get it back every time. Back end slice there from Rafa into the forehand of Medi. Again to the slice of Rafa. Back end now from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa, and Rafa shanks it. And it's thirty fifteen. Also, thank you for all the donations coming through. We'll play the donations at the end of this game. So, I do see them. We're just going to do them when there's a break in play. Just so everyone listening out there can uh, stay up to date with point by point. I'm not going to miss a point tonight. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate everyone who's here. History, Maybe history. Well, there's someone's making history, right? Someone's making history. Serve in the net from Rafa. Second serve. Oh, Jess just messaged me. Say hi to Jess, everybody, in the chat. 30-15. Serve now to the backhand of Medvedev. Four now from Rafa into the four of Medi. Going into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev with the four and again. Into the backhand of Rafa. Into the four now of Medvedev. Rafa with the four on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand. Down the line to the slice of Rafa. Medvedev with another backhand to the backhand of Rafa. That's a good shot, but Medvedev's there with a back with a forehand. Backhand from Rafa goes wide. And another error from Rafa. 30 all. And Medvedev just playing smart. He's just playing so smart, Medvedev. You know, nothing. He's not. He's not reinventing the wheel. He's not trying to, you know, out hit Nadal. He's playing so smart, Medvedev. He's not coming out here and trying to blast Rafa off the court like most people would do. Like Chapo, for example, who had success, right? Big point here, 30 all. Serve out wide of the four and Medvedev shanked and goes long. And hey, what happens when you get a first serve in? You might get a free point. Unbelievable. 40-30. Rafa getting the free point off the first serve. No ace, but still, he'll take it. He'll take it. Four-minute game again. Almost one hour played, by the way. Nole, thank you for the five. Thank you, Elena, for the eight. Thank you, uh, Mamadou, for the two. And thank you, Saget, for the 235. Appreciate the donations. Um, yeah, well, Nole, you know, if, if Medvedev does win, FA will be kicking himself. But I wouldn't expect FA to be in his position. Like, it does, that's not how tennis works. You know, if you have match points against the champion, it's not like if Medvedev had lost that match that FAA would be winning this title. I think FA would have lost to City Pass, and then City Pass Nadal would have been the final. But again, he would be probably kicking himself. The rankings come out tomorrow, and we'll be doing a ranking show for that. So uh, make sure you keep up to date with that because we'll be doing the ranking show uh, tomorrow for the new rankings, and also for the race to Turin because and the race to Shenzhen who are for the WTA finals as well. So a lot of change in the rankings on the on the women's side, and a little bit of change in the men's side as well. All right, Rafa, first point. Medvedev hits it wide. First point to Rafa. Love 15. No break points against the Medvedev serve, and you can see why, because he's dominating on his serve. Serve into the net from Medi. Second serve. His second serve is a problem, and if Rafa can make him pay, something might, interesting might happen. As he hits a forehand now, Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medi. Backhand now, Rafa down the line to the backhand 
of Medvedev into the slice of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again to the backhand of Nadal. As Medvedev hits a backhand of his own, and that goes out. Love 30. Love 30. First time today that Medvedev's been in real trouble on serve. Now, we've seen him over the time that he's been in Love 30 situations. The big serve comes out. The big ace. As he serves out wide, Rafa with a slice. Medvedev with a backhand. Cross court. Rafa's going to get it with a forehand, but it goes in the net. Good hitting there from Medvedev. The first serve sets it up. Still in trouble, though. 15-30. Still in a little bit of trouble. Fifteen thirty, Medvedev taking the uh, sorry Rafa taking his time here. Medvedev's ready to serve. Rafa's ready now. Medvedev hits a fault. Uh oh. Can't buy a first serve. Big chance for Rafa here. Big opportunity. Second serve to the forehand of Rafa. Back and out from Medvedev down the line. Rafa with a slice goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand out from Rafa goes into the back end of Medvedev. Into the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again goes into the backhand slice of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand again from Rafa going into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev with the forehand again going to the slice of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medi. Backhand to back, backhand to forehand as we keep saying. Backhand from Rafa again sliced. Into the back end of Medi. No forehands allowed from Rafa. As we had another slice there from Nadal. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Again, slicing Rafa down the line to the backhand of Medvedev. Now a forehand from Rafa. As Medvedev hits a backhand into the forehand of Rafa again. Medvedev in trouble now as we get a backhand to forehand exchange. Another backhand from Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. And that's down the line to the forehand of Rafa. Now backhand Medvedev. Getting it just. Backhand now into the open court. But Medvedev's there with a the forehand. Rafa in trouble now with a slice. Good angle. Oh, Rafa too good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a rally! And Rafa gets break points! He just sliced that ball in half, Rafa, and it's Rafa doing Rafa things. It's not the banana forehand, it's a slice backhand. 40 shot rally! Woo! Woo ah, oh, don't we love calling those? 40 shot. That's gonna be the longest rally of the tournament. That's gotta be the longest rally of the tournament. And he finishes it with a slice drop shot. And Medvedev's... I mean, he couldn't get there. He couldn't get there. Break points Rafa. Seemingly out of nowhere. Couple of missed first serves and Medvedev gets in trouble. 15-40. And he serves an ace down the tee. You knew it was coming. It's a Medvedev special. He always goes to the ace when he's down. 30-40. Still break point, though, for Rafa. And if Medi misses a first serve, something might happen. Let's see what he does here. As Medvedev serves into the forehand of Rafa. Back in there from Medvedev. Down the line is out! Rafa breaks! And it's game on! 3-1, second set. Saket, come on back, mate. Rafa ain't done yet. Don't count Rafa out. 3-1, Nadal. And that was by far the worst service game Medvedev's had all day. You know, and when I say worse, I mean he played alright, but he just missed a lot of first serves. Losing first serves. That's what happens. I mean, look at his second serve percentage. It's worse than Rafa's. Alright, everybody. Game on. It's just this match has just started. This match has just started. Here we go. Thank you, Astro. Appreciate the kind words. 3-1. Rafa. Serve out wide is a fault. Now, this game is massive for Rafa. Of course, Medvedev will want to break straight back. And Rafa, I mean, he's given away a lot of free points tonight, so Medvedev won't be uh, too nervous about this break. As we had a backhand from Nadal going into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the slice there of Rafa. Medvedev with a backhand again. Into the backhand of Rafa. And that goes into the forehand of Medi. Forehand out from Rafa goes down the line. Medvedev with a backhand on the stretch. Good shot. Rafa gets it though with a forehand. Backhand out from Medvedev again to the backhand of Rafa. And that's going to be good. Medvedev just gets it. Oh, did Medvedev hit it in? No, he missed it. Oh, Medi just, just missed that shot. That slap forehand, and Rafa was standing right on it. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
a bee's dick. You heard it right. That's how, that's how close it was. A ball hair. Tennis ball hair. Tennis ball hair. Get your head out of the gutter. 15 love. Jeez. Medvedev nearly hit a ridiculous return there. That was... Woo! Rafa, four, uh, 15 love. Another first serve in the net. Can't buy a first serve! And his first serve percentage is absolutely shocking right now. Second serve. Goes into the four of Medvedev, and that goes in the net from Medi. Ooh. Second serve return halfway up the net. Not a great shot from Medvedev, and it's 30, love. Rafa looking to get up 4-1 in this second set. If you're just joining us, Medvedev won the first set, serving amazing. And Rafa didn't come out very, very good in that first set. He was definitely playing, playing poor. But all credit to Medi, he was playing great. And just that one service game of Medvedev is... We get an ace from Rafa, first time today, bang. But then that one service game of Medvedev, and it gave Rafa half a chance, and he took it because that's what the champions do. So I still think Medvedev is the guy who's the better of the two at the moment. But, you know, Rafa's taking his chances, or took his chance. Now he's trying to get up 4-1. He serves out wide. Medvedev with a slice. Volley Rafa. Medvedev can't get that one. On. And Rafa gets the 4-1 in the second set. Game on. Game on. Let's answer some questions. Yeah, and then Pranav saying um, maybe playing more backhands to cross court of the forehand of Medvedev. But Medvedev's forehand's dangerous. I think Rafa needs to go keep going to the Medvedev backhand. Maybe keep slicing it. Keep it low. And then set up the forehand. But Again, it, I think it, it comes more down to the serving of Rafa. If he serves well and Medvedev serve drops a little bit, that's when this match that's how this match has changed. That's how this match has changed. So the serving of Rafa's gotten a little better. Medvedev serve has definitely dropped a little bit since the first set, and the score's changed. So the serve it's not so much the ground strokes, even though Rafa's making a lot of errors. I think it's more the serving. And that's changed the the uh, the look of this match in the second set. But it's only one game that Medvedev played bad, and that's all it's taken. Like, he could have played a bad game, won that game, and we wouldn't be, we'd wouldn't still be talking about how uh, Medvedev's looking real good. But just one game. Rafa sensed that. Medvedev comes to the net. Rafa with the backhand. Medvedev with a volley, and that's too good. Unbelievable. Nice little volley there from Medvedev. 15 love. But it is only one break of serve as well. One break of serve. As well, you guys have been super generous with the donations. Let's get back to this match because Medvedev, 30 love, having a good service game here as he gets the 40 love with a Rafa forehand wide. Very nice hitting here from Medi. This is the better game for him. Just keep the pressure on Rafa. Keep making Rafa hold. And again, as I said before, Medvedev played one bad game. And that's what... And he served two aces in that game. Bang, bang. Unbelievable. And it's 4-2. But uh, yeah, Medvedev played one bad game. And that's why Rafa's winning. So... <laughs> It's not, uh, it's all on Rafa's, it's still pressure is on Rafa. Big pressure on Rafa. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. History on the line tonight. 21 slams. Uh, Medvedev's got a little bit of history on his own. Becoming the, um, the third Russian male to win two slams, right? I'm pretty sure. Safin won two. Kafelnikov won two. Also becoming the tallest player to win multiple slams. And also the first player to win a second slam straight after winning his first. So he's ne no one's ever done that on the men's side. No one's ever won one slam and then the next tournament won their second. Which is weird. You would have thought that would have been a thing. But apparently that's, that's a record too. 15, love 15. Rafa hits that one long. And of course, Rafa's going for 21 slams. Also, Medvedev's playing for a world ranking, so that's a thing too. A number one ranking on the line. If he gets the win, he's pretty much got it wrapped up. He just has to wait a couple of weeks before all the points readjust. 
Love 15. Medi. Second serve, Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Goes to the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again. To the backhand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand of Rafa again. Going to the backhand of Medvedev now. Rafa with a forehand on the stretch. Medvedev hitting it very deep in the court. And a winner down the line from Medi. And again, I'll say it. You miss your first serve. You go under pressure. He's missed both his first serves, Rafa. And he's lost both the points. Man, Medvedev backhand down the line is something that Berrettini needs to learn. He needs to learn that shot. That's what he wasn't doing against Rafa Berrettini. Medvedev is. One hour, 15 minutes played. Love, 30. Rafa needs the first serves. And he hits it long again. Can't buy a first serve. His first serve percentage is not going to win him this Grand Slam. Second serve. Is a good second serve. Medvedev gets it though. Forehand out, Rafa. Winner inside out. That's a good shot. Forehand side. That's a very good forehand. Second serve. Curved. At right angles. That was ridiculous. It just absolutely cut. And somehow Medvedev got it. I mean, that was just such a cutting serve. And it just spun away. And luckily, Medvedev. I mean, Medvedev's tall enough that he could reach it. Still 15.30 though. Mevid have a chance to break back. First serve in the net from Rafa. He's missed all his serves in this game. Four first serves, four faults. Living off the second serve, Rafa. As he serves into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand out from Rafa. Going into the forehand of Medvedev to the backhand of Rafa. That goes down the line. Medvedev on the stretch gets it. Forehand now, Rafa. Again to the backhand of Medi. Rafa with a forehand down the line. Medvedev's going to get it with a forehand of his own. Forehand from Rafa again to the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa goes for the forehand again of Medvedev as he hits a forehand himself. He's going to get another forehand to forehand exchange. Rafa taking over as he hits a backhand down the line. Now Medvedev's back in the point. Rafa in big trouble. Slice forehand goes out. I don't know what Rafa's trying to do, but it's not working. It's not working. And Medvedev gets two breakback points. And look, I'll say it again. Medvedev is not doing anything crazy here. He is literally just playing a smart game, just getting everything back. There is no... It's not like he's overpowering Rafa, except on the serve. It's just simple fundamentals. 15-40. Rafa serves into the forehand of Medvedev. Slice there from Rafa. Medvedev with the forehand. Down the line. Rafa in big trouble. He hits it up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's out. Medvedev breaks back. Medvedev breaks back. And that's what happens when you miss every single first serve except for one. You get broken. You can't be living off the second serve. Not against Medvedev. And it's back on serve. 4-3. Answer my question. The question, Jordan. All right, chat, I'm going to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Where are you from? Where are you from? Tell me in the chat. Where are you from? Where are you from? Tell me in the chat. I want to know where you're from. What country are you watching us from? Because I'm sure there's a few savages that are up at 2 in the morning in America and Canada. And I want to see where are you from in the chat. You tell me. A lot of people from India. Serbia in the chat. We've got Vietnam. We've got Spain. Melbourne. Shout out to Melbourne. My city. Uh, USA, France, Philippines, South Africa. Serbia. Someone's in my house. That's concerning. Uh, Brazil, Hungary, Greece, Lithuania, California. Shout out to the Americans. Turkey. We've got uh, Sydney. We've got Dubai. Uh, USA, baby. There we go. Bronx, New York. We've got uh, people watching from Samoa, Philippines, Dubai, uh, Pakistan, Belgium, Israel, Chicago. Uh, more Belgians in the house. Turkey, Greece, Zambia, West Indies, Rafaville. I have no idea what that is. Doesn't sound real. Uh, Taiwan. The chat broke. Oh, it's back. Italy, UK, Puerto Rico. New Zealand, Cameroon, 
Philippines, a lot of Filipinos in the chat. Russia. Uh, Shay Lee from Canvas, okay. Uh, there we go. Mexico, Peru, Cambodia, Germany. It's 4 a.m. in America. Jeez, you are savage. Savages. If you're watching this at stupid o'clock, aka midnight to 5 a.m., you are an absolute savage, and I feel your pain, and I will be feeling your pain next week when we watch more tennis. As Rafa hits that backhand wide, it's 15 love. Big shout out to everybody out there. Worldwide, that's what I love about this sport. Love about this sport is that it's worldwide, international. Uh, if you don't know, I love traveling. That's one of my favorite things. Before the pandemic, it was one of my favorite things to do. I was actually looking to book a flight just to go somewhere. <laughs> I was like, hey, I might just get on a plane to go to America for a couple of weeks. Just for fun. Medvedev double faults, the crowd lose their minds. Rude, but all right. 15 all. I was actually thinking of going to Japan. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. I was watching them, some YouTube and people were saying Japan. And I was like, oh, I've never been there. Maybe I'll go there. Maybe. Maybe I'll just go to New Zealand because that's cheap and close. <laughs> Anyways, 15 all. Medvedev serving here and Rafa, if you're just joining us, was up 4 1, but that break of serve is gone. It's gone. Love tennis? Me too. We all love tennis. Japan's awesome. Okay. A couple of people recommending Japan. As we had a find out from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. And Medvedev hits it down the line for a winner, 30 15. Oh, Medi. Bringing the fire. 30 15. I think at this point, this is a must win set for Rafa. He has to win this set. He has to win this set. Can I go to New Zealand? I don't know if I can. I'm just. I just thought that was cheap. I'm from London, but I live in Italy and I can't watch tennis, so there's. Uh, they're switching tennis on TV. Thank God I found your stream. Ah, oh, appreciate that. That's the best day. We're here. We're here to cover anybody who's not watching the match. As we had a fine out from Rafa down the line, that goes in from Rafa, just and Medi hits it wide, and it's thirty all. Thirty all. The best way to watch this channel is have them have the match on, sync it up with the audio. And you can list it along with the commentary, but if you're not, if you don't have access to the match, then we're, we're going to cover every point for you. As Medvedev hits a fault, big chance for Rafa now. Second serve points won by Medi are not many. As we had a backhand now from Rafa to the backhand of Medvedev, forehand of Rafa into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa in big trouble. As we had a forehand now from Medvedev down the line. Rafa on the forehand side gets it. Medvedev in trouble now. As Rafa hits a forehand down the line again. Medvedev with the backhand. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand again to the backhand slice of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Who hits it in the net? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rafa Unbelievable. gets the point. And it's break point again to get back the lead that he just lost. And again, Medvedev missing first serves. His first serve percentage has gone down. It's, it was 81, now it's 71. It's a big difference. It's giving Rafa hope. It's giving Rafa chances. 30-40, but Medvedev serving. And we all know what that means. As he serves. A fault! Second serve. The crowd are wanting Rafa to win this second set for obvious reasons. Because they want a five-setter like everyone else. Who's neutral? As we're to find now from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. Back in now, Rafa goes into the forehand of Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa. Back in now from Medi down the line. Rafa with a slice goes in to the forehand of Medvedev. Back in again from Rafa is shanked, but it goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa again now to the backhand of Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev now struggling. Rafa in control. Drop shot is going to be a winner. Rafa wins the break. Medvedev slipped over, and Rafa gets the break again. And the crowd love it. 5-3 Rafa serving for the second. Whew. He got lucky. Rafa got lucky. Medvedev doesn't slip. He probably gets that. And he probably makes something happen. Because that drop shot was far from perfect. But Medvedev slipped over and Rafa gets the break. He'll take the luck. He'll take it. 
Now, he's serving for the second set, Rafa. Where are the first serves? He needs first serves. Because we saw him lose the last game from lacking the first serve. He needs the first serves to level this up. Serve now. Out wide. There's a first serve. It comes back, though. Up goes the lob. Rafa with a smash. Oh, it's in the net! Oh, man. He just didn't need to do that. Rafa could have hit that smash anywhere, and he tried to smack it harder than the serve, and it went in the net. He tried to hit it too hard. He could have just gone down, like, cross-court, just angled that off. Man, love 15. Rafa had the first serve and everything. But not the smash. Love 15. Rafa with a serve again. Down the tee, but that one's a fault. Second serve. Someone tells me that he's going to have to fight hard for this game, Rafa. If he wants this set, he's going to have to fight hard for this game. Like it's the last game he'll ever play. As he gets a four now, he shanks that, and it goes out. Medvedev's got love 30. Again, you miss the overhead. You miss your first serve. You're down love 30. Oh, man. Cam, I've hit countless smashes into the net. We've all been there, but when, when a goat does it, it's absolutely shocking. Blows your mind. Especially Rafa, he's got a very reliable overhead hit smash. Love 30 and he faults not even close. Can't buy a first serve. Out by a mile. Second serve. Love 30. Rafa serving. Just got the break for the second time in the set to lead, but again, Medvedev with a backhand return goes in the backhand of Rafa. For one from Medvedev. Down the line in the net. Whoa, Rafa gets a free point. A rare error from Medvedev. 15-30. Haven't seen him do too many of those, Medi. Big shout out to everyone who's out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video as well. We're going to be watching this entire match. Also, at the end of this match, we are going to answer calls from Discord. You want to call the show? Jump in the Discord. I forgot to mention that. But there's a link down below to Discord. Jump in there and we'll talk after this match. I want to hear what you guys have to say about whatever happens. As we get a fine out from Rafa. Good first serve. As we get another fine from Rafa going to the back end of Medvedev. Who hits it into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev in control. As he hits a forehand again to the forehand of Rafa. Back in there from Medvedev. Down the line. Rafa with the backhand on the stretch. Medvedev swinging volley. Comes to the net. Rafa with the pass. Medvedev volleys it away. Wow. Daniel Medvedev learned how to volley. <laughs> Daniel Medvedev learned how to volley. By the way, Dasha Savile's in the, cha in the, in the chat. She's in the stadium. I don't think she's in the chat. She's in the stadium. She's going. I think she is going for Medvedev here. I think she might be a little... Isn't she? Where's she from originally? Russia? I should know this. She's Australian. I know she plays for Australia, but she's... Isn't she Russian? Yeah, she's born in Russia. She's going for Medi. 1540. Serve now to the forehand as we get a volley there from Rafa. That's a great serve volley from Rafa. I don't mind that. Don't mind chucking one of them in every now and again. 30-40. Still break back points for Medi. Also, we're almost at 2,000 likes. Can we get to 2,000 likes by the end of this set? That's a long... <laughs> it's a, probably a too big of a, uh, an ask. 30-40. Can Rafa serve another first serve? Get a free point like the Goats do. As he serves out wide, Medvedev gets it. But it's a fault from Rafa. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve, and that was just wide. Second serve, Medvedev with the break point again. Thanks everyone over on Twitch who's following us as well. Serve now to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa with his volley. It's going to be good. Medvedev's going to get it. No, he's not. No, he's not. He ain't that quick. And we're back at Deuce. Rafa survives. He's surviving off the second serve. 
And he's surviving off the volleys. Serve volley and a volley winner there. And Rafa with a bit of a fist pump. He's under, he knows what, he knows he's in a fight here. He's in an absolute dog fight at the moment. If this was UFC, he'd have a black eye, a broken nose. In the second round, he'd been absolutely bashed up in the first. He's looking to get some revenge in the second here as he serves. A fault, man, he keeps missing the first serve. And again, he was going to serve volley. Second serve. Rafa. Goes into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand out from Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand again. Medvedev in control. As he hits a backhand. And that's a winner from Medvedev. Rafa thinks it's wide. But Medvedev hits the line. Come on! Rafa can't believe it. And the umpire's like, Hawkeye. Never wrong. You can't argue. Oh! Man. That's what, so Medvedev's hitting the line by this much, and Rafa's missing by that much. It's a game of millimeters. Not inches, millimeters. Advantage now Medvedev to get back the break. By the way, the crowd's going wild. I don't know what's going on here. Rafa's waiting for something to happen. Oh, is it a streaker? They're not going to show it, but there was a streaker. Streaker. Streaker on the court. I don't know if they're nude. I can't tell. Everyone's standing up and booing. Yeah, boo that idiot. Medvedev's being covered by security. So is Rafa. They're not going to show it on the TV because... Screw that idiot. But... Congratulations, dickhead. You just got a fine. I hope it was worth it. You weren't even on TV, you dickhead. You didn't even get on TV, you moron. Five grand or ten grand for nothing. You idiot. You idiot. Advantage now, Medvedev. That guy ain't coming back. See ya. Worth, hope it was worth it, mate. You didn't even get on TV. All right, advantage now. Medvedev, let's get back to it. Rafa serving. Down break point for the third time in this game as he serves. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. It's a drop shot from Rafa. And it's too good again. Unbelievable. 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 Rafa playing French Open tennis. What a drop shot. Back to Deuce. Man, oh man. Oh, was it a protester? Was it? I didn't see it. I don't know if it was a streaker or a protester. Either way, it was a moron. It was a moron. Well, that's all I can say. It was an idiot. <laughs> and they got, they will get fined at least 10 grand. Maybe five. I don't know. I think it might be 10 though. Anyway, serve now down the tee is a fold again from Rafa. Can't get the first serve on the deuce side. It's a big problem. Second serve. No set points yet for Rafa. Thank you for following us on Twitch. Don't forget to follow us if you haven't already. Ooh, Rafa taking a little extra time here. He is sweating. Serve now to the backhand of Medvedev. Goes into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand now from Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Going into the backhand of Medi. Backhand now from Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev in control. On the baseline. Rafa going side to side. As we got a backhand down the line. Now to the slice of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand now from Rafa again is shanked. And it goes in. He gets it, Medvedev. Drop shot, Rafa. Medvedev's going to get this one. Rafa now with the backhand down the line. Medvedev. Oh, is it in? Is it in? Oh, it's out. Rafa hits it out. Oh, he had the whole court. Come on. He had the entire court, Rafa. And he hit it out. Medvedev was dead. He was dead, Medvedev. Medvedev dead. And Rafa gave him a life. Oh, anywhere would have been a winner. Advantage, uh, advantage Medvedev. Story of the day from Rafa. Just missing by that much. Fourth break point, Medvedev. 
Rafa serves now to the back end of Medvedev, and that goes out. He's serving great on the ad side, Rafa. He just can't serve on the Deuce side. But he survives again. Back to Deuce. Man. Yeah, and Medvedev hit that ball to Rafa. And it could have gone. He could have hit it anywhere, and he hit it just out. Man, what a match. What a rally. Shout out to everyone who's out there. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be watching Rafa and Medvedev throughout the entire year. A must-win set for Rafa at this point, you feel. Deuce, again, no set points yet as he serves out wide to the point of Medvedev, but it's a let, and Rafa was going to serve volley. I wonder if he'll do it again now that he's shown his cards. Back to Deuce. First serve again. Also, I see all the donations. Thank you. We'll get to those donations at the end of the set. Or at the next change. At the end of this game. End of this game. No matter what happens. Back to Deuce. Rafa serves. Out wide to the Fauna Medvedev. Fauna from Rafa. Open court. Medvedev gets it with a lob. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's out. Oh, Medvedev just misses. But Rafa gets a set point. He gets a set point. The crowd are excited. First set point of the night for Rafa to level things up in this historic final. Advantage Nadal. And he's going to need a change of clothes after this, Rafa, because that shirt is just soaking wet. Set point. Oh, and Rafa almost aces. Just missed. Second serve. Whew. Just goes wide. First serve. Second serve now. To level things up. He serves. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand down the line. Rafa with the forehand to the forehand of Medvedev. Slice there from Rafa. Medvedev's in control. As we get a backhand, a backhand rally. And Rafa slices it in the net. <sighs> Couldn't get that first serve in on that side. The ad side, he's been serving well that side, but not on that occasion. 12-minute game. This service game. And it's back to Deuce. It is back to Deuce. How are we feeling out there? I want you to put a one emoji in the chat of how you're feeling. One emoji. Nervous, excited, sad, happy. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever your emotions are. Backhand now from Medvedev off the first serve of Rafa. Forehand to backhand. As Medvedev goes down the line of the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa and he shanks at Rafa. And it goes long. Medvedev with a break point again. Come on! Fifth break point of the game for Medi. Rafa's had one set point. It's been a long game. If you're just joining us, Rafa was up 4-1. Medvedev came back. Then Rafa got to 5-3. Now Medvedev's looking to come back. First set was just all Medvedev. I mean, the score line tells it all, right? Now Medvedev looking to fight back again. As Rafa serves. Into the back end of Medvedev. Good return. Four now Rafa down the line is out. Medvedev breaks back. He breaks back. And he's back on serve in the second. Rafa had his chance. But Medvedev serving now to get to five all. Still a chance for Rafa to break to finish the set if he's good enough. All right, let's uh, answer some questions. Um... Thank you. Appreciate all the donations. It's very uh, generous. All right, let's get back to the match because Rafa is still in the lead, but it's on serve. Medvedev serving now. As he serves out wide at the back end of Rafa, one from Medvedev down to the forehand of Rafa. Back end of Medi, going into the back end slice of Rafa, into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa again, going to the back end of Medvedev, into the forehand of Rafa, and Rafa hits it in the net. On the forehand side, 15 love, and Rafa's looking kind of tired. Not going to lie, he looks kind of tired. Serve now. Medvedev. Into the forehand is a fault. Medvedev's second serve is a bit of a problem. 
If Rafa can make him pay, as we get a backhand now from Medvedev, going to the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand down the line, again to the forehand of Rafa, into the backhand of Medvedev. Now a slice from Rafa, goes in the net. 30 love, nice quick game here for Medi. Guy is joining us. Medvedev won the first set easily, served very well. Rafa didn't play his best. Rafa's hit 15 backhand errors. That's the problem. 31 unforced errors for the match, including three double faults. This second set, though, Rafa's had the better of it, but just hasn't been able to capitalize as Medvedev hits that out, 30-15. He was up 4-1 with the break. He then got broken back, then got to 5-3 with the break. Had a set point in the last game, couldn't convert. But he's had his, definitely had his chances here as Medvedev hits another good first serve, and it's 40-15. Medvedev to level things up at five. And I think at this point, the second set is a must-win set if Rafa is going to do anything in this match. Medvedev's too good with this lead. As he serve volleys now, Medvedev, because he's just playing fun. That's a great serve volley. Unbelievable. Medvedev just playing tricks now, five all. And he converts or consolidates the break, levels things up five all. Man, Medvedev with a serve volley. I'll tell you what, I've got to credit Medvedev's volleys today. He's been serving pretty well, and his volleys have been pretty good. No terrible technique from Medvedev today. He's been pretty solid. He's been pretty solid. 5-5. Five, five. Can Rafa stay in front? First serve needed. And he gets it to the backhand of Medvedev. 4 one from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. 4 one from Rafa again to the backhand of Medi into the forehand of Rafa. Who goes down the line to the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa hitting the ball too short in the court. That's a good shot, though. And that's a winner on the backhand from Rafa. Come on! We have not said that today. A backhand winner from Nadal. 15 love. Finally. Finally getting a nice deep shot. Carlos Moya, he's under pressure. He knows it. He knows this is a big game. He's <laughs> he looks nervous as Rafa serves a fault. Second serve. This is the first time in this event, by the way, that Rafa's lost the first set. First time for the year that Rafa's lost the first set. Thank you for following us over on Twitch as we get a serve now to the backhand of Medvedev. For now, Rafa goes into the forehand of Medi. Rafa with a slice backhand. Uh oh, he's in trouble now. Medvedev with a forehand. Rafa retreats as we get a forehand to backhand rally. Rafa with another backhand to the forehand of Medvedev. Hits the tape, goes in. Rafa with a backhand in the net. Should have run around into forehand. I don't know why Rafa's trying to hit backhands. It's not working today. 15 all. 15 all. And Medvedev getting a little lucky with that net cord, but again, he should have... Oh, man, it was a tough one. I mean, how could he have hit a forehand, I guess, because the ball was drifting to the back, but... Very unlucky. 15 all. As he serves a fault. I don't know if Rafa wants to play a tiebreak here. I don't <laughs> if he's serving like this, I don't think the tiebreak is going to be a good thing for Rafa. He needs this game and then maybe need to break Medvedev in the next game. Otherwise, things are going to get weird. As we get a backhand now from Rafa going into the forehand of Medvedev, into the backhand slice of Rafa. Forehand now from Medi again to the backhand of Rafa, into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand now, open court, but Medvedev's there with a the forehand. Into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with a forehand again, going to the slice of Rafa. That's a good drop shot. Medvedev gets it. Rafa, forehand, winner! That's how Rafa plays! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why we come and watch Rafa. The, that, those shots. Those shots. He hasn't done that enough. The forehand was a lot closer to the singles line. Usually, he's playing, he's playing real safe today, but that was much more like Rafa. The aggression and the forehand finish. 30-15. This is a huge game for Rafa. Huge game for Rafa. 
Serve down the tee to the forehand of Medvedev, who shanks it in to the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again to the backhand of Rafa, and that goes in the net from Rafa. Medvedev again getting lucky, hitting the frame on the return, but he'll take it. 30 all. How you feeling in the chat, Rafa fans? He's living on the edge. Medvedev fans, you got to be happy with this. He is playing so solid. So solid. Rafa needs a free point. He needs a goat serve. 30 all. He serves. Out wide to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand out from Rafa. Down the line to the backhand of Medvedev. And that goes out from Medi. Wow, Medvedev with an error at 30 all. We haven't seen that. He hasn't given away too many freebies. 40-30. Four minutes this game. Again, every game of Rafa's been... I don't think he's had a love game, has he? 40-30. 40-30. Serve out wide is a fault again for Rafa. Second serve. Can Medvedev make Rafa work again? Make, push him again. He's done it a few times in this match. Made Rafa play some real long games. Second serve. To the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Going into the forehand of Medi. To the backhand now of Rafa. That goes again to the forehand of Medi. Into the forehand of Rafa who just hits it in the net. I mean, that was not even close. And we're back to deuce. Just some weird shots from Rafa. Some real off forehands and real off backhands that have just been halfway up the net. And he's not happy. He's not happy, Rafa. The crowd are shocked. Now, the crowd want Rafa to win this set because, like me, we want a five-setter. And the only way we're going to get that is if Rafa gets this set. Because I don't think a two-sets of love lead is going to help this match go to five. Second serve. Medvedev just wants to shut the door and get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. Second serve. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medi again. Into the forehand of Rafa. Down the line. That's a good shot. Medvedev with a lob. Smash! It's good. But Medvedev gets it. But puts it in the net. Rafa survives. Unbelievable, 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 unbelievable. Who was holding their breath on that smash? <laughs> this guy. Medvedev got it back to it. He could have made a really good return there. Oh, he nearly did. Medvedev could have made Rafa pay. And it's advantage Rafa to get back the lead. Again, big shout out to everybody. Who is uh, subscribed? Appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Rafa serves another fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. Can Rafa get back the lead? Every service game of his has been crucial. Been very, very tough to get free points. As he hits a fine down the line. That's out again from Rafa. Even if that went in, Medvedev was going to make it. Back to Deuce. Rafa's dad in the stands looking a little bit nervous. It's almost like Rafa's not putting any weight into the shots. His weight's going side to side and not forward. So maybe that's why he's not getting much power on these shots because he's hitting them He's not moving into the ball. He's being really super defensive. As he hits a forehand now into the forehand of Medvedev. Back in now Rafa down the line. That's a great shot. And Medvedev smacks it into the crowd. And Rafa's fired up here. Unbelievable. That's what you want to see. Unbelievable. Some adrenaline. Unbelievable. And the crowd respond. Advantage Rafa. He hasn't hit too many of those good backhands. And he knows it. That reaction shows how... How good that was, because he knows he's been hitting some real bad backhands. And Carlos Moyer's like, 
There you go. That's how you hit a backhand. You know how to do it. You've been here before. And Raf is fired up here. He is punched in the air. You don't want to be near Rafa if he uppercuts you. As that goes out, Rafa survives! And he screams! Unbelievable. Unbelie Come on! Huge hold for Rafa. Now Medvedev's going to serve to get to the tie break. Uh, by the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, this is actually what we do on this channel if you are brand new. Are you a passionate tennis fan and want to keep up to date with all the latest news? If so, then you are in the right place. Hey, my name's Cam Williams, and over the last 20 years, tennis has been a huge part of my life. I've played tennis, I've coached tennis, and I've been to some of the biggest tennis tournaments in the world, including Wimbledon. Here on Tennis Talk, we want to keep you up to date with all the latest things going around the tennis circuit, including draw previews, Roger Federer. So he is in the half of Djokovic, breaking news. Andy Murray is back in the singles next week. And of course, our favorite, the live shows. Second serve now goes to the forehand of Andrescu. Serena can't get it, and Andrescu wins. A big serve now goes down the tee. Medvedev gets it. It goes long and Rafa wins the match. This channel was created through my love for the game of tennis and we have created an amazing tennis community full of passionate fans. So if you are a passionate tennis fan and want to keep up to date with everything to do with the game of tennis, make sure you go down and click that red subscribe button. I look forward to talking to you throughout the channel. All right, we're back. We are back. And Rafa Nadal is playing a side break at the very least in this second set. But Medvedev has to make him play it. Now, if you're just joining us in this first set was Medvedev's. Nothing Rafa did. I mean, Medvedev just played amazing. Second set, Rafa was up 4-1. Medvedev broke back. Rafa was up 5-3, set point. Medvedev broke back. Now, Rafa gets a 6-5. Medvedev serving with a tie break. A must-win set for Nadal, you feel. And this kind of feels like the French Open third set between Rafa and Nole. That decided the match. That's kind of what it feels like now. As we're to find now from Medvedev, coming to the net now, and that's a good return. Great shot. Unbelievable. From Medi. Great forehand approach. It just got that feeling of must win for Rafa. Just like that French Open decided it, really that third, that third set was deciding it. And it feels like this set's gone as long as that. Medvedev serves another fault. Second serve. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev into the forehand again of Rafa. Going into the backhand of Medvedev and Medvedev hits it long. 15 all. Couple of first serves missed from Medvedev as well. His first serve percentage in the set, Medvedev's gone way down. He was up at 80% in the first set. He's gone, he's missing a lot of first serves, which is, I guess, a good thing for Rafa because gives him half a chance. Medvedev serves another fault. Can't buy a first serve. That's three first serves in the net. Second serve. Goes into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand out from Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa, into the backhand of Medi. Rafa with a forehand again, just gets it. Forehand out from Medvedev, now to the backhand of Rafa again. Rafa just scrambling. Medvedev in control. Rafa with a forehand again, going into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand slice there from Rafa, goes out. Medvedev, too good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Too good from Medvedev. Medvedev just dominated that point. Made Rafa move. 30-15. Thirty fifteen, and a fault again from Medvedev. Can't buy a first serve. That's four in a row. Four first serves missed. Second serve now to the backhand of Rafa. Four from Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Four and again from Medi. Rafa with a drop shot. Medvedev's going to get there as he comes to the net. Rafa with a forehand down the line. Oh, just goes in. Unbelievable. Thirty all. Thirty all. He's missed some of those today, Rafa, those easy passing shots. That one there, I mean, he guided that one in and it almost went out. He almost hit it out. He guided that down the line and inside the baseline. Whew. 
Massive point here. 30 all. Medvedev. Hits an ace. Bang. Unbelievable. Because of course he does. That's what the champions do. 40-30. He hasn't got a first serve in this game, and he gets one at 30 all when he needs it. I mean, go figure. Ninth ace of the day. And a chance to take us to the tie break. As he serves again to the slice now of Rafa. Foyna Medvedev is too good. We're going to the tie break. Now, we're not going to play the intro, but I want you to tell me in the chat, who is winning this tie break and what is the score going to be? Is it Rafa? Is it Medvedev? You tell me. It's a must-win tie break for Rafa, you feel. Because if Medvedev gets up two sets of love, I don't know how Rafa comes back from that. I don't know how 35-year-old Rafa comes back from that. I know how old, I know how 25-year-old Rafa came back, but not 35. 35-year-old 35 Rafa, two sets of love down, that is brutal. A lot of you going Nadal. Few, most of, actually, no, a few of you going Medi as well. A few going Medi, okay. 7-5, seven, 7-3, seven, okay. A lot of you going Medvedev as well. I think the serving of Medvedev is going to be crucial. In this one. Anyways, first point. Forehand to backhand as Medvedev hits another forehand. Going this time into the backhand of uh, Rafa. Another forehand from Medvedev down the line goes long. And Rafa gets the first point for free. One love. Again, big shout out to everybody out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Like the video. Uh, we're almost at two and a half thousand likes. Can we get to two and a half by the end of the set? That would be ridiculous. By the way, I can confirm that this is the biggest Australian Open match we have ever watched. The biggest match by far. It's smashing all the Australian Open records we've had. So, big shout out to everybody who's, uh, who's joined us. Broken all the Australian Open records. And big shout out to all the people that are awake at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's <laughs> You are the real ones. Serve now from Medvedev to the backhand of Rafa. Backhand of Medi. Going to the backhand slice of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand again to the backhand of Rafa. Who passes Medvedev with a drop shot there, Medi. Backhand Rafa. Medvedev volleys it out. First time Medvedev has missed a volley for a while. It's been pretty good at the net. Two love. Rafa, mini break. The first time that Medvedev's kind of just shanked a volley. I mean, he just kind of shanked it off the frame. Okay, two love. All the, by the way, all the donations coming through. I see Carolyn, Vera, Pranav, Pam. We'll get to those after this set. As we get a forehand now from Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Into the backhand now of Medvedev. That hits the tape, goes in. Rafa with a forehand. Backhand from Medi, going to the slice of Rafa. Backhand now from Medi again, going into the forehand of Rafa, but Rafa can't get it. Medvedev too good. Caught Rafa flat-footed again. He didn't read the Medvedev backhanded Rafa. 2-1. Nice hitting there from Medi. Medvedev's been hitting it down the line the whole time, and he mixed it up there, and Rafa just couldn't anticipate. He was caught flat-footed. Still, Rafa has the mini break. 2-1 with two serves to come. Rafa with a serve. Down the tee to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand again. Rafa in control of the point. As Medvedev hits another backhand. Into the Rafa forehand. And Rafa hits the forehand in the net. Man, Rafa was in control again. And the forehand lets him down. 2-2. Two -two. Back on serve. Back on serve. Two hours played, by the way. What a marathon. We go five, we're going five hours. I mean, if we're, add, we're adding it up, one hour a set, five, hour, five sets, five hours, all right? Quick math. Two, two. Rafa serving. He serves out wide. Medvedev gets it back. Volley from Rafa. Medvedev's going to... No, no, he's not. He's not going to get there. Unbelievable. Rafa, too good. <laughs> Drops that shot on a dime. Bounces, dies on impact. I mean, that was just pure... Class from Rafa. I mean, Rafa's playing Federer shots. That's what we're looking at here. Rafa's playing Federer shots. 3-2.
Man, that could have gone in the net quite easily, by the way. That was a risky play from Rafa. But he's getting to that point where he's just like, I just got to do whatever. Two hours played officially as Medvedev hits a, hits a forehand. Now into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes into the backhand. Slice of Rafa. Medvedev with a forehand. He's in control. Comes to the net. Rev Medvedev hits a volley. Rafa gets it. No, he doesn't. He got to it, but he couldn't do anything with it. They change ends. 3-3. Medvedev comes up clutch with a big serve. I reckon Medvedev's won a lot of points at the net tonight. Let me have a check. More than usual. Let me check. Points one at net. Is that a... Can I, can I look that up? No. Oh, here we go. Net points one. Medvedev, nine out of 12. That's pretty good for Medvedev. That's really good. Nine out of 12. That's a very good conversion rate at the net. All right, everybody. You tell me in the chat who's winning this tie break. We're halfway through it, maybe. 3-3. Three, three. Someone's winning it in four points time, potentially. Who is getting the tie break? Halfway through it now. I think the serving of Medvedev is going to make a difference. If he misses first serves, then maybe Rafa wins it. If he gets first serves, I don't know if Rafa's going to get there. A lot of you going Medi, few Nadals, few Rafas, okay. Novak's not playing, so uh, that is not the right answer. That is the only wrong answer. Uh, that is a very wrong answer because Novak is not playing. It's only two right answers, Medvedev or Nadal. <laughs> anyway, serve now. Down the tee from Medvedev's a fault. Can't buy a first serve. Okay. Second serve. Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Good return. Rafa with a forehand out down the line. Medvedev with a slice. Rafa comes in. But Medvedev hits it out. Unbelievable. First serve missed. Rafa wins a point. 4-3 Nadal. He's got the mini break again with two serves to come. Two points away from the... Well, three points away from the set. Two serves to come. But that was a much more aggressive point there for Rafa. Started with the return. All right. Rafa needs first serves. Medi needs good returns. Both can happen. Let's see if Rafa serves volleys. That's a big... I mean, he's been serve volleying a lot, right? As he serves. A fault. Second serve. Tension. Tension. It's a tense, nervous moment. Rafa serves. A second serve. Into the forehand of, of uh, Nadal now as we get a forehand out from Medvedev on the stretch in the net. Rafa gets a 5-3. The crowd erupt. The crowd erupt. Rod Laver. <laughs> solid, hand, uh, solid claps. 5-3. Rafa. Two hours, three minutes played. If you're just joining us, Rafa was up 4-1 in the set. Medvedev came back. Rafa was up 5-3 set point. Medvedev came back. Remember in the tiebreak yesterday, uh, the other day with City Pass? He was down 4-1. He came back to win the tiebreak, did Medi. He's down 5-3. Rafa needs a first serve. And he gets it out wide. Serve volley from Rafa. Oh, and it goes in the net. Medvedev return. Unbelievable. Great return from Medvedev. I don't know if that serve volley was there. That was not a good serve volley. He served well, and then he just watched, and then he didn't commit to the net. He got caught, Rafa. You gotta, if you're gonna serve volley, you gotta serve volley. You gotta, it's gotta be in your brain before the serve. You can't serve and then go, oh, now I'll go in. Otherwise, you're going to get caught. And that's what Medvedev did. He caught Rafa. 5-4. Medvedev serves. Out wide. Rafa returns. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes in the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again to the forehand now of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medi. As we had a forehand from Rafa. Again to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand now Rafa again. Going to the back end of Medvedev. Rafa in control as he hits a forehand. Medvedev on the stretch. Gets it. Back end now Rafa down the line. Medvedev with a backhand. Rafa with a volley. Medvedev with a pass. It's going to be a volley from Rafa. Goes wide. Oh, wait. No, was that out? No, it was out. The volley was wide. The volley was wide. The volley was wide. Hawkeye didn't call it. The volley was wide. Medvedev hit it in the net, but the volley was wide from Rafa. Hawkeye didn't call it. 
Everyone lost their shit. Five all. It was obviously wide. I mean, as soon as it bounced, it's like obviously wide. And Mevedev hit the backhand in the net, which is... 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, Rafa's like... He thought he knew it, it was out. He's like, I couldn't hear nothing. 5-5. Five, five. Mevedev serves. Big, big point. Served down the tee. Rafa with a return on the forehand. Back in Mevedev. Drop shot. Rafa runs, runs, runs. Gets it. Mevedev swinging volley and that's a winner. Wait, is it a winner? It's a winner. Come on. Mevedev set point. That was a great drop shot from Medi. That was a great drop shot from Medvedev. Now Medvedev has set point for the first time in the second set. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh man. Medvedev with a set point. 6-5. But Rafa serving. The first serve needed. For Rafa, he's only served one ace today. I mean, he'd pay a million bucks for another as he serves. Down the tee to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand slice there, Rafa. Into the forehand again of Medvedev. Down the line into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev. Going again to the forehand of Rafa down the line. Medvedev with a slice. Rafa with a volley. He's going to be a pass because Medvedev goes down the line. Medvedev, two sets of love. He just hesitated again, Rafa. When he came forward and Medvedev makes him pay, he's got a two set to love lead, Medi. And again, Medvedev steals a tie break. Two sets to love. Medi's gonna go change. But man, oh man, how does Rafa come back from this? Can he come back from this? Medvedev just too good. Look, and you can't say that Rafa didn't have his chances. He had all the chances. He had set points. He had breaks of serve. But Medvedev didn't give a shit about any of that. <laughs> He's like, what? I don't care. I'm going to take it. Let's go through the stats. 14 winners for Rafa. 20 unforced errors. Still, a lot of errors from Rafa. Uh, 17 winners from Medi, including five aces. 13 unforced errors. Both playing, the serving of both guys, not very good um, in that set. Medvedev hit more aces, which is good, but overall, compared to the first set, not a great serving display. But man, oh man, Daniil Medvedev takes the two set to love lead. Now, let's talk about two set to love lead because we know Rafa can come back from this, but can 35-year-old Rafa come back from this? That's the big question. We know Nadal can come back, but can the old man Nadal do it? Can 35-year-old th Nadal do it? Holy cow. All right, let me check. When the last time Rafa came back from two sets of love down to win a match? I can't remember. He's done it, but when? When was it? All right, everybody, let's uh, we'll answer questions as well. We'll go through the donations as well. I haven't forgotten those guys. But man, oh man, Rafa, that slipped through his fingers and Medvedev stole that set for sure. For sure. So, Medvedev has only ever lost a match from two sets of love up once. When he wins the first set, he's won 41 matches. For, sorry, when Medvedev's been up two sets of love, he's won 41 matches and lost one. Does anybody know what that one match was? It was a couple of years ago. Can anyone name that one match? Can anybody name the one match? Does anyone know? Who knows Who knows their tennis history? So, surely someone knows the, the match. Surely someone knows the match. When was the time, the only time that Medvedev has lost from two sets of love up? Not against Djokovic. Not against Vavrinka. Nope. Someone's got it. It was at the French Open in 2019. Uh, Pierre Huguez Hubert, the doubles guy, came back from two sets of love down on the French, at the French. That was the only time he's lost from two sets of love up. But 
Rafa's come back from two sets of love down three times in his entire career. Three times. I'm not going to let you guess because I'm just going to, I'll just give you the answers. First time he did it was in Madrid against Ivan Lubacic back in 2005 with bad knees. Came back from two sets of love down, won that title. Fun fact, only title in his career he's won on an indoor court when it was on a hard court back in the day. Uh, he also did it against Robbie Kendrick at Wimbledon in 2006. He came back from two sets of love down to win that one. And he did it back in 2007 against Mikhail Yuzhny, also at Wimbledon. Two sets of love down, came back to win. So Rafa has not come back from two sets of love down in, 20, uh, what, in 15 years. In 15 years. It's a long time. It's a long, long time. Last time that he came back from two sets of love down to force a fifth set, he did that a couple of years ago against Jules Muller at Wimbledon. Two sets of love down, he came back. The fifth set he lost. That's the last time he came back to force a fifth set. But, man, he's up against it, Rafa. He's playing a guy who's never lost the lead except for once, and that was on a clay court in front of a French crowd playing a Frenchman. And he hasn't done it for 15 years. It's a brutal task for Rafa. But goats do goat things. Goats do goat things. We'll see what Rafa can do. But I, all signs point to Medi. Answer my question! The question, jerk! It all points to Medi. Tell you what though, Ron, I think uh, he... Uh, I love that. The Goat Reaper. I like that. That's a good one. Goat Reaper. But I do think that... Um, I mean, the clay courts are where the goats are probably going to get over Medvedev. Medvedev on the clay, it's not going to work. I think the go if, if Rafa doesn't produce some sort of a miracle now, uh, I think Roland Garros, Djokovic, Nadal competing for that 21 titles. Medvedev's not winning the French this year. Uh, maybe Sidzipas steps up. I don't know. But um, thank you for the donation, Ron. Um, but Rafa's going to have to do some crazy shit now. He's going to have to do some crazy shit now. Um, again, thank you everybody for the donations. Thank you for also liking and subscribing. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We will be covering every single... We'll be covering the Grand Slams in its entirety. Roland Garros in May. Wimbledon in July. French Open. Uh, sorry, uh, US Open in September. Uh, but don't forget, we're also going to be covering so much in between those tournaments. The next big tournament might be the French Open, but there are so many tournaments before then. So... Don't, make sure you don't be a stranger. Make sure you come on back uh, for the rest of the season. Now, let's get back to this match because Rafa is trying to break in the first game here as he hits a forehand into the open court for a winner. It's 15-30. Now, I do think Rafa can win this set. But I don't think he can come back. And I've never said that about a GOAT, that they can't come back to win. Even against even Djokovic, I was saying that at French Open last year, you know, uh, US Open last year, I was saying that you know Djokovic can come back, and he did one of those occasions. He did, but I just think that Rafa, I mean, he he's he's up against it big time here. If he comes back, this will be one of the greatest comebacks you'll ever see. As we had a forehand there from Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa, back in Medvedev is a passing shot. Unbelievable. Rafa guessed wrong. Medvedev guessed right. 30 all. Man, Rafa could have hit that anywhere, and he hit it straight to Medi's backhand. And Medvedev just went bang. 30 all. 30 all. 30 all. In the last set, because he was so sweaty, Mevita, uh, Rafa wasn't putting a ball in his pocket. And, you know, we do know that he has his little super, superstitious rituals. Maybe that was throwing him off a little bit. Maybe that was throwing him off a little bit. Back at Deuce here, Medvedev. First game of the third. If you're just joining us, Rafa had set point in the second set. Medvedev stole it off him. Now four now from Medvedev down the line. Rafa gets it with a forehand of his own. Backhand Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa down the line. Medvedev with a forehand of his own. Backhand now sliced from Rafa in the net. Rafa looks tired, by the way. His legs just look tired. Advantage Medi. To take a one-love lead in 
the third. Advantage Medi. Serve. Into the forehand of Rafa. That goes into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand of Rafa down the line. Is a winner. Nice aggression there from Rafa. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. Yeah, he was dripping with sweat. Yeah, Rafa's changed. He's wearing a new shirt, new shorts. Probably new headband. As we had a return there from Rafa into the forehand of Medvedev. That's a great shot from Medi. Rafa gets it though, but it goes out. Nice hitting from Medvedev. Advantage Medi. And Medvedev's coach is shaking his head. He looks. I've never seen Medvedev's coach so nervous. He never looks nervous. He's nervous today. Serve from Medvedev is a uh, fault. Second serve now to the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev into the back end of Rafa. And now to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes into the back end of Medi. Into the back end of Rafa. Medvedev with the forehand again goes long. Back at Deuce. Maybe Medvedev's just taking the foot off the gas a little bit in this second, uh, in this third set. Won the two set the lead. Maybe he's like, hey, cruising on the lead a little bit. You know, not, uh, not keeping the foot down. Thanks again for people following us over on Twitch. And everyone out there subscribing to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're brand new. We've been covering more matches than ever before this year. We've already, this is our 71st match. We've watched every Medvedev, uh, sorry, every Nadal match uh, so far. So all the Rafa fans, if you're out there, as Medvedev comes into the net and Rafa hits it out. We're going to be watching every ma uh, match of Rafa and Nole and Federer and as many matches as we can with Medvedev involved and City Pass and those those guys as well. And then we also watch women's tennis. And sometimes we do doubles. So if you like any of that, subscribe. That's uh, and if you don't like any of that, you can always down the track unsubscribe if you're not having fun. But subscribe if you haven't already. As Medvedev double faults. And it's back at Deuce here. This is a huge game. Medvedev has not had a tough service game like this for the entire match. Back to Deuce. Rafa looking to get a break, if possible, as we had a find out from Medvedev in the net. In the net from Medi. And now it's Rafa getting a break point. First game of the third. Medvedev taking the time here because the crowd's gone crazy. And he serves a fault. Boy, first serve. Second serve, Medvedev. That's been a chink in the armor, if anything. As we had a return from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. For one out from Rafa. Is out. Man, Rafa just making errors again. Making errors again, Rafa. Back at Deuce. Back to Deuce. Also, Medvedev is one set away from being a, one of those players that saves match point to win the title. A lot of players, have, or not too many players have done it. Djokovic being one of those. He's done it a few times where he saved match points and then gone on to win titles. Medvedev's looking to be one of those guys too. As that goes in the net from Rafa. Good serve, Medi. Advantage, Nadal. Rafa shaking his head there. Advantage, Medvedev. To take the lead. As he serves down the team. Mac, uh, back in there from Rafa. And Medvedev hits a terrible drop shot. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what that shot was from Medvedev. That was a shot of a guy who's up two sets of love and he's got too much uh, too much confidence. Overconfident there, Medi. <laughs> Drop shot nowhere near. Who does he think he is? Nadal? Then he serves an ace. Bang. Come on! Ten aces from Medvedev. That's been a crucial part of the game today. 
Advantage Medi. Bang, bang! Um, 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 unbelievable. Two aces to get out of that game. Medvedev leads. One love in the third. Good serving there from Medvedev. Let's play a couple more. We've got a few more donations. Thank you, everybody, who has donated tonight. Very generous of everybody. Finals day. I always go for the red shirt. You guys, uh, you know that. Uh, but thank you, Dips, as well, for the donation. So, Pam, look, I, I don't know. If, I don't know. I mean, COVID could be playing a part. You know, we had COVID only a month ago. But I think the biggest part is the fact that Nadal hasn't played. Like, this is his, what, ninth match back? Tenth match back after six months away? So, uh, look, we all expect the GOATs to do crazy things, right? And, you know, because we've seen them do it. We've seen Federer come back from six months off to win the Australian Open. We've seen Djokovic come back from, you know, a long time away to win big titles. We've seen Rafa do the same. But I think we expect so much that everyone thinks, like, you know, oh, what's wrong with Rafa? It's probably just because he hasn't played, you know, for six months at this level. The highest level he's played since the French Open. He only played two matches since the French Open before this year, uh, not including the exhibitions. So, you know, I think we've got to keep that into account as well, that, you know, Rafa is playing, to get to the final is a great effort, but we're so used to seeing the GOATs do crazy things that I think a lot of people's ex expectations were, oh, well, Rafa's going to win because he's a GOAT. I mean, he hasn't played for six months. And also, this is his worst slam based on trophies, right? So I think there's a lot of factors, but maybe the COVID factor, maybe that's got something to do with it too. Um, again, I don't like, we, I think it's still hard to say, but with, you know, players that get COVID and they seem to all come back differently. I mean, Kyrgios just won a double slam after getting COVID. I mean, he won and he almost got, he got a set off Medvedev. I mean, he didn't look too bad and he's just looking so clean Medvedev. And with a two sets of love lead and serving first in the third, he can just be aggressive and put the pressure right on Rafa. Love 30. Danger times for Rafa. As he serves now. A great serve. Medvedev gets it, though. 4 from Rafa down the line's a winner. Come on! Yeah, great serve. Medvedev gets it, though. I mean, as great as the serve was, it came back. And that's what Medvedev does. He gets them back. Also, we're almost at 3,000 likes. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love. 15-30. Nadal with a serve now. Serves out wide, but it's a fault. Can't buy a first serve. Chance for Medi to get a couple of break points. As Rafa serves. Into the point of Medvedev, who hits a weird shot. It goes in. Rafa with a forehand down the line winner. Medvedev with a swat shot. I don't know what he was doing, but he almost <laughs> almost got away with it. I mean, that's how good Medvedev's playing, right? <laughs> he's just so... He's just playing. He's making up shots, and he's almost winning the points. Oh, man. <laughs> man, Medvedev's just crazy. Crazy. 30 all. Big point here. Must-win game for Rafa. Can't be giving Medvedev a lead. Serve out wide of the four and Medvedev. Four now Rafa. Down the line. Medvedev with a lob. Smash! Doesn't need to be hit because Medvedev hits it long. Unbelievable. 40-30. Rafa surviving. Rafa surviving. Let me know in the chat. One word to describe how you're feeling right now. One word. That's what I want to hear. Give me one word of how you're feeling. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you bored? Uh, are you, what, are, what are you in the chat? 40-30 as we get a slice there from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. Going into the slice of Rafa. Forehand, uh, sorry, backhand again from Medvedev to the slice of Rafa. Going to the forehand of Medvedev. As we get another backhand from Rafa down the line. Good shot. As he comes back from Medvedev. Forehand now Rafa is out. Again, he gets the shot and he hits it long. Feeling sweaty, excited, thrilled, good, tired, wondering, curious, sleepy, sick, happy, nervous. Thanks for the commentary. No worries. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Appreciate it. Drunk. <laughs> uh, ecstatic. Uh, disappointed. 
Victory, joyous, pissed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, tense, mixed feelings. Um, sad, trophy, someone's feeling like a trophy, okay. Worried, hungry, go eat. As we're backing down the line out of the back end of Rafa, but it goes long for Medi and it's advantage Rafa. Uh, prophetic, intense, nauseous, Edomo. I'm sad for Rafa, says somebody. Can't buy a first serve emotion. Uh, annoyed, great, all the feelings at once. Russian, you're feeling Russian, are you? All right, supportive. Um, extremely hopeful. All right, a lot of emotions in the chat. Advantage now, Rafa, to get the game. Stay in touch in this third set. A must, must win game, you feel, for Rafa. Can't be going down a break early in the third, especially when you're down two sets of love. If you're just joining us, Rafa had chances. As we had a return there, and that goes out from Medvedev. Rafa survives, one all. If you're just joining us, Rafa, first set, no chance. Medvedev was on fire. Couldn't get, uh, couldn't lose points. I mean, he was serving amazing, was uh, Medvedev. Second set, Medvedev dropped his level, and Rafa pounced. Got the lead, was up 4-1 with the break. Got broken back. Then he got the 5-3 lead and had a set point. Got broken back. Got to the tiebreak. Was leading the tiebreak. Then Medvedev came back. And now it's two sets of love to Medvedev. So, you know, I guess you can, you can look at it two ways, right? You can say, well, Rafa, you know, wasted the chances. Or you can give Medvedev the praise because Medvedev fought back from a few deficits in that second. 15 love. Good serve from Medi. Come on! Big serve from Medi. As he serves again, Medvedev. A fault. Second serve. Into the backhand now of Rafa. Backhand now from Medvedev. Into the backhand of Rafa. Going to the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand now down the line. Medvedev gets it with a forehand of his own. Slice there from Rafa. Going into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand now Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand down the line. Rafa in trouble with the slice. It goes in. Medvedev with a forehand again to the slice of Rafa. Four now from Medvedev again to the backhand of Rafa who hits it in the net. That's been the story of the day. Backhand in the net. Dirty love. Two hours and 31 minutes played in this match. I think the second set went for... Did it go for two and an hour and a half? Almost. One hour, 26 minutes the second set. Thirty all. I'm oh, sorry. Thirty love. Served now to the backhand of Rafa, and that's out. Forty love. Medvedev. Great game. Great service game for Medvedev. Also, we're almost at three thousand likes. Thank you, everybody out there. Appreciate it. Forty love. Medvedev to stay in front, and he serves an ace again. Um, 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 unbelievable. Great serving. Medvedev two one third set. Question, jerk. All right, Medvedev talking to the uh, talking to the trainer. Let me have a look here. Let's see what the trainer is going to offer Medvedev. Some just some magic pills or some what's happening here? Oh no, he's just getting some uh, gel packs. So Medvedev asked for. I think at the start of the match, he was asking for like um. Some gel packs. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The, uh... I mean, so he's drinking some... Something. Like a... Oh, is that like a shot of... Is that like a Red Bull? Anyways. And yeah, it looks like Medvedev's drinking some... Like a shot... It's like one of those, um... Energy drinks. Like a little shot of, uh... Red Bull or something. And he's also eating, uh... A muesli bar. Yeah, it looked like he was drinking a shot of energy drink. No, it wasn't a gel pack. A gel pack is one of those, like, it's like Gatorade, but made of, it's like jelly. Jelly Gatorade, basically. But it wasn't one of those. This was like a shot. It was like a shot of Red Bull. <laughs> um, 
Hello from Sydney. What's up? Exactly 10 years ago was the longest final ever in a Grand Slam. Well, Rafa, he's going to have to come back from two sets down to make that happen again. Yeah, Shannon, they called that, they said it was pickle juice, but I don't think it was. They said it looked like pickle juice, but it's not. I think it was that, it, I've seen those at like gas stations where they have like a little bit of a shot of, it's like a little bit of an energy shot, like a caffeine shot. I don't think that was a, I don't think that was a pickle juice. That looked more like one of those little energy shots that you get from a gas station to kind of, you know, the truckies drink to keep them awake when they're driving overnight. By the way, there's a guy who came in with like 700 beers. <laughs> Don't drop them. Is it illegal to consume energy drinks during a professional match? I don't know. Oh, it was vodka. Of course it was. He's Russian. Haha. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe, if it is, then maybe that wasn't what I thought it was, but people are taking their sweet-ass time. Sit the hell down. We get it. Hurry up and sit down. You morons, just sit on the stairs, you dickheads. Anyways, why are they coming? Why are they walking slowly? It's like, come on now. Raffle with a good serve comes in, but Medi hits it long, 15 love. Um, yeah, people are saying it was vodka. <laughs> Let's just go with that story. That's, that would be make it more boss if it was vodka. <laughs> it was vodka, everybody. It was vodka. It was vodka. 15 love. Serve now. Out wide to the back end of Medvedev. Four from Rafa down the line into the forehand of Medvedev. Four from Rafa into the back end of Medvedev. Medvedev doing a lot of running here, but Rafa slices it. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Now Rafa's doing a lot of running as he goes down the line. Medvedev with a drop shot. Sliced there from Rafa. Just gets it. Medvedev with a pass. Rafa with a volley. It's too good. Medvedev tried to play a little bit of a chess match there, and he got outplayed. Don't mind the tactic from Medvedev, though, but Rafa was smart enough to stay down the line and hit the volley. 30 love. I don't think this is... I won't say anything yet. Let me just hold my tongue for a second. Also, don't forget to join the subreddit. We're going to be going through the memes at the end of this match. I'm sure there's a heap of them. Link down below if you want to jump in the uh, subreddit. R slash the tennis talk. If you want to jump in the subreddit that way. R slash the tennis talk. A lot of memes in there. Very funny stuff. We've been going through them in the entire tournament. It's been a new thing. New segment we've started this year. So if you like to laugh, then uh, stick around after the show. We'll be laughing, hopefully, a lot. Sometimes there's memes with me in it. I don't know why, but some people do find that funny as well. I don't like that, so don't make memes of me. But uh, memes of tennis is funny. 40 love. And if you listen to anyone in the chat who's been here for a while saying, no, screenshot everything he does, don't listen to those people. They don't know what they're, they're don't, don't listen to those people. They're not, they're just lying, all right? We don't meme, I don't, I'm not a meme, all right? As Medvedev hits a return and Rafa just hits it in the net. I mean, that wasn't even a half effort of a half volley. 40 15. Holy shit, the chat's full of Djokovic fans. Oh my god. <laughs> all the Djokovic fans that are coming out of the bushes looking like Russians now. <laughs> You're all wearing the Russian t-shirts, are you? Where's that Simpsons meme? As that goes out from Nadal, and it's 40-30. You know, all the Serbians disappear into the, uh, into the bushes and come out. Medvedev fans. They've all, they all come out of the woodworks now. Where were you? I thought you guys boycotted the event. I thought you guys were not here. I thought you guys boycotted the event. That's, that's funny. Welcome back, anyway. we love to have you. Welcome back. We will be watching Nole in Dubai in a couple of weeks, so make sure you join us for that. The return of Nole. As we had a fine out from Rafa into the back end of Medvedev. That goes in the net. Rafa survives. 2-2. Two 2-2. -two. Two -two. But yeah, we'll be watching, uh, we'll be watching your boy, Nole, play in uh, three weeks. Three weeks in Dubai. 
every single match this year, we're watching no Novak Djokovic. So Djokovic fans, we'll be watching your boy, don't worry. We're going to be watching your boy big time. A lot of Rafa fans in the chat, as I would expect. Um, Rafa don't have the solutions. Yeah, that is true. That is true. We'll be here. Good. Thank you, Z. We'll be here. That's what I want to hear. That's it. As you guys know, if you're Djokovic fans, you guys know that I've been, I was pretty pissed off that they didn't get, didn't, they didn't let him play. As, oh, Medvedev for the pass! Come on! He loves that, 15 love, Medvedev, too good. But you'll know, if you're watching during the, during the court cases at the start of the tournament, I was pretty annoyed that Djokovic wasn't allowed to play. I was, I was pretty annoyed. It's been a good tournament. It's been a good tournament without him, but it would have been a hell of a lot better with him, let's be real. That semi-final between Nadal and Djokovic would have been the greatest match possibly of all time. And then the winner plays this guy. I mean, it would have set up a perfect... Like, whoever won that match in the semis would have set up a perfect, uh, you know, 21, maybe 21 slams, you know? So we missed that opportunity thanks to the silly government. Anyways, that goes in the net from Rafa and it's 30 love. Maybe at the French Open we're going to get that match up. French Open matchup, maybe. You're more fun to watch than the match. Thank you, Gilly. Appreciate that. We do things different over here. We're louder. We're definitely more uncensored than the TV, who are very politically correct. We say all kinds of random shit. As Medvedev hits that into the open court, it's 40, love. Come on! Trying to get up 3 2 here, Medi. We're raw. We're un uncensored. Don't mince the words. Oh, Rafa almost kills the umpire. Goes straight at him. Shit. What's up? We've got aliens. All right, 3-2, Medi. Very good service game again. Answer my question. The question, jerk. <clears throat> All right. I said silly government. What should I say? Shitty government? I do live here after all. I can't, like... I don't want to get kicked out of my own country for yelling at the government too much. Who? This famous screw job made... Oh, you mean this famous... As in this, um, what's happened to Djokovic over the last month has made Djokovic greater than ever? Is that what you're saying to share? Poo-poo. Um, you said it right, silly government? Yeah. Uh, I agree. Polit yeah, we're, look, we're not going to go down that path again because look, it happened. It's done. What's done is done. But what could have been for the tennis? Let's be real, right? Anyways, let's get back to this because Medvedev is up 3-2. He's three games away from his second consecutive slam. Medi might go for the Medi slam. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, when's gonna, when team's going to play? Trashy player. Team is playing next week. Team is playing next week. And we're going to watch him at some point next week. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully he wins a couple of matches so we can watch him. Have we finished the tier list? We'll finish it at the end of this match. Scott Morrison's getting Cam's deportation letters ready. Shh. Don't say that. I don't think you can. Can you deport people from your own country? Is that a thing? I don't want to be the first to know. I don't want to, I don't want to know. Anyways, 4 now from Ra Rafa on the stretch is wide. Medvedev first point. Love 15. Love 15. Rafa has to be very careful here because Medvedev gets the break. He ain't giving it back. You know he ain't going to give away the lead. He ain't going to give away the lead. He is three games away from being number one in the world, Medvedev. This guy's the goat. Who was it? What did you say? The goat reaper. Love it. Taking that one. As we had a back end now from Medvedev going into the forehand of Rafa. Back in again, Medi going to the back end slice of Rafa. Into the back end of Medvedev. For one from Rafa down the line is wide. Oh no. Love 30. 
And Medvedev looking to get the break. Thank you for following, for subscribing, everybody. If you subscribe, your name shows up. Thank you. Appreciate everyone who has subscribed tonight. We've got a lot of new people here. Also got to 3,000 likes, which is a lot. Let's see if we can get to four. I don't know if we can. Anyway, serve now to the back end of Medvedev. Uh, in comes Rafa with a smash. Medvedev with another lob. Rafa with another smash. Oh no! He's going to be in trouble now, Rafa. Medvedev back in the rally as he hits a forehand into the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev. Open court to the slice of Rafa. Medvedev in control now as Rafa gets a forehand on the stretch. Back in now, Medvedev down the line. It's a winner! This is going to be on Tennis TV, bro. Medvedev can do no wrong. He can do no wrong. And he gets three. Break points. Medvedev can't do anything wrong at the moment. He can't miss. Oh, man. I mean, this is just Medvedev's to win. He's got this in the bag. Dasha, uh, Dasha Gavrilova or Dasha Saville. She loves it because she is Russian. She is loving this. Love 40. Serve down a tee to the forehand of Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. Back in now from Medi. Going into the forehand of Rafa. It's a drop shot. And it's a great drop shot. Unbelievable. Unbelie unbelievable. He saves one. 15-40. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? What was that? 15-40. <clears throat> don't know what that noise was. Microphone's making me sound all weird. It's making me sound like a 12-year-old boy. Going through 15.40. Serve out wide of the forehand of Medvedev. Comes back to the back end of Rafa. Back end of Medi. Down the line to the back end of Rafa. Back in again, Medvedev. Into the forehand, but it goes long for Medi. Rafa survives. Come on! 30. 40. Still break point though for Medi. Renegade, you have a great question, and I'm going to answer that at the next change of ends. Thanks for the donation. Appreciate it. 30 40. Big chance for Medvedev now. He's already saved two break points though. Raffery needs a big first serve. And he faults. Second serve, two hours and 46 minutes played. In this final, second serve, Rafa. Serve now to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa into the forehand of Medvedev. Goes to the forehand of Rafa and Rafa hits it to the back end of Medi. Rafa, forehand again to the forehand of Medvedev. Into the back end of Rafa. Back end from Medvedev, the drop shot. Rafa runs, gets it with a slice. Medvedev down the line in the nets. Rafa survives. And he's fired up, Rafa. He's fired up. There is no giving up in this guy. There is no giving up in Rafa. He doesn't know what, it, what does that mean. Giving what? I don't know what that means. I don't understand. He doesn't understand what that word is. Back at Deuce. Medvedev could have hit that shot down the line for a winner, by the way. Could have definitely, definitely hit a winner down the line. He was open. Deuce again in this Rafa serve as we get a forehand now from Rafa to the back end of Medvedev. That's into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev in control. Down the line. Is out. Oh, Medvedev just misses. Just misses there, Medvedev. Advantage Rafa. Love 40 to advantage. He's had to fight so much tonight, Rafa. Look how many break points he's faced. He has had to fight for every game. And that's just to be in, stay in touch. I mean, not even to win. It's just to be competitive. Serve volley, Rafa. Medvedev with a backhand. Down the line is a winner. Yeah, it was not a great serve volley from Rafa. The volley was just a sitter. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. This is the biggest game. This, this could decide it. Someone asked, why are you showing your face? Why are you showing your face in this chat? We can't show the match because it's illegal, mate. 
That's why you can't find it anywhere on the internet. But, uh, you know, if you don't like it, you can leave. You don't have to watch me. You can leave. <laughs> uh, some people. Anyways, return. Goes into the fauna of Rafa. Fauna from Medvedev down the line into the fauna of Rafa. To the backhand of Nadal. Backhand from Rafa goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand again, Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev in control of this point as we had a slice down the line. Medvedev with the backhand now. Into the forehand of Rafa, going to the forehand of Medi. Back in there from Rafa, down the line again. Medvedev gets it just. Back in from Rafa, cross court. Medvedev gets it with a forehand, but he shanks it long. Rafa surviving by the skin of his teeth. He's surviving. Oh, someone says, I like seeing a handsome face. All right, let's not get crazy. All right, jeez. Um, Rafa digging in, that's it. That's it. ESPN has it on delay. Oh no. Oh, you might need to pause if you need. If you want to sync it up, pause the stream and try and sync it up. It might be better if we're a little bit ahead. Don't want anyone. Don't want to give anything away. So uh, that's the best way to watch. If you want to just maybe pause it for a little bit, and yeah. Advantage Nadal. I wish we could show the match, though. It'd make me... <laughs> I wouldn't have to talk. It'd be so much easier. Anyways, forward now from Rafa goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the backhand slice of Rafa. Back in there from Medi again. To the backhand of Rafa. Rafa looking to get to three games all as Medvedev goes with a forehand to the backhand of Nadal. Backhand Medvedev again to the backhand of Rafa. Who goes into the forehand of Medi. Slice there from Rafa. Medvedev in control as Medvedev goes with another forehand. This one goes into the forehand of Rafa. Who goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand of Rafa goes again to the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand. Down the line. Medvedev gets it with a forehand of his own. But it goes out. Rafa survives. Unbelievable. Rafa survives. And he's pumping up the crowd too. The guy in the beige suit is excited. The Spanish flags are flying. And he ain't dead yet. He ain't dead yet. Not yet. One foot in the grave, but he ain't dead yet. Medvedev's trying to push him into the grave. It's just not working. It's not working. All right. It's almost 07. Not sure I can hang, hang in. 07? Wait, seven, 7 in the morning? Jesus, savage. You're a savage. Absolute savage. Three or can you imagine this goes five sets? This would be like the longest match in history. Can anyone what's the longest match in tennis history? I mean I'd I'm just ask him. I don't know. Second serve Medvedev. Goes into the back end of Rafa. Great return. Medvedev gets it, but it goes long. That was a wicked return from Rafa. Come on! Man, Medvedev started to talk to the umpire. Medvedev's looking a little shitty. I think he's not happy with the crowd. He's not happy with the crowd. Medvedev's getting a little... Yeah. Good timing. <laughs> he's, telling the, he's telling the umpire to tell the crowd to not cheer between, between serves. Medvedev's getting a little tense. He's not... He's getting a little angry, I think, Medvedev. As he serves an ace, blames it on Rafa and goes bang. Unbelievable. <laughs> Savage. And the crowd is woo, uh, woo and boo and whatever. 15 all. 15 all. You don't want to poke the Medi Bear. We know what that does. You poke the Medi Bear. He comes out and he just goes, get the hell out. 15 all. And the crowd are booing Medvedev for telling the ball kids to run around. He's bossing the ball kids around, but the crowd aren't happy with him. They're like, hurry up and serve. But Medvedev has his routines. He wants a ball kid to have a ball each just so he's ready. 15 all. Serve down the tee. Rafa gets a return. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa and Rafa hits in the net. Another error. 30-15. 30-15. He's taking the time here, Medvedev, because he knows he's feeling a little tense. Th 
30, 15. As Medvedev serves, a fault. Second serve, the crowd are clapping the faults now. They're getting real disrespectful as we get a forehand out from Rafa. Into the back end of Medi. Into the forehand again of Rafa. Back end of Medvedev down the line to the slice of Rafa. Back end out from Medvedev is a drop shot. Rafa runs with a drop with a slice down the line. Medvedev with a pass. Rafa gets it with a volley. Medvedev with a pass. Is a win. Oh, it's in the net! Oh my god! Medvedev misses the easy one! Wow! I'd already given him the point. 30 all. Wow. Could have gone anywhere and he hits it in the net. He ran around his forehand in a backhand, Mevedev. What? 30 all. Mevedev's looking real tired. After that, he's exhausted. Serve out wide is a fault. Second serve. Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev down the line to the forehand of Rafa. Backhand of Medvedev again to the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev in control as he hits a winner. Unbelievable. That's big from Medvedev. He's been hitting some real nice backhands tonight. Big hit from Medi. 40 30. And Rafa just hasn't been able to hit those. Half volley shots tonight and do anything with them. He's just been defensive the whole time. Medvedev serves the forehand of Rafa. Backhand Medvedev to the forehand again of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. And that's a winner from Medi. And he survives with some very nice hitting. Does Medvedev. 4-3. Medvedev two games away from his second slam. That's my question. The question, jerk. Nadal's next tournament is Acapulco on the 21st of February. So he's going to Mexico. Then, after Acapulco, he'll be going to Indian Wells and Miami in America. So he's making it. He's going to Mexico to then go play the American uh, hard court uh, in, uh, in uh, March. Medvedev's playing in Rotterdam in a week. Maybe he won't play that, but he's played that every year. So he might play that. Um, and then he's going off to play in Dubai, I believe. And then go and play Indian Wells, Miami as well. So... Um, Medvedev and Rafa are going to uh, not cross paths until uh, March. So they'll avoid each other in February and then maybe cross paths in March if they play well at the, those tournaments. But very good question. Very good question. For becoming a member. appreciate that. If you want to become a member, it's only $1 a month. Go down, click the join button. You can become a member if you like the channel, you like what we're doing here, you want to support it. Maybe you don't want to donate or maybe you want to just, I don't know, be a member. Green names in the chat. Where are you at? We got Dips in the chat who's a member. We got Joe. Uh, who else is? Where are Where are the other goats at in the chat? Where are the other goats at? We've got to share. Who's a member? You can see the members have a little badge next to their name. Also, their name shows up in green, which means, uh, I guess, means they're special. But it also means that they get a better chance of winning the giveaways. Thank you for that. So become a member if you want. Ange, Ange in the chat as always. We got Big Trades Tennis in the chat. Um, a couple of the mods are in the chat. Allison, Dawn, what's going on? Uh, we've got Sarah, we've got Vanessa, we've got Beth. Uh, a lot of members in the chat. Uh, if you want to become a member, it's only a dollar a month. So, that's the thing. Uh, Deb's in there as well. There we go. We've got Deb, we've got Joe. All right, let's get back to the match. Love 15. Raph had to fight the last game. He's on the verge. Of getting broken, and then Medvedev... If Medvedev breaks this game, he's serving for the match, by the way. Just keep that in mind. Serve out wide of the backhand of Medvedev. Four now Rafa into the backhand again of Medvedev. It's sliced. It's in. Rafa with a swinging volley. Winner. Tough shot, but Rafa makes it. Unbelievable. Yes, it is. 15 all. 15 all. Nearly three hours played. In this one, one minute shy of three hours. It just show, kind of shows that this has been a long match, not because of the score, but mainly because of the rallies and the length of service games, especially on Rafa's side. As he hits a forehand now to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand of Rafa again to the backhand of Medvedev into the slice of Rafa. Medvedev with the forehand, 
Going into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev with another forehand into the forehand of Rafa. There's been a backhand from Medvedev. That goes long. Rafa gets a free point. Hasn't, again, hasn't been too many of those. 30-15. Officially three hours on the clock. If Rafa had won that second set and we'd played three hours till now, this match is going five hours if it goes, like six hours if it's gone five sets. I mean... <laughs> But we don't have to worry about that, I don't think, at this stage. Unless Rafa can do something crazy. Serve down the tee, the forehand of Medvedev. That goes out. Good serve from Rafa. 40-15. 40-15. Rafa trying to level it up again. Forty fifteen. As Rafa serves. Down the tee to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. And that goes wide. Medvedev with a few errors in that game. Rafa gets probably the easiest game of the match. <laughs> I mean, that was easy for him. Hasn't had a game like that for the entire day. <laughs> Four all. Four games all. Every single point from now on is crucial for Rafa. Every point's a match point in this stage for Nadal. What do I think? Three or four sets? I want four sets. I want to see another one of these sets, you know? But that's because I love tennis and I don't want it to end. I don't want this tournament to end. But Medvedev's serving well, so it's going to be hard for Rafa to, uh, to get this done. As he hits a forehand there, Medvedev into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand now Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa. Rafa down the line. Medvedev gets it. Drop shot Rafa. Medvedev runs. Backhand. Backhand from Rafa. Is a winner. Unbelievable. Finally gets the line, Rafa. Love 15. The crowd erupt. Just. Just gets it, Rafa. Whoa, he hasn't made too many of those today. And he's gone. Rafa's gone. This is it. This is the game. Let's go. Medvedev serves into the backhand of Rafa. Into the backhand now of Medvedev. Backhand slice now, Rafa. Medvedev with the volley. Down the line is a winner. Medvedev, smart. It looked like a drop volley, but Rafa, he fooled Rafa. He fooled Rafa because Medvedev was going to hit a drop volley, and then he went, nah, I'm going down this way. Rafa was over here. 15 all. I think we've got to start talking about Medvedev's disguise. Because he has very good disguise on all his shots. Which catches guys like Djokovic and Nadal off guard. Because they don't know where he's going to hit the ball. He could change direction at the last minute and fool everybody. I think that's an underrated skill. But that is a terrible shot from Medvedev on that one. I like, pump him up. That's how it happens, right? That's how it happens. 15-30. 15.30. Megs. Holy shit. What a donation. We'll get to that in a second. Megs, what are you... What? My God. Thank you, Megs. We'll get to your donation in a second. Whew. Serve now, Medi. Into the backhand of Rafa. Goes in to the final Medvedev. It's a draw. It's in the net. Medvedev hits it in the net. Drop shot. Didn't need to hit a drop shot like that. Oh, and Medvedev's... Sarcastically clap the crowd and the crowd are going shit for this shit. They're not happy. They're booing him because he's clapping the crease. Like, oh yeah, thanks everybody. You've been great. And the crowd are like, boo you. 1540. Second serve. And the crowd oh, erupt in cheers. But no. Rafa goes, don't cheer that. Rafa's trying to calm the crowd down. Good on Rafa. Second serve now, Medvedev to the back end of Rafa. Back end now from Medi. There's a drop shot. Rafa's going to get there. He gets there with a slice. Medvedev with a pass. Rafa with a volley. Medvedev gets it. Rafa running, running, running. Hits a backhand flick, but it goes wide. Medvedev too good. Come on. Medvedev too good. Medvedev too good. 30 40. Man, Rafa was getting a bit too cute. He was trying to play a Kyrgios shot. Still, though, set a break point for Rafa. The crowd are going crazy. And Rafa puts his hands on his hips. He can't believe it. He's like, how the hell did I miss that? 
All right. 30-40. Still break point. Medvedev serves into the backhand slice of Rafa. It's up. It's in. Foyan Medi goes into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev can't get it. Rafa breaks. Rafa breaks. 5-4. Third set. Threads the needle down the line. Rafa Nadal is serving for a fourth. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Keep the trophy to the side. We're not done yet. Holy crap. Medvedev just took the foot off the gas a little bit and Rafa pounced. Rafa pounced. Oh man. I don't know if they have a lack of variety. I don't think Rafa and Nola have a lack of variety. I think Medvedev's just doing something different that they've never had to face before. So they're, he's throwing, he's so unique with the way he plays that he's, they're show, they're, he's throwing things at, like they're throwing, he's throwing things at them that they don't know the answer to because they've never had to face this guy. Big serve, great movement. That's a unicorn. Um, but also those guys are older now, right? They're older. So we've got to keep that in mind as well. That they're only getting older. And they're playing against 20-year-olds, you know, or 22, 25-year-olds. These guys are old now. They're in their mid-30s. Anyways, Rafa serving for the set. Goes to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa down the line. Goes to the back end of Medi. Into the forehand of Rafa. Who hits it to the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa dances around. Hits a forehand down the line. Winner. And Rafa gets the first point. 15 love. And don't the crowd love it. 15 love. A great flick down the line. Eric Banner loves it. The Hulk. The original Hulk. <laughs> Nobody remembers that movie. 15 love. Three points away, Rafa, from extending this match to another set. Good serve. Comes back, though. For one, Rafa. Open call winner. Bang, bang. Unbelievable. Rafa with the two forehand winners. Old Faithful coming to the rescue. 30 love. 30 love. Two points away now. You, uh, surely. 30 love. I'm not going to say a word. Crowd are going crazy. I feel like more people are getting Spanish flags. Where are they pulling them out of? Must have had them in their bag or their... Somewhere else. As we get a forehand now from Rafa going into the back a forehand of Medvedev. That goes to the backhand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev going into the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Medi again to the forehand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand slice there from Rafa. Medvedev in control of this point as he goes to the forehand. Into the backhand of Rafa who goes down the line for a winner. Rafa, three set points. Unbelievable. Rafa doing Rafa things. That's what we call that. Rafa doing Rafa things. And it's three set points to take us to the fourth. Three set points to take us to the fourth. Rafa with a serve. Oh, the crowd are too loud. The crowd, look, we've been, Melbourne's been locked up for two years. They've forgotten how to act in civilization. They're like, I don't know how to act. Three set points. Serve down a tee, the forehand of Medvedev. That goes into the forehand of Rafa. We're going four. We are going four. Grab a coffee. Two one, Medvedev still got the lead, but Rafa Nadal, he ain't dead yet. He is not dead yet. <sighs> Three hours, ten minutes. We're going to get four hours at least, right? Surely. Surely. That set, by the way, five aces from Medvedev. 17 winners, including those five aces. Ten unforced errors. Actually not bad from Medvedev, but Rafa, best set, no doubt. Served amazing. 14 winners, eight unforced errors. And he converted the chances Medvedev didn't. That was the difference. Rafa took that set. For sure. Deserved it as well, the way he took it. I will ask you. Yes, you. Who is winning this set? Is Rafa making it a fifth? 
Is Rafa going to make it a fifth? Medvedev having a little talk to himself, by the way. He's talking to the umpire, Medvedev. Medvedev talking. Medvedev talking. He's talking to the umpire, and the umpire's like, look, man, I can't tell them to shut up because they're not, they're, they don't do it. Who's winning this, fight, this fourth set? Cam has legs. I thought he only had a torso. Ah, well, um, some say that I have carrots of calves, but uh, I'm never going to show them. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, all right, let's go through some donations, but a lot of people going with Rafa coming back. Tom Brady, he's not playing this match, but uh, thanks for the comment. Um, all right, come on, small cat. <laughs> oh, man. All right, everybody, we're going to the fourth. Let's play some do Titanium Gorilla. That is, I've never heard that one before. Thank you uh, for all the donations. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Prasanna, Pam, Megs. Megs. Coming in with a big 100 buck donation. That's ridiculous, but thank you. Um, Fred as well, thank you for the dono. Thank you, Joel, as well, for the donation. As Medvedev hits that, sorry, Rafa hits that in the net. 30 love. 30 love. Now, if you're just joining us, I'll, tell, I'll say this again because uh, maybe you missed it. Daniel Medvedev has only ever come, lost from two sets of love up once. One time. It was in 2019 on a clay court. One time he has come back, he has lost from a two sets of love lead. He's got there 42 times. He's lost once. 41 wins, one loss. Nadal has only ever come back from two sets of love down three times. All right? Three times. And all of those times were back in the mid-2000s. He hasn't done it for 15 years. Hasn't come from two sets down and won for 15 years. So what was that 15 years ago? When he was 20 was the last time he did it. He's 35 now. And he's at 30 all now. Let's get back to this. Things are getting interesting. Medvedev in trouble. First game. Oh, Medvedev's starting to slap his legs. Medvedev started to slap his legs there. Let's keep an eye on that. 30 all. Medvedev serving under pressure. First game of the fourth. He serves out wide. Can't buy a, first serve. a fault. Second serve. Is a let. <laughs> Second serve. Thirty all. Medvedev serves into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev goes into the backhand slice of Nadal. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand again from Rafa going into the backhand of Medi. Medi drop shots it. Oh, what a shot from Medvedev! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Woo! Clean. Drop shot, and Rafa just didn't run. He just watched it. He's like, ah, uh, too good. Too good. Just too good. And Medvedev's coach is like, that's it. That's my boy. As Rafa hits a return long, Medvedev survives the first game. One love. Come on! One love. Oh. Fourth set. Update the result of the third set. By the way, Medvedev taking shots of vodka between points. Fun, uh, maybe or not. He's taking shots of something. He's drinking shots. Shots, 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 shots. Everybody! Rafa is coming, for, uh, coming at you. Uh, he's, he's fighting. By the way, Medvedev is drinking. He's drinking like a fish. An alcoholic fish. Update the result of the film. What are you what, what are you talking about? The result is 6-4. What are you doing? What do you mean? What do you mean? <gasps> Medvedev's called the physio. Medvedev's called the trainer. Medvedev's called the trainer. Stay tuned. The story might have another plot twist. One love. Fault from uh, Rafa's observing second, by the way. Let's just get that in there too. That lady's wearing a mouse backwards. Blue on the outside, right? 
Second serve. Play by play of the crowd too. Bonus. Serve now to the forehand of Medi. Forehand from Rafa into the backhand of Medi. Going into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev. Going down the line to the forehand of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand now from Rafa. Going down to the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. As Medvedev hits a backhand down the line. Goes into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev on the stretch. Gets it. Forehand now Rafa. Open court. Medvedev guesses right. Backhand now. Sorry. Forehand now Rafa. Down the line winner. Rafa gets the first uh, point of the game. Come on! Good anticipation from Medi. Better shots from Rafa. Putin is watching. Not here. He's not watching this. Surely not. Fifteen love. If you're just joining us, I'll give you a bit of a recap to what's happening after this. By the way, uh, Sashant, thank you for the donation, mate. Did you take my advice and say go with uh, a four, uh, like over three and a half sets? Oh, Medvedev with a winner. Unbelievable. 15 all. 15 all. By the way, who? someone in the chat said three and a half, over three and a half sets. Did you get the win? Did you get the win? We'll do an update of the, uh, or, or a bit of a recap of what's happened so far because a lot's happened in this match. Serve now to the forehand of Medvedev, backhand. Doesn't need to be hit because it was a let. Aliens. Serve now from Rafa. Some say that was Novak Djokovic. Hey, thank you, uh, Fruit Sausage. What's a fruit sausage? Is that a thing? Is that something weird? Is that something weird? It's a weird name. But thanks for the bits. Is that something dirty? Did I just say something rude? 15 all. <laughs> Double fault, Rafa. 30, 15, uh, 15, 30. Double fault from Rafa. Fourth double fault of the night, Rafa. He served. He's only hit one ace. Only hit one ace. And that's just credit to how good Medvedev's been on the return. I mean, he's a brick wall. He's a brick wall, isn't he? Fifteen thirty. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video as well. Almost at four thousand likes, which is ridiculous. I don't think we've ever had. Have we ever had four thousand likes? I can't even remember. Don't even know. We want green cam back. Well, look. Maybe later. Anyways, forehand now from Medvedev goes to the forehand of Rafa. Forehand from Eddie going to the forehand again of Rafa. It's a drop shot. Medvedev runs. Gets it with a drop shot of his own. Rafa runs. Forehand. Winner. Oops. Rafa with the forehand winner. 30 all. Massive point here for Rafa and Medvedev. Mainly for Rafa though because he's serving. Massive, massive serve needed. Slime, what's up? Three hours, 20 minutes played. At this rate, we're going four hours. Minimum. 30 all. Rafa needs a first serve. And he misses it. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. Second serve. Taking all the time in the world, Rafa. Second serve into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a slice. Medvedev in control. Forehand from Medi. It's good. Rafa gets his right, but puts it in the net. Medvedev got a break point. Come on! 30-40. Great hitting from Medvedev. Remember the double fault from Rafa in this game as well. Might prove crucial for Medvedev. 30-40. Big, big point here. Also, I think Medvedev's asked for the physio, so the trainer might be out soon. The next change of ends for Medi. But we'll see. He did talk to the umpire about something. As we had a serve down here, the forehand of Medi, and that goes into the forehand of Rafa. Down the line for Rafa. Oh, he's swung the hammer! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is the biggest banana forehand he's hit all day. Finally, Rafa doing a Rafa thing. Actually using the forehand for good. 
And that guy there who's just like this, uh, what? Uh, okay, Professor X. Mr. Mr. Professor X. What the hell was that guy doing? Telekinesis or whatever, what is it called? Telepathy. Rafa, you will hit this ball down the line for a winner. Back at Deuce. As he serves another fault, Rafa. Can't buy a first serve. God damn right. Keegs, you know what's up. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve coming up. Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Back in slice, Rafa is a drop shot. Medvedev can't get it because it goes in the net. And Rafa screams to the sky because he knew. He knew. He knew that was a bad idea. Advantage Medvedev. Six minute game. Rafa's played some long service games today. It's been a long day on serve for Rafa. Medvedev with the advantage, trying to get the lead again, or at least the lead in this set. Hasn't broken since the second, as he serves a fault, Rafa. Second serve. Rafa goes into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the back end of Medvedev. Into the back end of Rafa. That goes to the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the back end of Medi. And that's in the net from Medvedev. He wasn't missing those shots 20 minutes ago. I think Medvedev's legs are heavy. I reckon his legs are heavy. Back to Deuce. Rafa must win game. Rafa taking the time here. As he serves. Into the back end of Medvedev. Four and a half from Rafa. Is a drop shot. That's a very good shot. Medvedev gets it though. Rafa with the pass. Medvedev with the volley in the net. Rafa. Big brain tennis. Come on. Big brain tennis. Medvedev had the drop volley, but he just couldn't execute it. Advantage Rafa to get the game and stay in touch. Also, we are almost at 72,000 subs. There's got to be 100 people out there that haven't subscribed. Come on. If you've been watching this whole time, you forgot to subscribe, now's your time. Scroll down, press the red subscribe button. If you love tennis, you're in the right spot. This is the... I love it. Clearly. I'm crazy. <laughs> A psycho. A psycho. For tennis. Not in real life. Just, in, just for tennis, all right? Let's not get it twisted. Second serve, Rafa to the fine of Medvedev. Drop shot, Rafa. Medvedev runs, gets it with a drop shot of his own. Rafa gets that one. Medvedev with the volley. Rafa can't get that. Medvedev too good. Come on! Medvedev survives. A lot of drop shots from Rafa. Now, I don't know if that's because he wants, Rafa to, wants Medvedev to move more or if he's just trying to finish the points quicker. I don't know. Nice volley there from Medvedev. And we rarely say that, don't we, eh? Hey, guys. We rarely say that. Oh, shit. We're almost there. <laughs> I didn't think I was just kidding. <laughs> Anyways. Who's going to be the 72,000th? You will win a uh, round of applause. So, worth it. <laughs> Serve now, Rafa. Down the tee. A deuce. It's a fault again. Can't buy a first serve. Yeah, it's another fault. Second serve. Second serve. Goes to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa to the back end again of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Nadal. As we a back end now from Medvedev down the line. Rafa with the back end of his own. Medvedev with the forehand down the line. Rafa in trouble. As Medvedev hits a back end. Into the forehand of Rafa. Now Medvedev's in trouble with a slice. Forehand from Rafa goes into the back end of Medvedev. And that's in the net from Medvedev. Medvedev's legs are getting real heavy. Knees weak. Mom spaghetti. Is that the words? I don't know. That's the words, right? Lose yourself. Advantage now. Nadal. To get to one game all in this fourth set. And if you're just joining us, we'll do a recap in a second. It's been a crazy match so far. Thank you for following us. 
must have liked that joke. Anyways, back in now. Four now from Rafa down the line. Medvedev with a slice. It's up, it's up, it's up. It's out. Rafa survives. Unbelievable. 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 Ten minute game again. Survives. Now, first set, Medvedev 1 6 2. Served great. A lot of errors from Rafa, but Medvedev just played great. I mean, there's nothing else to it. Medvedev played great. Second set, Rafa was up 4 1. Four games to one. Medvedev came back. Rafa was up 5 3, set point. Medvedev came back. Rafa was up 5 3 in the tie break. Medvedev came back. Won the tie break 7 6. Two sets of love. Then, it was on serve. Back and forth, back and forth. Four games all. Medvedev made a couple of errors. Rafa, Rafa took the break. Then served for the second and won it. And now we're in the fourth set. Three hours, 30 minutes played. It's going to be four hours. If it goes to five, it's going to be five, maybe. And that's where we're at. But Medvedev's looking a little bit more tired now. He's looking a little bit more tired. The legs are looking a little sore. As he comes to the net, Rafa with a pass! <laughs> Unbelievable. This is going to be on tennis TV, bro. Love 30. Love 30. And he's starting to make Medvedev pay for some mistakes. We haven't seen Rafa play like this. He's actually starting to play like Rafa now. Took him three and a half hours, but he's doing Rafa things. Serve now Medi into the forehand of Rafa. That goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa with the backhand now down the line is wide. Oh, he guessed right too, Rafa. He had the shot. He had the shot. 15.30. Now again, I think Medvedev called the trainer. So the next change of ends, we'll see if the physio is going to be speaking to any of either of these boys. Probably Medi, because he's the one who's been taking shots of vodka between set of games. And when I say vodka, I mean some weird juice that he's drinking out of a jar that looks like alcohol. <laughs> Anyways, what kind of alcohol are you drinking, Cam? I don't know. Um, free drinks are always better, aren't they? As we get a four now that goes long from Medvedev. 15.40. 15.40 for Rafa to take a break in the fourth. And the people on the TV just said Medvedev's getting a little is a little bit slower getting to the ball. We said that 20 minutes ago. Welcome to the party, pal. 30.40. We're ahead of the TV coverage. They're like, oh, he looks a little bit slow. They must be watching, eh? Hey, ESPN, stop copying what we're talking about. <laughs> Don't rip off the our chat. 30-40. <laughs> Still break point, Rafa. And a fault from Medi. Second serve. Sir oh, no! It's a double fault. It's a double fault. And Medvedev's going like this to the crowd. He's going, thanks, everybody. You're being real kind. And the train is on court for Medvedev. You're not going to make friends that way, Medi. I don't think he wants friends. He's like, I've got enough friends. I don't need you. And they're rubbing his legs. He's getting a massage. He is getting a massage, Medvedev. Cramp is a thing. Now, if you don't know Medvedev's kind of like history with cramp... We've watched a few matches over the last two years where Medvedev's gone to the like a third or you know a dis like uh, like three and a half hours, and his legs have stopped working. He has battled cramp before, and this is the worst opportunity. This is the worst time to battle cramp. I mean, you're playing against Rafa, who's a bull. This guy doesn't give up. This guy ain't gonna go anywhere. So I tell you what, Medvedev's legs, and that's what that's why he double folded because his legs cramped up now. Let's talk about longest matches in the history of Medvedev. Because this, and we know Rafa's played some epics, right? We know Rafa's played six hours, five hours, blah, blah, blah. Medvedev's longest match, let's talk about it. This might be it. Actually, no, he played the FAA match. That would have been his longest. By the way, not a medical timeout because you can't get medical timeouts for just having sore legs. It has to be an injury. Medvedev gets a massage, which makes, it's cramp, right? He's got cramp. He's cramping up. And Rafa runs out on court. That is what you do when your opponent's injured. You run. 
like you are feeling fresh as a daisy. That is exactly... Rafa's putting in a psychological edge here. He's like, oh, you're sore? Do, 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 do. I'm going to run out here like a beast. All right. Longest match in Medvedev's career. Four hours, 50 minutes. Against Rafa Nadal at the US Open. Second longest match. Australian Open, Felix Ogeliasim, two days ago. Four hours, 42 minutes. Uh, his third longest match, that French Open match, where he was up two sets of love and lost. That was three hours and 54 minutes. This match is going to be his fourth longest match. Because it's, it's just behind Cilic and Medvedev at five sets against, at Wimbledon last year. But this match will be the longest match, of, uh, sorry, the th uh, fourth longest match of Medvedev's career in about five minutes. As we're going to find out from Medi down to the forehand of Rafa. Rafa's got the break. Let's get back to it. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate all you guys out and girls out there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. As Medvedev hits that out on the first point, 15 love. Anyways, return now to the forehand of Medvedev. It's a drop shot. Rafa runs, 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 gets it. Medvedev with a volley, puts it away, 15 all. Rafa just couldn't do anything with that running approach. And it's 15 all. Thank you, KW, for the donation. Appreciate that. Three hours, 34 minutes played. Almost officially the fourth longest match of Medvedev's career. The longest match he's ever played was against this guy at the US Open. We watched that match, and it was an absolute epic. That day, Rafa had the lead and gave away the two sets in Played a fifth. This day, Medvedev seems to be doing what? Seems to be doing that. Serve down the tee, the backhand of Medvedev, forehand from Rafa, into the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand slice now from Rafa, going into the forehand of Medi, into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand. Down the line, that's a great shot from Medvedev. Very nice from Medi. 15 30. Now, Rafa, he has played five matches over five hours. So we're not even close to... I mean, he's played so many four-hour matches too. This is like the 30th longest match, or even like the 50th longest match of Rafa's career. He's played so many long matches that this match doesn't even... Comp this is another day in the office, really. It's nothing compared to what he's done. He can go five hours. He's done it many times. As that goes in... From Rafa, as he puts a forehand down the line, Medvedev with a lob, it's up, it's up, it's up, Rafa with a smash, puts it down, Medvedev gets it, forehand at Rafa, over court, Medvedev with a slice, Rafa with a forehand again, into the over court winner! Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And this is the Rafa we came to watch! This is the Rafa we came to watch! 30 all! And Medvedev just worked his ass off for that point and he didn't get it. Holy crap, his legs are going to be falling off in a fifth set. We'll go through the five matches that Rafa's played five hours because he might have to if he's going to win this match. Five hours might be needed. And you all know one of them. You all know one. He's actually played two five-hour matches at this event. Crazy. At this, on this court. He's won one, lost one. 30 all. Second serve. Second serve, Rafa. As he takes the time here, Rafa, 30 all. Serve now. Into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the back end of Medi on the stretch. Rafa with a forehand again in the net. Man, I think he wanted to go down the line, but he just changed his mind. And he hit it in the net. Break back point for Medvedev. Break back point for Medvedev. 30-40. Can Rafa save it? He saved a lot of break points already. Needs a first serve. As he serves now. Out wide, a fault. It's close. It was close. It was close. Second serve. To the forehand now of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. On the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand. 
Into the flying again of Rafa. Flying out from Medvedev. Again to the flying of Rafa. Down the line is out. Medvedev breaks back. Medvedev breaks back. That magic massage. The massage must have worked. 2-2. Two, two. So anyways, five sets, sorry, five hours from Rafa, right? He's played five, he's played five five-hour matches. One was against Roger Federer in Rome back in 20, 2006, which when, when Masters 1000 finals were five sets. He also did it against uh, Vadasco at this tournament in 2009, five hours. Guillermo Correa at Rome 2005, again, when it was five hours, uh, five sets. Those matches were five sets in the finals. Uh, he did it against... Uh, he lost the match against Djokovic in five hours at Wimbledon, but that was played over two days. And then, of course, the famous one, the most famous of them all, the longest Australian Open final in history, Djokovic-Nadal, 2012, five hours, 53 minutes. So, look, a lot of those matches were, you know, 10-plus years ago. But... Um, and the Wimbledon one was over two days. So was that five hours straight? No, it was over two days. But um, we'll see what happens here because Medvedev's never played a five-hour match. And if it goes to a fifth, it's got to be five hours, right? Love 15. Nadal with a passing shot now as he runs down the line. Winner! Medvedev just not good enough in the net. Not good enough there, Love 30. Medvedev just not good enough with the volley there. I don't know why he would serve volley, especially on that very tough return from Rafa. Rafa's looking a little bit tired there, but he's still saluting the crowd. Love 30. Return there from Rafa. Four now Medvedev. Down the line of the four of Rafa. Goes into the back end of Medvedev. Into the back end now of Rafa. Medvedev with a backhand. Weird shots are happening as we had a four and a four and rally. Rafa with a four out of the back end of Medvedev. Going into the back end of Rafa. Back uh, forehand from Medvedev again to the backhand slice of Rafa into the backhand of Medi. Slice again, Rafa into the forehand of Medi as that goes into the backhand of Rafa down the line and he hits another winner. This is going to be on Face TV, bro. Rafa Nadal, love 40. Rafa Nadal, love 40 to break again and keep in front. He just broke, then he got broken. Now he's about to break again. That's where we're at. Also, again, big shout out to everybody who subscribed tonight. Welcome to the channel. My name's Cam. And we kind of like tennis over here. I don't know if you can notice. We like this sport. It's pretty cool. In fact, it's a fun, it's the best sport in the world for me. Anyways, back in now from Medvedev to the fine of Rafa, who's trying to break again. Back in now, Medvedev again to the fine of Rafa. And that's in the net from Rafa. Medvedev saves one. And just think, we're only one month into the year. How many epics have we had? We had Medvedev FAA, one of the best matches, not just of the year, but of all time on this channel. This match is turning epic. I mean, Djokovic versus Australia was a pretty epic matchup, and that wasn't even tennis. So we've had some great matchups, and it's been epic as Medvedev serve and volleys. Come on! What? 30 40. I'm going to serve volley because that's a that's a Mev, that's such a Medvedev thing to do. It is such a Medvedev thing to do. I'm going to serve volley. I'm going to do my worst thing at the worst time. And it worked because that's a Medvedev thing to do. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, Medvedev is about uh, 15 minutes away from playing his third longest match. If it goes five sets, this could be his longest match all time. It could be. Maybe. Still. Break point, Rafa. Two games all. Fourth set. We're a long way from a fifth. As that goes into the back end of Medvedev. Four now from Rafa. Inside out is... Oh, it's out. Just goes wide from Rafa. And the love 40 turns the deuce. Man, that forehand was not far away. He's made that shot so many times. In his career, Medvedev survives. Gets the deuce. 
Serve down a tee is a fault. Second serve. Not the predictor. It's going down. Medvedev was up 90%, wasn't he? Anyways, backhand now from Rafa. Into the drop shot of Medvedev. Rafa runs. Backhand. Cross court. Medvedev pass. Rafa volley in the net. Oh, he had it. Medvedev too good. Advantage, Medi. To take back the lead. And that forehand from Medvedev was a very tough volley from Rafa. He tried to do it. Even if he had made that, Medvedev would have hit a winner anyway. So, Medvedev just played it so well. Advantage, Medi. Served down the tee, the backhand of Rafa. Goes into the forehand, swinging volley of Medvedev. Backhand, Rafa lob. Up it goes. It bounces. In. Medvedev smash. Oh, he smashed it to the moon! Medvedev hits it to the moon! Off the top of the frame. Boop. See ya. That was a very tough smash, to be fair, but also a very weird shot off the top of the frame. It's still it's still coming down. It hasn't hit the moon yet. It's floating around in space. Back to Deuce. Jesus. Serve now. Out wide of the back end of Rafa. Volley from Medvedev. Is a drop volley. Rafa with a forehand winner. Medvedev's going to the well too many times and there's no water there. The serve volley is bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fourth break point for Rafa in the game. You serve volley against Rafa, it better be good. It better be good. Another chance for Rafa to get the lead again with the break. Fourth set. Serve out wide, Rafa returns. Backhand Medvedev into the slice of Rafa. And now to the forehand of Medvedev who hits it into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand out from Medi. And again to the forehand of Rafa who goes down the line. Medvedev gets it with the forehand of his own. Backhand out Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the slice now of Rafa. Forehand out from Medi. As he hits it to the backhand slice again of Rafa. Medvedev in control. As he hits a forehand, open court. Rafa slices it again to the forehand of Medvedev. Down the line, winner. Medvedev too good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. How good is Medvedev? That was ridiculous. My God. My God, how the hell did Medvedev hit that many forehands that clean and then win it at the end? I mean, that was ridiculous. Back to Deuce. This is a massive game. This might, this might be the game that we circle and go, hey, remember that two-all game in the fourth? That made all the difference. Serve to the final Rafa. Back in Medvedev is a drop shot. Oh no. Rafa's gonna get there and put it away. Two things that Medvedev struggles to do at times. Serve and volley, drop shots. And he's made some real, real bad errors in this one. This game is look, he, he's hit some good volleys today. He's hit some great drop shots today. But those two were terrible. Break point number five for Rafa. To take back the lead. Medi serves to the back end of Rafa. And it goes out. There's that serve. That's the serve. That's the savior of Medvedev. The serve has been the savior. Back to Deuce. How are we feeling out there, chat? How are we feeling? Give us an emoji. How are you feeling? This could be the longest game of Medvedev's Match, the longest service game, as Rafa returns to the final Medvedev. Find out Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with a slice in the net. Rafa finally wrong foots Medvedev. Haven't seen that for a while. Come on. Have not seen that. One emoji. To one emoji. One emoji I want to see. How are we feeling? That's how I'm feeling, yeah. We've got the hands. We've got the shock. We've got the nerves. We've got the laughs. We've got the cries. We've got the fire. We've got the anger. We've got the flags, uh, Spanish flags to be specific as Medvedev gets a forehand now, passing shot and is a winner. Medvedev survives. He pulls a Rafa and hits a winner. And we're back to Deuce. A lot of shock faces, a lot of uh, silly, crazy faces, a lot of uh, happy faces, a lot of sad faces. Nervous. Man. All the emotions, all the feels.
Also, I haven't forgotten the donations. We'll get to that in a second. Thank you, Ian and Sashwa for the donations. We'll get to them in a sec as we are back in from Rafa to the back end of Medvedev, and that's in the net. Medvedev slow off that return. And I can say that in about 10 minutes time, this will be officially the third longest match of Medvedev's career. He's hit, <laughs> and two of those matches, this one and the one in the quarterfinals, he's played two of the longest matches of his history in this event. And how's his legs going to feel in a fifth? I mean, if he's played, he played a four and a half hour, four hour, 45 minute epic already. How's he going to be feeling in a fifth? Second serve. Seventh break point of the game, by the way, for Rafa. Second serve. Into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the forehand. Now to the backhand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa with the backhand. Down the line to the backhand of Medvedev. Into the slice of Rafa. Rafa in trouble now as Medvedev hits a forehand. Into the backhand of Rafa. Now to the forehand of Medi. Rafa with the backhand again. Goes to the forehand of Medvedev. Now forehand from Rafa is a drop shot. What a shot. Medvedev gets it. Comes to the net. Rafa with a pass. Rafa doing Rafa things. And that was the craziest shit we've seen all night. What is Rafa doing? Rafa Nadal with a flick backhand passing shot winner. That is a Rafa special. And he gets the break once again. Holy crap. I think Mev Mevedev's telling the umpire to tell the crowd to shut up. Because he's like, don't tell them to please shut up. He's like, tell them to shut the hell up because I'm trying to play. All right, let's go through some donations. They're the two guys that you'd put your house on if he was down two sets of love. I mean, they're the two, right? That's why they're goats. By the way, Mevedev just talking to the umpire, telling him to step up and tell the crowd to be quiet. Not just be like, please don't speak between points. Medvedev's like, no, tell them not to talk. Just shut the hell up. <laughs> He's not happy, Medi. No. Fault. Second serve. Rafa's first serve is not good in this third set. It's been, it hasn't been great for the whole match, but this set, third set, Rafa's serve is not helping him hold on to breaks. As we a back end now from Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the back end of Medi. Goes down the line to the back end of Rafa. Back end of Medvedev. Into the open court to winner. Very, very nice shot. Very nice. Probably shot from Medvedev. Appreciate the shillings or whatever for the young chap. Thank you. My bonus points for calling me young. As that goes into the forehand now of Rafa. Good return from Medvedev. And then he hits a forehand wide and long. And it's 15 all. Great return. Not a great follow-up shot for Medi. 15 all. Holy shit, 4,000 likes? My God. I don't know what our record is, but we've got to be damn near close. Again, big shout out to everyone who subscribed. Thank you so much. I love that I can bring this to you guys, and hopefully you're enjoying it as much as I am because this match is turning into a classic. Five sets, it's a classic. As we had a drop shot there from Rafa. Medvedev with a forehand. Rafa with a volley. Gets it. Backhand Medvedev. Rafa guesses right. Medvedev in trouble and he wins a point, Rafa. Um, 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 unbelievable. That's Rafa. That's Rafa and he's doing Rafa things. Medvedev outplayed him. He played himself. You played yourself. Great shot from Rafa down the line. I mean, he just stood strong. Holy shit, this is going down. It was 90%. Now Medvedev's in trouble, according to the thing. Served down the T is a fault from Rafa. 30-15. Also, I haven't forgotten. Thank you, William. Thank you, Ian C, for the donations. We'll get to them at the next change. Thank you so much for those donos. 30-15. Rafa serves. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the open court. It's a winner. This is going to be on tennis TV, bro. That's a Rafa. Only Rafa can hit that shot. That inside out forehand. Banana forehand. It's a Rafa shot. No one else can hit that shot. 
Helicopter finish. Classic Rafa. Classic Rafa. 40-15. Chance now to get to 4-2 in this fourth set. Serve down the tee, the back end of Medvedev. Swinging volley, Rafa. Medvedev with the pass. Rafa with the volley is too good. Um, 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 um. 4-2 Nadal. And someone in the stand says Rafa is the GOAT. If Rafa wins this match, he is in the lead of the GOAT. I mean, I don't want to get into a debate, but if Rafa wins this match from this point to get to 21, he is the GOAT until we, until we get to the French Open and then Djokovic has something to say about that. But there we go. Michael says, looks like I'm not going to work tomorrow. Yeah, cancel the plans. Call in sick to work. Cam said, don't go anywhere. Good serve from Medvedev, 15 love. Tell your boss to get stuffed. <laughs> or don't say, actually, no. Yeah, what? No, I don't want to get fired, all right? Tell your boss, Cam said, get stuffed. And I'm a, I'm a, I just, I don't, he's just so influential that I had to, I did what he said. Blame it on me, guys. Blame it on me. Show your boss this video and I'll say, hey, boss, boss man, we're watching tennis over here. We couldn't give a stuff about your job. We're too busy watching tennis. We'll see you Tuesday. See you, Tuesday, see you Monday or Tuesday, whenever, what day is it? I don't know. See you, see you when we see you. All right, boss man, there we go. Use that clip. Tell your boss, you won't get fired. I will, but I'm not, I don't work for you, so them, so it's all right. 40 love. There we go. We good? Can you write a note to your boss? No, I just did a video message. I can't write 12,000 notes. <laughs> wait, wait, how many people are you now? I can't write 15,000 notes to bosses. I'm sorry. Just use this. Use this clip as Medvedev gets the game 4-3. That was easy. We are I'm ranting and raving and Medvedev's winning games to love. Anyways, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's play some donos. Um... Use that as a video message to your boss and uh, just be like, hey, look, he told me. Do you agree with the poll, with the predictor? Is that true, you reckon? Uh, predictors, I don't know what the predictor's drunk. Predictor's been on the vodka. It's gone, oh, I don't know he's going to win anymore. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. It's a toss up. I don't care. Predictors quit. <laughs> Maybe it heard me say, Tell your boss to get stuff, then it's gone. I don't care. I'm out of here. Uh, it's clocked out. Go home, predictor. You're drunk. Give us an answer. We're asking you for answers. And you're just giving us a whatever. <laughs> Anyways, Rafa serving. Down the tee to the back of the Medvedev. Four now from Rafa is out. Love 15. It's sitting on the fence. It's going to get your splinters in your ass, mate. Come on. Give us a prediction. That's what we rely on you for. If you sit on the fence, you get splinters. Four hours, by the way, this match has been going. The four, sorry, the third longest match of Medvedev's career, officially. And it's quarter to midnight. <laughs> it's almost Monday in Australia. Serve down the tier of the forehand of Medi. Forehand from Rafa is out again. Two forehand errors from Rafa just throws them away. And now he's under pressure. Love 30. Here we are talking fifth sets and we've got to keep our... Oh, this, this set's not over. You remember the second set? Anyways, forehand now from Rafa to the back end of Medvedev. That's a great shot. Rafa in big trouble. Back end Medvedev. Drop shot. Rafa runs. Gets it with a slice. Medvedev with a lob. Rafa with a smash. Puts it away. Good smash from Rafa. Four hours exactly. This match has been going. Medvedev's played one, two matches longer than this in his career. One of them, only what, four day, five days ago, four days ago. The other one, three years ago against this guy in the US Open final. You think if we go five sets, we're probably going five hours. Medi's first five hour matches on the cards, unless it's a one-sided fifth set. 
Still though, he has to win this set, does Rafa. He hits a forehand now to the backhand of Medvedev. Goes into the backhand of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again to the backhand of Nadal. Down the line to the backhand of Medi. Forehand from Rafa. Again to the forehand now of Medi. As we get a backhand from Rafa goes wide. Oh no. Oh no. Medvedev. Breakback points. Rafa's hit three unforced errors in this game. Three errors in this game. 15-40, two forehand, one backhand. What's up? Uh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't even scare you. You can stay and watch, it's all right. 15-40. Fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. Second serve. Medvedev looking to get the break in a crucial time. Rafa serves to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa who hits a great shot. It's a winner. Unbelievable. Medvedev's legs just not that quick. Four hours into this match. Still though, break point for Medi. 30-40. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for everybody here. If you could do me a massive favor, like the video, and could you share the video on social media, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, I don't know, share it wherever you share things. I don't know, call someone and share the link. Uh, whatever you do, I don't know what you, how do you, email people, I don't know, just share it. Let's see if we can get to 20,000 people, we've never had that. As Medvedev hits the drop shot in the net, and it's deuce. We've never had 20k in the chat, so uh, if we could try and get to that, just share the shit out of this. That would be ridiculous. If you don't have any friends, just sit back and hang out. You know, I understand. Nobody cares about tennis in your life, I understand. That's why I started this channel. <laughs> back to deuce. No cap. Serve now. Down the seat of the backhand of... Medvedev, forehand from Rafa to the backhand of Medvedev, into the forehand of Ra uh, Rafa, backhand of Medvedev, down the line, Rafa with the backhand of his own, ooh, just goes in, Medvedev gets it, forehand from Rafa is into the open court, and Medvedev can't move his legs. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And Rafa Nadal gets the advantage to go 5-3 in the fourth. What a shot, and Medvedev, Medvedev's really sore. His thighs are burning. He's using his racket as a walking stick at this point. I don't know how he plays a fifth set Medi. I don't know how. It'll be a hell of an effort if he gets through his Medvedev. Oh, Rafa with an ace! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Second ace of the day. And he gets a 5-3. That's why he's a goat. That's why he's a goat. That is why he's a goat. And now it's Medvedev to serve, to stay in the fourth. Wow. Rafa with a little fist bump there. He's like, I'm not getting too excited just yet. I'll tell you what, if Rafa wins this set, I want him to fall to the floor like he did in 2012 where he fell to the floor and he was just like going crazy. I would love that. Anyways, let's see what happens. Oh, no, Medvedev's hit it out. The forehand's missing now. Now, Medvedev has to win this game. He can't be serving second in the fifth. Serving second is a death sentence in the fifth set if you can avoid it. Serve out wide of the forehand of Rafa. Great return. Medvedev with the backhand into the forehand of Rafa. And Rafa hits that in the net. 15 all. Medvedev has to win this game to make, at least to be serving first in the fifth. Like I said, serving second in the fifth set against Rafa Nadal. We saw Chapo, what happened to him. It's an absolute, it's a death set. Especially if your legs are hurting. You've got to have that first, uh, you've got to have that, uh, that first game. And Medvedev hits a great forehand, 30-15. He's doing his job here, Medi, but he is walking like he's got Lego in his shoes. I mean, he's walking on absolute, he's walking on nails. It's... Awkward. Anyway, slice there, return Medvedev with a forehand. That goes to the back end of Rafa, who hits a winner down the line. Unbelievable. Because of course he does. Rafa doing Rafa things. 30 all. 
Two points away from the fifth set. And Medvedev just gave that to Rafa. I mean, he hit the forehand and was like, just pass me. Whatever. Whatever. 30 all. Serve out wide to the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev goes into the uh, slice of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev again to the forehand of Rafa. Into the back end of Medvedev. Back end from Rafa. Cross court to the forehand of Medi. Rafa with the back end again. Down the line! Rafa gets set point! What a shot from Rafa! And we are one point away from going five. This may be the greatest match of all time if Rafa can come back. As he serves Medvedev to the backhand of Rafa. That goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a slice forehand. That goes out. Medvedev survives. Unbelievable. This could be, if Rafa can come back somehow and win this, this might be Rafa's greatest victory. Ra Rafa's, gr I mean, what's the best, uh, what's the next one? Maybe Wimbledon 20, 2008? But that one, he was up. Anyway, slice return. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. And Medvedev puts away the winner. He's doing a great job, Medi. Unbelievable. The Iceman, Medi, right now. Ice in the veins. To at least make Rafa serve it out. He's not going to give away this fourth set. As he serves a fault. Second serve. Into the forehand now of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev, who didn't move his feet. He served and just went stuck in the mud. And then went, oh shit, I can't get that. Deuce. Four hours, seven minutes played. Medvedev's longest match, four hours and 50 minutes. So he's still half an hour away from that. But it's the longest match. It's the third longest match in Medvedev's career. And the other one, one was at the US Open. The other one, four days ago. Can you blame the guy for having heavy legs? <laughs> Serve down the tee. Rafa gets it back. Backhand Medvedev is a winner. Unbelievable. Nice jumping backhand for Medi. Advantage Medvedev to get Rafa to serve this set out, which is a lot harder than breaking to win the set. Trust me. By the way, Predictor's still drunk. Good to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Serve out wide as a fault. Second serve. Also, the donations coming through. We'll get to those at the end of this game. And I see you guys. Appreciate the donations. As we had a return that goes out from Nadal. Medvedev does a little bit of a showboating miss. And it's 4-5. Rafa still in front with a break, serving for the fifth. Now, Rafa's backhand is lifted and he's played a hell of a good backhand since then. By the way, all the people that have work tomorrow, because it's a Sunday night, in Garden Square are like, stuff it. I ain't going to work. Calling in sick, boss. See ya. By the way, thank you so much for the... I don't know what 20,000 is. I don't know what currency that is. What's W currency? Does anyone know in the chat? What's W? What's a W currency? 20,000 what? Is it, it's not yen, right? What's it? What is it? Korean won. Thank you for the 20,000 won. Thank you so much, Stop Motion, for the 20,000... It's a lot of one. It's called one. Thank you, everybody, for educating me. Thank you so much for the... That's a mass... That's a lot. 20,000 one. By the way, someone asked me, um, how much is it to become a member? One US dollar a month. So, uh, one dollar a month. Shout out to all the Koreans. Yeah, shout out to Korea. I, um, I don't know how many Koreans are watching, but, um, I've heard South Korea is lovely, so maybe it might be on my list of places to go. All right, Rafa. First point, 15 love, great serve. Three points away from a fifth. This has been the greatest Australian Open in a long time. In terms of matches, we've had so many five-setters. We have been spoiled with matches. Three in the quarterfinal, maybe the final. A couple of great four-setters in the semis, I mean... Murray had an epic first five-set match at the start. We watched Fritz versus City pass. That was an epic. You know, we had the medvedev Kyrgios match. We've just been spoiled with matches. Can we get a fifth set to finish off the tournament? 
That's about a four now from Medvedev. Good shot. Rafa gets it. Back in now from Eddie. In the net. 30, love Rafa. And I don't know what, it's, what it is, but for some reason, in finals of slams, ever since we started this channel, the finals of slams, we've watched five sets. We've watched the five-set final between Medvedev Nadal in 2019, US Open. We watched Wimbledon 2019. That was a five-setter. We got treated with a five-setter at the Australian Open two years ago, team versus Djokovic. Last year, of course, Djokovic City Pass, five-setter. As that goes down the line for a winner, Rafa. Unbelievable. 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 40 love. Three set points to take us to a fifth. To take us to a fifth. Rafa Nadal. Of course, the five setter at the 2020 US Open as well. Can't forget that one too. We've been very spoiled. As we get a backhand from Evan, that's out. We're going five. We are going five. Rafa Nadal. Rafa Nadal goes five. Now, he's leaving the court, Rafa. He is leaving the court to have a bathroom break. That's allowed. And that's probably needed because he's covered in sweat. Tell me in the chat, who is winning this match? You tell me. Good morning, Australia. It is officially midnight. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's midnight. It's a midnight special. We gotta we gotta work on that name. Midnight special doesn't sound right. That sounds like something you pay for at a yeah. No, nah, we're not gonna use that. No, we're gonna call it something else. Um, all right, let's fix the scoreboard because the scoreboard's freaking out now. Now Raf is the favorite. Go figure. Now Raf is the favorite. The chat's broken. Everyone's going Rafa. Someone's going Medi. Everyone's saying what time it is in Texas. Uh, it's seven in the morning. I mean, you guys are savages for staying awake all night. Welcome. Uh, like I respect the hell out of it. Okay. Okay. Man. This is where we're at. This is where we are at. Let me fix the scoreboard because it's wonky as hell. Let me give you a recap, ladies and gentlemen, of what the hell has happened. This has been one of the best matches we've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because it's a fit set, but... Nadal is showing why he's a GOAT. I mean, Djokovic showed this time and time again, and Raf is showing it as well. I mean, this is a GOAT doing GOAT things. Um, Medvedev will be serving first in the fifth, which I think is a big advantage. But again, are his legs going to work? Because his legs are broken. Like, his legs are cramping, and Raf is like a bull. So I, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get to... Uh, Let's get to uh, some questions here. Uh, before we get to that, let's do the recap. First set, Medvedev, unstoppable. I mean, he couldn't do any. He couldn't. He couldn't do anything. I mean, he couldn't do anything. Rafa. Rafa could not do anything. He didn't play very well. Rafa. A lot of unforced errors. Medvedev played a hell of a, a hell of a uh, first set. Served amazing. Medvedev. Second set. I mean, Rafa could have won this match if he had won that second set. He had set points. He was down. It was up four-one. He was up four-one in that set. Medvedev came back. He was up 5-3. Set point. Medvedev came back. Then got to the tiebreak. He was up 5-3 in the tiebreak, Rafa. Medvedev came back. Stole the second set. Then, four games all. It was just cruising. We're all going, Medvedev straight sets. US Open all over again. Last year's US Open all over again. You know, blah, blah, blah. Then, Medvedev faltered at 4 all. Rafa stole the game. Won the set. Then, Medvedev gave away the break halfway through the fourth set. And Rafa survived. Medvedev's been cramping. He's had a massage. He's been drinking special juice all night. So the legs are heavy. And right now, this would be possibly be the longest match of his career if, if, if it goes five, if it goes late into the fifth. If it's all over in half an hour, then no. But it's four hours, 20 minutes, I think, or something like that. And 
I mean, this is just another day in the office for Rafa. He's used to playing these five-hour epics, but this is the first from Medvedev. He's played two matches longer than this one, but this could be the longest match he's ever played. And the way he's walking around, I don't know if he's going to be able to wait and stand the go the distance. Now, we've got plenty of... <laughs> Thank you, everyone, donating. This set is going to be very interesting. Rafa runs to the baseline. Psychological warfare. He shows Medvedev his legs are fresh. <laughs> but let me know in the chat if you're new. Say hi. Tell us who your favorite player is. I'm sure there's a lot of Rafa fans out there. Uh, let me know if you're new, who your favorite player is. Love to talk to new people. Uh, I'll try and read as many questions as possible, but the chat is crazy, as you can see. Uh, I'm a new chatter from India. What's up? Um, first time watching the channel. Welcome. We're a little different to the usual thing. I'm a little bit louder. I'm a little bit more Australian. I'm a little bit more wild. You know, you can listen to the TV, but you're not going to get the same sort of shit coming out of their mouths that I say as Medvedev double faults. Can't buy a first serve. Or a second serve. We're a little bit different over here. Tennis talk is different. Love the style. Appreciate it. Some people don't like it. Some people are like, dude, just go back to the boring, shitty commentary they always do. I'm like, no. We're calling this like a fight because it is. As we had to find out of the back end of Rafa. Rafa's throwing punches. Medvedev on his last legs. Getting punched in the face by Rafa. That's what's happening. But with ground strokes. As he hits it wide, Rafa 15-0. Can be great all the way from Bahamas. Thank you, Brad. Shout out to you. Jim Curry hasn't played, hasn't got a lot of style. I love Jim. I love Robert Koenig. But I'm talking about 90% of the commentators are just. They're boring. All right. 15.30. Not all of them, but 95% are. As Medvedev serves an ace. Bang. 30 all. Let's get back to this match. Again, thank you for all the love. I hope you're... And look, if you fall asleep during this commentary, you'll wake up in two seconds because I'll scream in your face. So you ain't going to bed in this one. You can't fall asleep in this commentary. As that goes in from Rafa on the return. Back in now from... Uh, from uh, Medvedev and Rafa down the line. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rafa doing Rafa things. Banana forehand down the line on the run is a Rafa thing and he just did it. 30-40. Nadal. Also, if Rafa wins, we've got something special at the end of this match. So I'm kind of excited that we might be able to do the special thing. Sounds weird, but it's not like that. Anyways, forehand now from Medi. Down the line. Winner. Okay. Medvedev with the winner saves the break point. Deuce. Almost 5,000 likes. Can we get to 5,000 likes by the end of this point? <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't expect that. Deuce. Huge first game as Medvedev serves an ace. Bang! He's been doing that all day. He's been doing that. Build up. He's been doing that all tournament. Come on! Shout out to everyone on Twitch as well. I see you. I see you, Twitch. What's up? What's up, Facebook? I, you're, I know you're out there too. I see you. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Back into the line from Rafa. What a shot. Medi gets it. Into the fine of Rafa. Fine now from Medvedev on the stretch. Goes long. Deuce. Now, Medvedev has to win this first game and just keep that lead. Scoreboard pressure. What is scoreboard pressure, Cam? Well, I'm glad you are. Some people might not know. Uh, so, scoreboard pressure is not necessarily breaking to hold, like stay in front, but it's about being in front when you sit down at the change events. One love, two one. You might not necessarily be up a break and winning the set. Okay, someone's excited. But scoreboard pressure, it feels like you're winning and your opponent looks like they're down even though it is on serve. As Medvedev hits a lovely backhand winner and gets the first game. One love, Medi in the fifth. One love, Medvedev. 5,000 likes, let's fucking go. 
Let's go! But there's like 20,000 people here. Let's get to 10K. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. 10K, we'll do a giveaway. Let's go. 10K giveaway. Let's get it. Let's get it. Win or lose, this is epic. You're goddamn right. That's why we watch this sport. If you call this sport boring, well, none of you would because you're all here, but uh, if I hear anyone say this sport's boring, my God, I will slap them straight in the mouth. Get out of here. Tennis is boring. Get down. Get the hell out. You ever hear someone say tennis is boring, you slap them and you say, Cam sent me. That's what you say. This is from Tennis Talk. Straight in the mouth. By the way, thank you for liking the video. 10K, we'll do a giveaway. I don't know. We won't get there, but hey, we'll try. We'll get, we can try. Let's see if we can try. Rafa serving. Let's get back to the match. Two hours, four, uh, sorry, four hours, 25 minutes played. And Medvedev slices in the net. Tired return. 15 love. 15 love. Huge final set. By the way, this match is officially the biggest match we've ever watched. And that makes me very happy. Serve into the net from Rafa. We might just completely wreck the old record. Holy crap. Anyways, 15 love. Rafa with a serve. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand out from Rafa goes out. Bit of a shank there from Rafa. 15 all. Now, if this goes to Medvedev, this is one of the greatest victories he'll ever have. I mean, it, it trumps the match against FAA. Hands down because Rafa's a raging bull right now. Medvedev is a... I mean, he's a, he's a cramping bear. But if he wins this match somehow and outlasts Rafa, that is... I mean, yeah, someone's probably already shit themselves about it already, but how could happen? Anyways, Rafa, 30 love with a lovely shot. Thank you all the nice words out there. Thank you, David. I saw that. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. 30-15. Rafa taking some time here. Quarter past 12. On a Monday morning, 15 minutes into the new day. And you know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow? Sleeping, and then I'm going to order some butter chicken and celebrate a great tournament. That's my go-to. As we get a backhand now from Rafa into the forehand of Medvedev, and that's in? No, it's out. Medvedev hits it long. 40-15. I'll be eating... Oh, come on now. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing on Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have butter chicken tomorrow, and then I'll be... Uh, Tuesday, I'll be spending it in the bathroom, all right? Be right. Uh, hot and spicy. Butter chicken's mild as hell, though, so I, I ain't going to be too scared. Anything more than butter chicken, I can't do. All right? I don't do spice. Backhand now from Rafa goes in the net. 40-30. 40-30. Great hitting here from Medi. Medi's got a look on in his eyes. Eye of the bear. That's what we'll rename it. The eye of the bear. It doesn't come off the same, does it? Eye of the bear. The b stare bear. The bear, bear stare. There's something there. I don't know. Anyway, serving the net from Rafa. Can't buy a first He's got the uh, care bear. What? It's 12. I don't know what's up. All right. Second serve, Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand of Rafa into the forehand again of Medi. Into the backhand of Rafa. Going to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Again to the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa in control. As he hits a forehand again to the backhand of Medvedev. Now Rafa's in trouble as he slices that one. Medvedev gets it with a forehand. Slice again from Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes cross court into the backhand of Medvedev. In the net from Medi. 1-1. One, one. In the final set. The fifth and final set. Six games to decide it all. Yes, it's dramatic. You're goddamn right it's dramatic. Hello, Elvis. What, 
why you gotta be so rude? Why you gotta be rude? We're having a nice time you come in here and you just you just come in here. Hey, all right. You look like Elvis. Elvis. Come on now. I'm not calling you names. <laughs> one one. Unless that was a compliment, I'll take it all day. Elvis was a sexy beast. That dude was a sexy beast. I don't care what you say. That dude was... That dude was... That dude got ladies. Anyways, 4 now from Rafa on the stretch. Medvedev with the volley. Back in now from Rafa. Down the line, Medvedev with another volley on Medi! Ha <laughs> ha! Come Medvedev comes out of nowhere. 15 love. Who said Medi can't volley? Uh, Cam, I think that was you. He's learned how to volley. 2022 Medvedev knows how to volley. Serve down a tee. Rafa gets it back. For now, Medvedev is a winner in the open court. Come on! Rafa went one that way. Medvedev went the other. 15 all. Cam, you make me love the game more. That is the greatest thing anybody could say in the chat. Mods. Promote that man or woman. That's what I'm here for. I want to spread my enthusiasm as, me as Rafa almost kills a ball kid. He smacks the ball of the umpire by accident and he's laughing, Rafa. That's a good sign that Rafa's chill. 40 love. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to, make I want to turn casual fans. I want you to love the game as much as me because it's a great game to love. The umpire just got smacked. And Medvedev gets the game Come on! with a big serve. Medi stays in front 2-1. I said, it's going to be ser serving first is going to be a big deal in this final set. We'll see if it becomes the big deal. By the way, Medvedev's getting a rub. Oh, and they're doing a great job. They make my job easy. If this match was a snooze fest, it's very hard to get excited for that. These guys are making this job easy. How can you not get fired up at this? It's everything we could want for in a final. As Medvedev gets a lovely massage and says thank you, and I think he gave the guy a tip because, hey. I mean, look, I'm, I need a massage after this. My legs are sore, and I've been sitting down for five hours. Let's keep answering questions. Answer my question! The question, jerk! Is this going to be a tiebreak, Jack? That would be the ultimate final. That would be the ultimate finale. The ultimate finale. Uh, Cam, I will support you, Cam, and even promote you uh, if you don't, if you know what I mean. I don't know what the winky face was, but hey, Horizon, uh, yeah, spread the word. Uh, you're making tennis more famous. I'll take it. I don't think I'm doing shit, but all right. As long as you're loving the coverage, that's all I care about. As long as you're having a good time at home right now or out in the out, out and about or whatever, as long as you're having a good time, I'm having a, I'm having a great time. So, thank you again. All the nice words. You guys are too generous. By the way, Medvedev's the favorite now. All right, all right, all right, predictor. All right, predictor. Rafa serving. He's down two one. Return there from Medi into the forehand of Rafa. Back in there from Medi goes into the backhand of Rafa. Medi with a forehand into the forehand of Rafa, going into the backhand of Medvedev. Now forehand from Rafa into the back end of Medvedev again. Forehand from Rafa down the line is a good shot. Medi gets it. Volley. Rafa doesn't hit it because it goes out from Medvedev. 15 love. Very good point there from Rafa. That's the point that he wants, especially if, Ma if Medvedev's hurting. To play those long rallies. It is more than live. Thumbs up. Thank you so much, Stop Motion, again for the 20,000 20, won. Dude, you, you don't have to donate that much, mate. You can donate a dollar if you want your message on the screen. You don't have to donate that much, mate, but appreciate it. Thank you so much for the generosity. That's very, very kind. As we had a four now from uh, Rafa to the back end of Medi, and Medi hits it long. 30 love. Nice game so far. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'll tell you the time in a second because Medvedev has never played a five-hour match. He's played four-hour matches twice, and this is the third one. I'll tell you what, if this is the longest match yet, it's 2-1. He's 
10 minutes away from it being the second longest. 15 from the longest. As that goes wide for Medi, 40 love Rafa. Four hours, 35 minutes. His longest ever match, five hours, 50 minutes. 5-0. Five, 4-5-0. Zero. Four, five, zero. He's at 4-3-5. He's 15 minutes, 20 minutes away from the longest match of his life. Last time he played the longest match was against Rafa. <laughs> so go figure. That goes out. Medvedev hits it long and Rafa gets the game. That was the easiest game of the match for Rafa. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, 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 unbelievable. That's it. All right, two games all. Also, we're almost at 6,000 likes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Also, we're almost at 73K? Come on, we can get to 73K. I know where we can. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. 2-2, two, two. final set. Medvedev serves. He serves down the tee to the forehand of Rafa, but it's a fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. Medi with a second serve to the backhand of Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand now into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with another forehand into the backhand of Medvedev. And that goes out. Medvedev, love 15. Love 15. Medvedev is walking so slow. He's walking like I do after I go for a, 10, a 5k run. I mean, <laughs> I'm not that fit, all right? Jesus. Serve down the tee, the backhand goes out from Rafa. Great serve. Great serve from Medi, 15 all. The serve is the key for Medvedev in this final set. He has to get three points. He has to get three points. 15 all. And an ace. Talk about a free point. That's the most free point you can ask. That's the freest point ever. Is that a word? Freest? It is now. I'm not very good at English, as you can tell. 30-15. 21 aces. Serve down and sees a fault. Second serve. Four hours and 37 minutes played. Serve now to the forehand of Rafa. Back in now from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. And he puts it away. Unbelievable. Inside our forehand winner, the banana forehand. 30 all. 30 all. Two games all final set. Serve Medvedev to the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev down the line is out. It's out. 30, 40, Rafa, break point. Break point, Rafa, to take the lead in the fifth. Serve Medvedev, out wide to the forehand of Rafa, and that goes out, clutch. Unbelievable. Clutch, clutch. Unbelievable. Clutch. Medvedev coming up clutch. What's clutch? That's clutch. Playing your best tennis when you need it the most is clutch. Back to Deuce. Serve out wide to the backhand of Rafa. That goes to the backhand of Medvedev. Backhand slice now from Rafa into the backhand of Medvedev. He goes to the forehand of Rafa. Rafa with the backhand. No, Medvedev with the backhand in the net. Come on! Medvedev's legs are just pulsating. Advantage Nadal. Second break point. Two all. Final set. Medvedev serves. A fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Rafa. Forehand now from Medvedev into the forehand of Rafa. Back in there from Medvedev down the line. Great shot, but Rafa's there with a slice. Forehand from Medvedev again down the line. Rafa's there with a forehand, and that's a winner! No way! No way! Goats! 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 Rafa with a forehand down the line. Get out! Get the hell out of here! I broke everything. I broke, I broke it all, I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened? 3-2.
Rafa in the final set. What the shit? I'm sorry, I, bro <laughs> I broke it all. I broke it all. I'm sorry. Holy shit. That is Rafa doing Rafa things. That is the most Rafa thing that Rafa could do. Holy sh crap. How does Medvedev come back from that? How do you come back from that? How? How do you come back from that? 3 2. Nadal. Completely unreal. Ridiculous. Some would even say. Unbelievable. 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 We are three games away from history. Three games away. Rafa Nadal has not come back from two sets of love down since 2007. He's done it three times in his career. Never done it in a final of a slam. He's never come back from two sets of love down in a final of a slam. He's won five setters in finals, but he's never come back from two sets of love down in a final of a slam. Medvedev's only ever lost one match from two sets of love up. That was in the first round of the French. Two years ago, three years ago. This guy... If he wins this match, everyone's calling him the GOAT for at least six months. Yeah, until, until Djokovic wins a slam again, Rafa's the GOAT, but he's got to win three more games. And we all know Medvedev doesn't mind a comeback. He did it already in this set, or in this match. Let's not count the chickens before they hatch. Is that the saying? Why, what, where did that come from anyway? Serve now to the back end of Medi. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev. Down the line to the backhand of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Goes into the slice of Rafa. Medvedev's in control as he hits a backhand. Into the forehand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev. Goes down the line to the backhand of Rafa. That's a good shot. Medvedev gets it. Rafa with the forehand. Over court. Medvedev slices it. In to the forehand of Rafa. Who puts it away? Unbelievable. 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 Get that out of here. 15 love. He just whips that away. Many did his best, and he's just like, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. 15 love. Rafa's getting better. That's what's scary about this match. He's getting better. Maybe it's because of Medvedev getting a bit worse, or not worse, but dropping the level. But it's making Rafa look much better. He's playing like he should have at the start. Better late than never. Serve now, Rafa. Down the team, Medvedev in the net, 30 love. Thirty love. Medvedev gets a new racket because he must have broken the string. Thirty love. Thank you for the bits and the cheers and the Twitch stuff. Thank you everybody on Twitch over there. I see you on Twitch. What's up, Twitch? What's up, Facebook? Don't forget to like, follow, all that shit. 30 love. Fault Rafa. Second serve. Also, I see the donations coming in. We'll get to them when we have a chance. Appreciate the donations. Thank you, everybody. Serve now to the forehand of Medvedev. Back and out from Rafa. Into the forehand of Medi. That goes into the forehand of Rafa. Back and out from Medvedev. Goes again to the forehand of Rafa. And Medi puts a winner away. Great shot from Medvedev. 30-15. That's what Medi needed. A backhand winner. Hasn't seen that for a while. He ain't going to go down yet. He ain't going down yet. 30-15. Massive point here. Every point feels like a massive point. 30-15. Rafa with a serve. Out wide to the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa down the line. Medvedev gets it with a forehand of his own. Slice Rafa down the line into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes down the line to the forehand of Medi. Rafa. Oh, Medvedev goes in the net. Rafa was in trouble. 
and Medvedev gave it away. 40-15. Oh, he had it, Medvedev. It was right there. And he did the Rafa shot. He's done the helicopter finish. Helicopter, helicopter. Is that what the thing on the TikToks? Zoomers, what's up? You know what's up. You know what I mean. 40-15. Rafa serves. Out wide. Medvedev gets it back. Fine, Rafa. Medvedev guesses right. Goes down the line and puts it away. Medvedev's not done yet. Unbelievable. 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 Medvedev's like, you better be careful. If you want to win this match, you better not hit it to me. Make me run. You don't give me the easy ones. 40-30. Also, we're almost at 73,000 subs. Can we get there by the end of this match? Thank you, everybody who subscribed. Ridiculous. 40-30. Serve is a fault from Rafa. He's got to be careful, Rafa. He's got to be careful. Medvedev ready to pounce. As Rafa serves into the back end of Medvedev. Goes in the back end of Rafa. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes into the slice of Rafa. Medvedev with a forehand. Down the line. Rafa gets it with a forehand of his own. Medvedev with a backhand. Going into the backhand of Rafa. Backhand again from Medi. Going into the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev with another backhand. To the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev with a forehand now. Going into the backhand of Rafa. Into the forehand now of Medi. Who keeps it to the backhand of Rafa. Medvedev's in control at this point. As Rafa hits it on the stretch. That goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa on the stretch. Goes wide. Medvedev gets the deuce. There's still life in the bear yet. There is still life in the bear. The bull. And Rafa's just putting his hands in the air telling the crowd like, hey, come on, man. We're trying to play and you can't be yelling and screaming. I'll tell you what, though. The Spanish bull has gored the bear over and over in the last two sets. But the bear still lives. He's still breathing. The bear's a stubborn son of a bitch. <laughs> we know that. Bears are stubborn. Have you ever played Red Dead Redemption? They're a... They, they're a bitch. I hate them. They always kill me. Bastards. Anyways, back to Deuce. Serve now down the tee of the backhand of Medvedev. That goes long. Great serve, Rafa. Three point Rafa. Needed that one. By the way, it's nearly five hours. Four hours, 48 minutes played. Two minutes away from Medvedev's longest match. Ten minutes away from another day in the office for Rafa. <laughs> I'll talk, we'll talk about it after this. This might be the top five longest matches of Rafa's career too, so we'll get into that too. Serve Rafa. Out wide, Medvedev gets it. Volley Rafa. Medvedev, forehand, winner! Okay! Medvedev's got life in the legs. You gotta be better than that, Rafa. Because the bear's waking up. The bear's waking up. Hey, you just said life in legs. Hey, I said life in legs. Don't copy me. TV. Television. Rafa knows it too. The reaction of Rafa just... He knows he was too safe. He was too safe. Deuce. This is a massive game now. This got real weird. In a good way. Good weird, you know what I mean? As that goes out from Medi. Good serve again from Rafa. And he gets a three point seven minute game. Huge game. Smash. Advantage Nadal to get to 4 2 in the final set. Four, almost five hours played. Almost one o'clock in the morning. Good morning, Melbourne. What's up? Calling sick to work. You have my permission. Serve down the team. Medi gets it back. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Goes to the backhand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev. Down the line. That's a great shot. Rafa's in trouble. Medvedev with the forehand. Comes to the net. Rafa with the pass. No way. Oh, he nearly made it. But Medvedev survives. Rafa almost hit a ridiculous... Insane shot, but Medvedev survives. 
Holy crap. All right, back to Deuce. They're giving him 85% now. Come on now. Now give him ever a chance. That's crazy. That's crazy. Almost 73k. We got it. Come on, we can get there. We can get there by the end of this set. Surely. 49 people out there. Come on. If you love tennis, you're in the right place. You're in the right place. Back to Deuce. Rafa with a serve. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a forehand on the stretch. Medvedev with the backhand down the line. What a shot from Medi! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Bears coming out of hibernation. And it's break back point for Medvedev. Oh, man. Oh, man. Advantage Medvedev to get back on serve in the fifth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Serve out wide. Medvedev gets it, but it goes out and a vamos from Rafa. Unbelievable. Big serve, big moment. Goat appears. The goat appears like Batman in the shadows. Also, may I say, this is officially Medvedev's longest ever match in his career. It's Medvedev's longest ever match by two minutes. It's going to be longer than that, I'm sure. Back to Deuce. Served in, down to the back end of Medvedev. Four from Rafa. It's shanked out! What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And not in a good way. Advantage Medvedev again. Rafa shanks it. He shanks it. He shanks it. All right. Advantage Medvedev. Rafa serves out wide. Medvedev with a slice in the net. Rafa coming up clutch. Come on. Goat doing goat things. Big serves down break point in a fifth set at five hours. That's a goat thing. Deuce again. But look how many break points have happened. Insane. Insane. All right, Rafa serves again. Why is my hair falling out? Anyways, Deuce uh, backhand now from Medvedev on the stretch. Forehand now from Rafa goes to the forehand of Medi. Into the forehand of Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Rafa with a slice. That goes in. To the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa again to the backhand of Medvedev. Slice there from Rafa. Goes in the forehand of Medi. Into the slice again of Rafa. Into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa in trouble. And that goes out. No, it doesn't. It goes in. Forehand from Rafa. That goes out. Medvedev break point three. And Medvedev serious as a heart attack. He's a serious... As you've ever seen, the eyebrows are down and he is focused. He is laser focused. All he's focusing on is Rafa. Nothing else. Advantage, Medi to get to threes. Rafa serves. Out wide, Medvedev gets it, but it goes out again. Oh man, Rafa, he keeps going to the well. And Medi just keeps hitting it out. He goes out wide every time on the serve down break point and Medvedev can't read it. Every time. Every time. Deuce. This game might decide. <clears throat> Hello? This might decide. The this might decide the final. Why don't... This might decide the final. There you go. That's... That's how I usually speak. <clears throat> Deuce. Number six. Serve. Into the back end of Medvedev. That goes out. Unbelievable. Good serve. Advantage now, Rafa. The backhand's falling apart for Medi. 
The backhand's falling apart. He's only hit 60% of returns in this final set. <clears throat> in this final set. Advantage Rafa. Rafa's going down the tee. He ain't going to that backhand again. He's going down the tee. Watch it. He's going down the tee. Mix it up. He goes into the body of Medvedev. Tricks us all. Fine from Rafa. Slice Medvedev. Smash! Rafa puts it down and Medvedev hits it out. Unbelievable. 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 Fifteen minutes, almost that game, almost fifteen minutes. Raf has played some marathon games this match. He's played some epic, epic games, just service games, not even matches, just games, like one game. Twitch is getting excited. And it's 4-2 Nadal. Five hours about to hit. As we had a return from Rafa. That goes into the final of Medvedev. Final from Rafa. In the net. Medi. Good shot. Very good shot. 15. Love. Someone's, lo someone's spamming the chat. Who's losing their mind on... Who the hell is the guy with Tourette's on Twitch that's going nuts? What are you doing? Sorry, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Celebrating like crazy. All right, that's enough. We get it, we get it, we get it. We get it. All, right, all right, all right. Slice Devon Rafa down the line is long. 30 love, Medvedev. I mean, the best case scenario for Medvedev, win this game in a minute. Just get out of this game. Put the pressure back on. Put the pressure back on. Put the pressure back on. By the way, we've got donations coming in. We'll get to those in a second after this game. I see them. I read them. Good serve. Rafa hits it. Out. On the return. 40 love. 40 love. 40 love. Also, there must be a glitch because only one person is watching. <laughs> We're broken YouTube. <laughs> Medvedev serves an ace. Come on. That is what Medvedev needed. One game, one minute, bang. Some more donos later. Massive game coming up. Rafa serving again. Up a break in the final set, but we know last game, Medvedev was starting to arrive. All right, Rafa serves. Four, three, two games away from Goatness. As we had a forehand down the line to the forehand of Medvedev. Backhand from Rafa. Goes in the backhand of Medi. That goes in the forehand of Rafa. As we had a backhand from Medvedev. Going into the forehand of Rafa again. Who puts in the open court. Medvedev gets it. Volley Rafa. Medvedev can't get that one. Unbelievable. One too many. Come on. One too many like Kyrgios on a Saturday night. That's a great volley from Rafa. By the way, did anyone see Kokonakis today? Where'd he go? Where's Kokonakis? He's probably hung over, let's be real. Five hours played. Officially the longest match in Medvedev's career, without a doubt. Ten minutes longer than the second longest, which was against Rafa. Medvedev just loves playing long matches against this guy. Rafa. Bolt. Second serve. Fifteen love. He is seven points away from goatness. Return there from Medvedev and Rafa hits it wide. Medvedev gets to fifteen all. Unbelievable. By the way, Rafa has played five matches longer than this. He played a match against Roger Federer back in two thousand and six in Rome, when it was a five set epic final. Uh, five hours, five minutes. That's the next one they're trying to break. And they'll get there. I'm sure they'll get there. And we'll keep going from there. We'll see how long this match goes. It might be Rafa's second longest match if it does go for another 20 minutes. He, he won't be breaking the, mat, the record against uh, the Djokovic match as he hits a drop shot. Medvedev gets it. But it double bounces. He didn't get it. It looked like he did, but he didn't. Not up. Come on! Not up. <sighs> 
Six points away, Rafa, from Goatness. Six points away from Goatness. Thirty fifteen. Serve out wide to the back end of Medvedev. Foyna from Rafa. Goes into the Foyna Medvedev. Rafa with a volley. Medvedev runs, runs, runs. Gets it! Puts it away! And a shake of the racket from Medi. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. 30 all. Medvedev just putting it all out there. His legs. He found a new pair of legs. They must be hiding under his chair. Medvedev ain't playing Rotterdam. Let's be real. He ain't playing Rot Rotterdam in a couple of weeks. He's going to need to sit in an ice bath for a month to get over this. I need to sit in an ice bath. And I'm sure a lot of you out there need a cold shower. You know what I mean? All those Rafa fans. <laughs> it's past midnight. We can, say, we can say dirty jokes. 30 all. Thanks to all the people subscribing, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, I don't think we're going to get to 74,000. I mean, can we? Surely not. 30 all. Big point. Rafa returns from Medvedev into the point of Rafa. It's a drop shot. Medvedev runs, runs, gets it. Rafa in trouble, but he puts it around. Well, that's a good volley. Oh, no, it's not. And Rafa got it anyway. Rafa got it anyway. Medvedev just misses the volley. Five points away from Goatness. From Goatness. Five points. Rafa Nadal from being the GOAT. Most titles, most Grand Slams, you're the GOAT for me. It's, he might not stay the GOAT because Djokovic will have something to say about it in a couple of months, but he's five points away from, being, from leading the GOAT debate in my head. Serve down the tee is a fault. By the way, can we get to 7,000 likes by the end of this, I don't know, my point, uh, match, uh, whatever. Can we get there? Let's do it. Serve down the tee at the back end of Medvedev. Four and from Rafa into the back end of Medvedev. That goes out. Rafa's one game away from goatness. He's one game away from becoming the standalone GOAT for now. 21 slams is four points away. And he will be the second player to win 20, two slams at all the slams. Is that the, he'll be the second, right? He'll be the second, right? Because Djokovic did it. Here we go. One game, Medvedev serving though. He serves, down the tee, it comes back, back into Medvedev, into the forehand of Rafa, that goes in, Medvedev just gets it. Back and slice from Rafa, goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa goes into the backhand of Medvedev. That's a good shot, and Rafa goes down the line! This is gonna be on Tennis TV, bro. Three points away from Goatness! Love 15, and that was a Rafa shot, just a whip. The forehand, down the line winner. Igish, is that Igish Fiontek? Igish Fiontek's in the crowd, she can't believe it. She cannot believe it. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve coming up, Medi. Soak it in as we get a return there. Medvedev with the back end down the line. Slice from Rafa in the net. Medvedev survives. 15 all. It's all happening. Now I know how that guy with the GoPro that watches the trains must feel. I'm all giddy and shit. <laughs> Fault from Medvedev, 15 all. You know the guy, the guy that wears the GoPro and then the train goes, dude, and he's like, woo! That's me for tennis. I'm the tennis guy, I'm that, te I'm that guy with tennis. Anyway, slice from Rafa to the back end of Medi. Back end Rafa, volley Medi in the open court. Smart. 
Medvedev still out here playing chess. 30-15. You know that guy. Come on. You know who I'm saying. You know the guy. Serve out wide as a fault. Second serve. Can Medvedev hold the game just to make Rafa serve it out? No, because he double faults. He double faults. 30 all. Two points away from Goatness. Thirty all. Serve out wide to the backhand of Rafa. Backhand from Medvedev goes into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand down the line. Rafa with the backhand of his own. Medvedev with the backhand again to the backhand slice of Rafa. And that goes wide. Medi survives. Medi survives. Forty thirty. As Medvedev serves a fault. He almost hit an ace. Rafa was walking. Second serve. Medvedev goes to the forehand of Rafa. Back in now Medvedev. Drop shot is too good. And Medvedev does his job. Come on! Hold serve. Make Rafa win this. <sighs> One game away. One game away from Goatness. One game away from Goatness. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. All the donos, we're going to get to the donations at the end of the match. We're going to get there. Thank you, Peter, Lee, Josh, Ryan, uh, Nikhil, Pam. I see them all. We're going to get to them at the end because this match is way too important to... Uh, we've got to call the end of this. What a match. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody who subscribed and liked the video. Thank you so much, everybody out there. I'm not speaking for a week after this. I ain't sh I ain't talking for... I ain't talking to anybody. Don't call me. Don't call me. Text me, all right? <laughs> I ain't talking shit. Oh, my God. Hands down, the greatest match we've ever watched. It's, I mean, it's up there with Wimbledon 2019. That was pretty epic. But, I mean, this is a close match too. It's as close to being that. That is as very close to as good as that match. That match was like all night, six hours. It was ridiculous. But this match, I mean, this match has got some more significance to it. Rod Laver in the house. Hashtag legend. Let's go, Rod. The Rocket in his house. And Ruff is about to lift his 21st trophy. The first player to ever do it on the men's side. Four points away. Every point's a match point. He hasn't lifted this trophy for 13 years. He's come agonizing, agonizingly close. 2019, 2017, 2012, 2014. I know Rafa fans, you guys are having nightmares over those, but the nightmares might be gone in four points time. Rafa serves. Medvedev returns. It's out. Three points away. Come on! Three points away. Rafa Nadal. Five hours, 11 minutes played. It will be, if it's four more minutes, it will be the second longest match of Rafa's career. It'll be the longest match with a win in five, and if it's four minutes long. 15 love. Serve out wide to the back end of Medvedev. Four now from Rafa into the open court. Medvedev gets it. Volley Rafa. Medvedev can't get that. Unbelievable. He can't get that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 30. Love. Soak it in. History. We're right here for it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. If Rafa wins, we've got something very special. And don't leave after the stream because you'll miss out. We're doing a giveaway if Rafa wins.
It's a special, it's something we've, we've done before, but it's something new. But we've done it before, but you stick around. Rafa serves to the back of Medi. Forehand from Rafa into the forehand of Medvedev. Rafa on the stretch gets it, but it goes long. It goes long. Medvedev survives. 30-15. 30 15. 30 15. <laughs> How are the nerves? How are we feeling in the chat? Just one word in the chat to express your feelings right now. One word. How are we feeling, chat? 30 15. And a fault. Second serve. One o'clock in the morning. Apologies to my neighbors, but if they're. They should be awake. I mean, this is crazy. Why would you sleep? Second serve. Double fault. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thirty all. Raf is serving though, and he's a goat. He serves. Oh, a fault. Can't buy a first serve. Second serve. <sighs> Type in the chat one word. How you feeling? Second serve, Rafa. Is into the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Going into the forehand of Rafa. Medvedev with the backhand down the line. Rafa in trouble. Medvedev with a forehand. Goes into the backhand of Rafa. He gets it. Medvedev forehand. Is a winner. Medvedev's got break back point. Come on. The Goat Reaper has break point. Oh shit. Oh shit. Rafa needs a first serve. He needs a first serve. The crowd are going nuts. Imagine 20,000 of me. That's what's happening. Holy shit. Now Rafa's been going out wide on the backhand side. Every break point. Rafa gets a warning for taking too much time. But he doesn't care. He's like, look guys, it's break point this time. I mean, I don't care. I'm taking time. First serve, Rafa. Out wide to the backhand of Medvedev. Forehand of Rafa in the open court. Medvedev gets it. Backhand from Rafa down. In the net! Oh no! Oh no! Medvedev breaks back! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Look, I love Medi, but mate, you didn't read the assignment. You forgot to read the script. It was supposed to be Rafa. Holy shit. Medvedev's coach is just losing his mind. And Medvedev serves a 5-0 in the fifth. What is happening? Serve now. Volley from Medvedev. Rafa with the pass. It's too good. Medvedev served volleys, but he's lost his mind. Come on! Holy shit. Oh my god, what is going on in the chat? Thank you everybody for joining us. Jesus. How is this match? Served down a tee. Rafa gets it back. Forehand from Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa. Back in from Medvedev. Goes into the forehand of Rafa again. Back in now from Medvedev. Again to the back end now of Rafa. Sliced into the forehand of Medi. That goes to the forehand slice of Rafa. Medvedev with a slice. It's kind of a drop shot, but not really. As we had a forehand from Medvedev down the line. Rafa on the stretch. Gets it, but it's in the net. Medvedev, too good. 15 all. Unbelievable. <laughs> Shit. This will be Rafa, pardon me, Rafa's second longest match of all time. Officially. 
as Medvedev serves an ace. Bang! It's 30-15. Oh my god. What is happening? It's 2022. I don't know where we are, but weird shit's happening. Kyrgios is winning slams. This is a slam final. It's going nuts. As we're back in from Medvedev, it's a drop shot. Rafa runs, runs, gets it. Medvedev can't get that one. That's what we want for Rafa. Unbelievable. That's what Rafa needs to do. Crazy shit like that. 30 all. A flick backhand. And Medvedev tried. He's been gallant, but that was too much. This is the biggest point of the day. And Medvedev faults. Second serve. Biggest point. Two sets all. Five all. 30 all. Second serve. The back end of Rafa. Four and Medvedev. That goes out. Break point Rafa. To get another chance to win this championship. He had one hand on the trophy and Medvedev grabbed it and ripped it off. Is he going to grab another hand on that trophy? 30-40. Medvedev serves. Slice Rafa. Find out from Medvedev. Goes into the backhand of Rafa who hits it out. Medvedev survives. Come on! Rafa just stares at his coach. Or at someone in the... I don't know. Rod Lay, I don't know. He's staring some, someone in the eyes. He was looking at someone. Deuce. I wonder if Rafa's going through his head about 2017, 2012. Are they all going through his mind? As he hits a four-hand Medvedev. Four-hand from Rafa goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Into the slice of Rafa. Ooh, just goes in. Backhand from Medvedev to the four-hand of Rafa. Into the backhand of Medvedev. Goes again to the four-hand of Rafa. Goes down the line. Medvedev with a four-hand gets it. But it goes out. Rafa with a four-hand winner. Great shot. Unbelievable. Medvedev got there, but not good enough. That guy is going crazier than me. What a shot down the line, Rafa. Balls. Second break point. Return from Rafa is shanked. And Medvedev survives that serve. That's the serve. Medi serve. Again, thanks everyone for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come on, 74Ks on the... We're just there. We're just there. Let's get it. Back to Deuce. Serve down the tee. Rafa gets it back. Four now Medvedev. Into the four of Rafa. That goes into the backhand of Medvedev. Slice from Rafa. Goes into the backhand of Medvedev again to the backhand of Rafa. Who goes to the backhand of Medi. And Medi hits it out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Advantage Rafa for the third break point of the game. Third break point of the game. Serve down the tee. It comes back. Medvedev forehand. That is out! And Rafa Nadal will serve for the match again. He'll do it again. Four <laughs> points away. <laughs> Greatest match of all time. Is this the one of the greatest matches of all time? I think it might be. Definitely in the last five years, this is one of the greatest finals of all time. Holy crap. Second chance at Goatness. Can Rafa do it on the second chance? Can he do it on the second chance? This will be one of those moments. This is one of those moments. Where were you when this match happened? And I was here with you. I will never forget this match until the day I die. And I'll remember I was sitting right here with all of you. Are we going to get a finale or is it going to be a shootout as we get a serve now to the back end of Medvedev? Back end of Rafa goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Into the forehand of Rafa. Back end from Medvedev goes into the back end of Rafa. Rafa with a forehand from Medi goes to the back end of Rafa. Back end of Medvedev to the forehand of Rafa. Into the back end of Medvedev. That goes into the back end of Rafa. Good shot, Medvedev in the net. Unbelievable. And it's now 15 love.
You'll be telling your kids about this. Your grandkids. I know I will be. If I ever have them. Or if they ever show up on my doorstep and unannounced. With a Swedish accent. Exposed. Too much information. Alright, back to the match. 15 love. Or Swiss. I, I forget. Anyways. 15 love. Back end return goes out! Two points! Two points from Goatness! 30 love, Rafa. 30 love, Rafa. He was here already in the last game. Can he do it again? Can he do it and get it done this time? He serves an ace! Championship point! Um, 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 unbelievable. Rafa Nadal is on the doorstep of goatness. He's been banging on that door for the last hour. And now he's about to crash through it. 40 love championship point. Rafa Nadal to take 21 slams. He's got three chances. He serves. Into the back end of Medvedev. Forehand from Rafa. Goes into the forehand of Medvedev. Volley from Rafa. Medvedev gets it. But he can't get it. Rafa's got 21. Rafa's got 21. The goats. The goats. The goats. 21 slams. Rafa Nadal. And we have just witnessed one of the greatest matches in the history of the game. And Rafa's just kicking tennis balls around and pointing at the crowd. He wins an Australian over for the second time. Finally, finally. He's on his knees. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. As he walks to his stand and he hugs and kisses everybody. Said in the chat, it may be the end of this tournament, but it's just the beginning of the season. We got 10 more months of this, baby. It rolls on. The show rolls on. We're not going anywhere. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next tournament. Uh, thank you again, mods. Uh, you did a hell of a job. It's been, <laughs> it's been hectic. Uh, don't forget to buy the shirt. Link in the chat. Buy the shirt. Support, uh, to support the channel. Um, that's a great way to support the channel. And again, thank you so much for all the donations. I will see you guys, hopefully very, very soon, for another tennis match to watch. But it was Rafa Nadal. He gets history done. He wins 21 slams. He is the first ever male to do so he wins 21 grand slam titles he's on the top of the tree all by himself now with the most slams all time in history for the men he beats Medvedev in one of the most epic comebacks you'll ever 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 see 2-6-6-7-6-4-6-4-7-5 Rafa Nadal for now is the greatest player to ever live but that could change in five months. We'll be watching it if it does. But here's the GOAT right now. Rafa, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT.